In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get away this. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Miss my butthole, he laughed. From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective, here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast. This is episode 1,222. One triple two. And we're back again. This is another Saturday bonus show. I got to let all you guys know we need to meet this goal before the end of the show. And if we don't, we will die. So you better help us meet the goal. It's The link is pinned in the chat. So don't forget to do that. $5 TTS. You can interrupt us live and we can't ignore you because it plays out loud for everyone to hear. We have, we have a son. Me and Billy both have a son. He said we could call him son. We both can call him son. Does that mean one and only? Does that mean like we had a kid together, Billy? Is that if if, if that's what that means? <laughs> I I am just I wish I could remember the consummation. Because I don't I don't know if I were drunk. Well, I was drunk. You were drunk. What happened? I don't remember us making this. Show. I think it was that first drinking contest. That's that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that was the one I puked all over myself. Oops. Yeah. 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 So we got we got your favorite son. He made the King Cobra documentary. I linked his channel down in the description if you guys want to check out the documentary and everything. Um, let's start at the beginning. So does your does you being a content creator or you being a Cobra fan, which predates which? Uh, Cobra fan predates okay. content creator for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I found him in, I don't, I don't remember what it was. I think I had, I'd always known about him, like seen him in passing, um, across the internet, seeing clips here and there, but I never really got into him, into him until like, I think 2019, 2020 era, kind of like that. And that was when I started watching like, you know, everything. Yeah. And so. when I look at the content on your channel, it seems mostly game focused. So are you switching gears in your channel or is this just going to be a new way of branching out into something new? Yeah. I branching out, I think is the best way to put it. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's not a total switch. Like I'm still going to keep doing the stuff I normally do, but, uh, these are like going to be passion projects that get released, uh, you know, intermittently. What was the first video that like blew up for you in content creation? Um, this Legacy of Kane video that I did. It's I think it's still no, I'm sure it's still the highest viewed video I did. Um, I did a series on or a video on the whole Legacy of Kane series, and I think it's, it's got like two million views or something like that. That was yeah. just astronomical. And so. Had you been wanting to do a Cobra documentary for a long time? Um, yeah, since since about the end of last year, like the, I think the thing that really spurned it for me was like, uh, <clears throat> was, uh, I don't know, just seeing, seeing you know the avid like drinking on the channel and stuff, and and just the the change in content, let's say. Um, and I think, uh, that, that kind of made me want to do something like that. I didn't really think it was possible, but, um, I decided to find a way. <laughs> okay. So yeah. go ahead, Billy. Go ahead. Uh, if, uh, if, <laughs> if Darf Linney and, uh, everybody else can get along with King Cobra, uh -huh. uh, you, you should be able to, right? <laughs> like, yeah. he's, just, he's not like this crazy, um, like, well, he, he, he has the rock star energy. Yes, he's, he lives the rock star life, but he's not so, as like he's he's not as uh, partitioned off like like an Ozzy Osbourne would be. Exactly. He's got a, he's got a little more free time than than an Ozzy Osbourne or a uh, Danny Filth would have. Yeah. yeah, and he has the right to act like that because he's a rock star. I mean, what are you gonna do? You know? Well, I uh, like like you people joke about it, but he 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 definitely lives 
the lifestyle, right? Like he he believes. Um, he, he's a dreamer, you know. He's got he's part John Lennon. He's it, part. He's he's part uh, Ozzy Osbourne. He's part. I want to put this out there for Son here. <laughs> so as as yeah. we discussed before we went live, Cobes has come into the stream and seen me be critical of him or kind of poke fun at him and got mm. mad. I will say Billy the Fridge here almost like ninety nine percent of the time defends Cobra. So there, yeah. uh, th- there will be a little friction, I think, between maybe ideas you have about what Cobra should do, and because Billy, yeah, that's fine. Billy, it, it, I would say in most part, and he can correct me if I'm wrong, thinks Cobra's trajectory is the the way it probably should be. His trajectory in life is probably the the way he should be doing it, right, Billy? Or yeah, the. Uh- Everybody wants to help King Cobra. The only people that can really help him are like Rick Rubin, you know. <laughs> get, get, get him, get him a record deal with with a uh, with, with somebody. He, like you, you in in your video, you said, "Have you ever thought about getting a second phone?" Yeah. Like that's worthless to him. He needs yeah. someone to handle that phone. He needs a. He manager. needs an agent. If he yeah. had, a, yeah. if he had an agent or a manager, like he he could grow. But he's that's his mind doesn't work in those ways he is very much the epicenter of his creativity and he doesn't have the abilities to manage uh produce and push himself beyond uh what he already creates i think you know i don't i don't know if he'll ever learn those tools of the trade and i feel he's learned are, are 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 very much his own i feel like if he did get an agent or a manager he would just end up ghosting them eventually I mean, it depends on how much they could they could pay in uh, to his his dreams, right? If if they could if they could, it's it's their job to work with him, not vice versa. I don't know. I don't think. I mean, to be honest, I don't think he would. I don't think like anything like that could ever happen. I, I just I think that there, there's there's like a ceiling on <clears throat> how much like how much opportunity he's going to let come into his life. Um, well, I, I think a lot of it is like he said himself that he it's hard for him to understand what's a troll and what's real. Yeah. So you're, you're going to have to show him some reality. You're going to have to show him some of the promise. You're going to have to not just come through with the camera crew like you did and then like judge him and leave him hanging. You're going to have to like hold his hand through a lot of stuff to make it work. Right. Like you're, yeah. you were never going to be the one. That was going to help King Cobra, right? Oh no, no, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't expect that. I don't. Yeah, I I think there's very few people in the world that can help him or make like a very large difference in his life. Um, because it's the whole you can lead a horse to water kind of thing. Um, yeah, I didn't I didn't expect to do that. Um, I uh, especially with the question you were referencing, like I think that was that was why I I talked about it again at the end of the documentary. And why it was kind of the perfect example of of that kind of behavior, um, but the the sentiments that I was echoing in the video, I think, were um, uh, things that I've seen a lot of people express as frustration, um, which is understandable because you're watching somebody for so long and you want to see them progress, and it seems like Josh is unwilling to, um, so people get frustrated with that. How would you define progression? Would you say? Um. In Josh's case specifically, I, uh, you know, I think like health, career. I think the biggest one is career. I think, I, I don't think anybody expects him to progress in health in any way. But like, you know, uh, his career. It, it just seems like there's so many, so many big things like just just sitting there on the table that he could grab, and he he just kind of doesn't. It, the most recent obvious example is the fish tank thing. Um, and, uh, you know, it's probably in my opinion, never going to happen, but, um, th- that's like, that feels like a big opportunity for him. And I think people get frustrated when they don't see that type of progression. They don't see him he, taking advantage of those opportunities. Putting a neurodivergent person in a chaotic situation like that is also like, it's a time bomb, right? Like oh, he, yeah. he, he has like, I, I, I've, I've, uh, they put airsoft fatty into the house Mm-hmm. And you could see Sam uh, very much held his hand a lot of the way. He knew who he was dealing with. I think he would do similar things for King Cobra. Uh, but Definitely. but the other people in that house, they're all going to be aggravators, you know? They're, yes. They're, it's going to be very hard. So it's like Josh should 
have a little bit of uh, uh, you should be a little intimidated to go into that situation, right? Yeah. But I, whether or not he ever yeah. does, I, I mean, I, I think they could probably make make it worth his while, and I think he definitely. He's he's a brave person, right? And at, at his core, you said this in the documentary too. Josh wants to see people succeed. He's a happy person. He mm. he doesn't he doesn't go out against other people and tear other people down. And I think that would ultimately benefit him in yeah. the long run. Um, and I, I think he, it would be a good thing for him to go into the uh, f- fish tank. But it's 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 not something anybody should just walk into, let alone a neurodivergent. Um, I'll use the term lol cow, and, yeah. and I don't I don't want to say that to make Cobes be any less of a person, but there's tons of people who watch King Cobra because they want to laugh at him. Mm-hmm. Uh, the same reason a lot of people watch me. Uh, I, I've, I've, I've been uh, on that side of the fence a lot. Mm. Yeah, I think, I mean, I agree with you. I think you're completely right. Like, he, he should be trepidatious going into that. Um, it's smart. Um, I think I, but I think the reason people get frustrated is because they want to see content, right? At the end of the day, and that's good content. And uh, when they see reluctance and hesitation, it's like, why am I not getting my content? And on the flip side of what you mentioned, because Fish Tank is just more content creation, you did ask, you mentioned the wands in the interview, and I feel like he could make a killing off of the wands, and he doesn't have to be on on camera, being laughed at by people necessarily um so i i and he his re he the reason he gave you is that he wanted them to be more rare but i they could still be rare and valuable if he tripled production i i thought that was kind of a cop-out answer too when i was there um i i still kind of think it's a cop-out answer um i don't know what the real reason is i don't know if it's it's time consuming and hard work you know the real reason is that both of you both have uh productive worker brains he's coming (laughs) from he's coming from the the artist the creative he's coming from this side where he if he pushes if he pushes into the other side of his brain he's going to lose the magic, the, the magic that's actually there. <laughs> when you, when will you, get lost. <laughs> when you craft anything, like anyone on Etsy, any any person that like makes things by hand, when you are selling things way faster than you can make them, usually that's someone's dream in that position. Yeah, you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like, <laughs> yeah, I, I I I agree with you. I think that was one of the most interesting things about the trip was that, and spending time with him is that me and Josh are literally as opposite people as you could possibly get. Totally. Um, Yeah. And, uh, that was, I felt like an interesting dynamic, uh, to the thing. You, you and a lot of people that watch Josh, you want to dissect the frog, but you don't want to get down into the pond. Right. And he has most success with the people who are there in the pond with him. You mm-hmm. have a was it Warlord? Is that the kid's name? The, 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 I don't know. Warlord was know, the her, guy that he like name. kicked across the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are people who get down in the pond. Darflinny gets down in the pond. You have to be able to get down. Like at best, we need a Steve Irwin type, you know, <laughs> who can go in there and get in the pond. And 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 show like what's going on in the habitat. Have you seen Barbie yet? Have you went out and seen Barbie? I have. So I'm seeing it tomorrow. Okay. So, without saying too many spoilers, Barbie lives in Barbie world, and people from the real world, they go into Barbie world. Barbie goes into the real world, vice versa, and the rules are different. In the Cobra world, the rules are different. And when you go into Cobra world with real world ideas, you start to destroy what makes Cobra world special. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're right there. Um, I, you, ha- you definitely have a point for sure. There, there is like a, um, the isolation of the subject is kind of the allure of it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I see that. I see that for sure. Did you uh and did you kind of anticipate because there are plenty of people that liked the documentary but it seemed to be getting mm-hmm. kind of surprising to be getting a lot of ne- some negative pushback I there yeah. was a tech issue that you had that you had to correct which that happens that kind of shit happens yeah. um I do like 
the main thing I take issue with, it, it, there was some like tech issues, whatever. Do you think you probably should have called him dumb though? Do you regret that at all? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> there, there's like a lot of things in the documentary, um, that I didn't, <laughs> I didn't mean in the way that it's like, it came off okay. and watching it back after people have, have like given criticism and stuff. Um, watching it back, I'm like, damn, I really didn't mean for it to look like that, but it really, really looks like that. Um, I didn't, when I was saying that, I was just, I was really just trying to make a point that, um, like, sure, he's, you know, this weird character, but that doesn't mean anything bad should happen to him. Because that, that was what I said with that, that line was, you know, um, he doesn't, he doesn't deserve this, like, at, he doesn't deserve to get evicted, to get fired from his job, to get, you know, all this stuff, um, Dumb was probably not the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Was probably and I not feel the like best word to I, I use. feel like he he's kind of hurt by that because he, he he is. I feel bad. About he that. genuinely he, thought he made some new friends, and now he's like, well, they said I'm dumb, so do they even like me? And that was the only part no, that I was yeah. like, uh, maybe we should shouldn't have done that. No, I know. Um, I do. I I wish there was a way this situation could have came out with me and Josh still being friends, um, because I would be. I would have been completely happy to just have like a texting friendship with him forever and like help him out if he needed to and support him. And I even texted him after the doc came out and after he, he made his responses and stuff and said like, Hey man, listen, I'm sorry. You didn't like it. I, you know, I'm sorry, blah, 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 whatever. I apologized to him. And I said, if you ever need anything, I'm here to set me up. Um, I, but I, to be honest, even without the dumb comment, I don't think that there is a way that I could have made a documentary or a video uh, about Josh like this without him getting upset. I think it would have had to have been like 100% fully curated by him and just fully like basically his video. Well, I, could, I, could, his... I could tell during the interview itself that, you know, you started with some of the more softball questions and then towards the end, the way he closed his eyes and almost like didn't even want to look at you. I could tell yeah. he was very uncomfortable with well, some of the questions. <clears throat> well, it was it was strange, right? Because I felt that too during the interview, and I, I was kind of trying to frame things in like a softer way, and I was trying to to you know do that that whole thing. Um, and then there, there's that part when I ask him about the um, the substance abuse, and he says like uh, he like starts looking at his phone, and he's like, "I hope you guys are liking the documentary and stuff." So it was like he was uncomfortable, but it felt like he still wanted to do it. Like he was still in, uh, you know, he just wanted a second to kind of take out his phone, look at stuff on his phone and, and kind of disassociate and be separate from it. Do you have any uh, neurodivergencies or, or anything that you deal with? I mean, anxiety. Uh, I have like. Yeah, I have anxiety, but that's. Do you tough. deal with a lot of uh, people who would be in that that spectrum, that world at all, or it's just was this one of your, like, was this a culture shock to you to deal with him? Uh, no, um, yeah. Without getting into specifics, of course. Um, yeah, for sure. I've I've dealt with with people on the spectrum, neuro, neurodivergent people, quite a bit before. Okay. Yeah. He like when when he goes and and pulls away from things. I think part of that definitely is him trying to rationalize uh, whether what you're saying to him is an attack or not, right? He seems to deal with that all the time. <clears throat> yes, yeah, yeah. It's the it's the thing you said before. It was a it was a perfect point to make. Was you know he says in the in the documentary he he can't tell if people are messing with him or not, um, and that factors in. I think that that's like the foundation of everything. And, um, yeah. In in the in the closing documentary, you compared the earliest documentary uh, to to what you had picked up with him now, um, visiting him, and uh, you said early on the early Cobes uh, seemed to be a little more um, realistically confident in himself. Maybe was was that was that the the wording you used? It was something like that. Open. I think I used the term openness and willingness. Like stuff like that. Um, I think he was. I, I just think he was a lot more open. I think he was um, a lot more open to to really everything. And now he seems really just kind of shut off. 
I think over time he starts to see himself through the eyes of his detractors, through the eyes of everybody else. And I think that's uh, really hard for him to kind of cope with and deal with. Uh, I, I think he puts a tremendous amount of pressure on himself to um, just exist in other people's eyes. We, we saw the way he broke down. You used the clip in your, your, your video when he broke down when he was responding to the troll where people said that the, the, the school shooter or the mass shooter – yeah, shot the people. 911 video. Or was whatever. listening. Yeah, was listening. Was it the 911 video? It yeah. was one of those videos. But you can you can see this overwhelming burden of emotions crush into him, and I I think he's I think he's dealing with a whole lot more um, than we really give him credit for. Yeah, and for sure. Yeah. It's, it's like I I had a, a friend who was um, pretty batshit insane, mm. a lot of mental problems. And um, a, a buddy of mine said that her driving a car, like us driving a car, we have the, the wheel, we have the, 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 the transmission, everything. We have all of our gears. Uh, when she's a driving a car. And a 2DB, <laughs> ET2. Uh, we talk to the feds all the time. <laughs> true G- fed, give us true some fed of those hours. fed. Give us some of those fed donos. $5 <laughs> is not fed money. That's true. We need to be well fed. Give us big bucks. We do need it. But um, Yeah, and oh, also, but, uh, really quick, let, let me do the quick promo thing. I forgot to say this earlier. Please like the stream. It'll help get more people in here to watch the stream live. And yeah, $5 TTS help us reach our goal here. Sorry, Billy. Go ahead. This uh, this this, this friend of mine, you know, we have a steering wheel. We're driving with a steering wheel. She's like got a, uh, I don't know, like a, a broken stick in the middle of the car. And she's got to do everything we do. And it's, it's through this broken process and it's not going to come out looking easy right yeah it's, it's so much harder for people like uh king cobra to to do the simple things where you're like why doesn't he just do this why doesn't he just do this there's a a, a broken connection yeah uh, w- w- with people like this that they they can't they can't do the a to b to c that we we could we take for granted i have right? a great example of this too uh he was in our chat one time and he was actually responding to us and uh, this was shortly before you came out to shoot your your documentary, and I played him a cooking video that I made where I made my own KFC double down, and showed him like how I shot like up and up like upward and down to like get the counter in my hands like Happy making everything. To Low Brown Jester. Thank you. Happy birthday, Low Brown Happy Jester. Happy birthday. Uh, but yeah, like I, I showed him how to make a proper cooking video because he just like sets his phone on the counter and you can't even see what he's doing. I was like, you should shoot it like this, Josh. Get like a, a tripod and raise it up really high and shoot it downward. But he, I, I don't think he'll ever. I, I don't know. I, I don't know him well enough, but I, I don't think he takes direction really well. I think he just kind of prefers to do things his way. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't he's think an artist, it. right? Like, they're, they're, you can you can learn the rules, you can learn the rules, but that's not a that's that's not a necessity. <laughs> you for know, an artist. Uh, as an aside, we know the guy. I we know the guy who bought him the lathe. He, like, he's a longtime viewer. Oh, uh, like, okay. Of of our show and found Cobes through us, and we. Th- okay. I was surprised he started using the lathe. Although he should not wear like dangly jewelry like he does when he's playing with a lathe. So. <laughs> yeah, so unsafe. Yes. That thing yeah. is, that thing is terribly unsafe yes. in that apartment. Yes. I, don't, uh, I don't know. Can you even use a lathe in an apartment and have that be like? I mean, that's a small one. So you know, like if you're a hobbyist and you make woodwork and you could do that. But part of the, I'm guessing part of the reason why there's a lot of dust in his place is because it's probably a lot of sawdust. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Wyoming. Everybody has a lathe <clears throat> in their living room. In that is not true. <laughs> That's true. That is true. They were, yeah, yeah. Casper was cool. Casper was. I I will say that that was what that was one point I was trying to make with with the documentary. That was Casper was very normal. Very, you know, it wasn't uh, like crackheads running down the street and screaming. <laughs> well, we live it. in Seattle, so that is actually normal here. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of crackhead energy here in Seattle. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> there the the uh, okay so your entire channel uh is built on this um patriarchal uh, 
dynamic. Yeah, where does that like, come from? Is there is there daddy issues here? Like, <laughs> do, do, I, I don't want to get personal with it, but is is that like like do you think your audience has daddy issues or something? Like, do you do. do you think yeah. you think yeah. they play into that? They do play into it, uh, and it makes it does make me feel a little weird sometimes. I think I built a beast that I can't really kill at this point. Um, but yeah. Uh, those those little gimmicks they they help and then at some point like you have to question how much did they help (laughs) yeah yeah i I, at the beginning it was just an idea and i thought it was funny uh to address the audience's dad and i i don't actually hate it i think it's something interesting um yeah i i i like hearing i think i like hearing people's interpretations of it more than i actually like uh the gimmick itself because i've i've seen people say that like one very common one is that i'm talking to my dad and he died and i'm making all these videos <laughs> for my dead dad which is not true my dad's alive he's a very cool guy uh like I, <laughs> yeah yeah I, I like i like that story though i i, I like the idea that, that <laughs> you're just talking to your dead dad, <laughs> my dead dad. i can't wait till the yeah. turkey tom documentary comes out about you and your dead right. dad if my dad if i told <laughs> If I told my dad about King Cobra, my dad would be like, why the fuck did you tell me about this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's kind of, yeah. That was kind of my dad's reaction when yeah. I told him was what I was doing. He was like, whoa, okay. Yeah. Be safe. I was, I was kind <clears throat> of hoping that you would have got that Clint interview just because of the the, the dad oh, uh, thing God. going on. I know. It would have been I, I, interesting like, to see that. I'm telling you, when I when I say I was this close, I was this close. Like, you know, I, I'm not even joking i was this close if it had been like like five six years ago he probably would have done it i saw those old reddit posts where he's responding to everybody but because he was being genuine and trying to defend his son and it was to the wrong people so now just like josh he's a little standoffish and hesitant to talk about that that's why when when we finally get cobra con when we get cobra con i want to on deck ready to go we're gonna we're, we're going to get Danny Brown to headline Cobra Con. We're going to hire God. Clint and all of Clint's buddies to work security. So if you're a troll and you come oh, around, Clint buddies? will not only be carrying, yeah, nah, yeah, they'll not only be carrying, but they'll be within their rights to use. Muscle so you boys. trolls better not come through because yeah, we're, we're hiring boys. Clint. Danny Brown's headlining. I'm going to I'm going to suck my way into an opening spot. Cobra Con. <laughs> we're going to have Cobra play all night long. <clears throat> Whatever he wants to come up on stage National and anthem. do a little ditty, he's right there. Hell yeah. We're going to we we're going to we're going to keep him well fed, well drank, and I'm I'm flying out as many of these hot goth girls that want to come out. They're all paid trip to come out to go. Cobra Con Some and service the eagles. king. Yeah. They're 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 coming through. I I know there's there's at least seven women out there who would do it for the lulls, and three of them that would probably fall in love. <laughs> three, that's a lot. <laughs> I, I I guarantee you, there's three women out there who would fall in love with King Cobra, and the only downfall would be that he wouldn't be able to choose just one of them. That's true. He would want all of them. He would want his. He's his, a rock his star. Goth, Speak, goth harem. <laughs> Speak of which, I I was in contact with Stephanie for a little while, and she almost came on the stream, but then she got spooked and kind of disappeared mm-hmm. for a little That's while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like there's you you probably noticed this. I don't know if you anticipated this, but there's a bit of a a, a gatekeeping that goes on in the Cobra fandom. Oh, yeah, big time. And the second somebody like steps out of bounds. They will go and they will they will uh, shut it down. They'll go yeah. talk to Stephanie. They'll troll Stephanie out of it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. I, I definitely anticipated that. I knew I was not going to be welcome <laughs> with open arms. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just it comes with the territory. I think that's probably most lol cows. I don't, it is. Yeah. I don't know we about any we had DSP like scheduled one time to come on, and once he said something about it on his stream, they talked him out of it, like, almost immediately. Yeah. So, yes. That's very common. Yeah. And they, he was, like, he, he was in the neighborhood, basically. Yes. Yeah, he's very close. I was trying to get him to come over so I could beat him in Street Fighter and then li- try, <laughs> watch him to try to make excuses about it because he used to claim to be, like, the third greatest Street Fighter 2 player in America or something. So Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would have been a good get, too, because he, I mean, he's pretty evasive of everything. Yeah, yeah, he was agreeing to do it, and his his 
trolls kind of it, it, it's kind of similar with cobra he has the the trolls that are nice to him that mm-hmm. he thinks are just his fans and then he has like the malicious trolls too um yeah yeah so that's yeah. what happened uh, th- there are people that really have him in their back pocket and then it became this crazy hilarious drama that i just leaned into eventually and then he blocked me everywhere <laughs> so dsp yeah he's a funny he's a funny guy he is a funny so guy. this is your first documentary style video like this right yeah like full in person yeah like yeah real footage do you stuff. do you have a, a a second one in mind i have uh, a short list let's say um but who's who's at the top of a short list for you? Is that is that something you would be comfortable putting out there? Um, I don't I don't think I don't think I want to. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to talk about it right now. <laughs> Are you there, for- there is one there, there is one guy that is at the top of the short list. But um, it's like daily like it's like daily like I don't want to do it. I do want to do it. I don't want to do it. I do want to do it. I don't want to do it. I think it would be good. But um there's just some things that make it weird. It's not Cyrax. I, oh, I was going to say that. I was going to say I hope it's not <laughs> it's Cyrax. Not, I'm not doing a Cyrax talk. I don't want to. He's like, gross. Actually, uh, um, yeah, and he's uh, not cool. So, um, I have it, someone you should look in, look into. I'm not sure if you know who she is because she's kind of old school and she doesn't get the kind of traffic she used to. But there's a woman out there called Gail Cord Schuler, and she is one of the most fascinating people that kind of falls into that category. Okay. Um, and there's, she was on Tosh.0 oh at one time and, and all that. Oh. Uh, and we've had her as a guest on the show. She's just like a sweet old lady that believes some of the craziest shit ever. Um, <laughs> like this yeah, weird sci-fi cool. fantasy that's like part of Star Trek. Star Trek is part of it and like all this other Weird stuff all melded yeah, in yeah. religion, everything. It's it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like a Tony Chase kind of yeah. vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got yeah. you. I got you. So Billy yeah. did, Billy, did you have any other questions about the documentary specifically? Um I I, I don't know where we're done talking about it. Like do you think you think we should wrap up on the doc or where are we headed? Oh no, no, no. I'm I'm just like, did you have any others? Cause I know, like, I, I was, I was just having, like, I, I'm having, I have, the, I have no, like, questions thought out. I'm okay, just talking through everything. Okay, it's go ahead. Cool, so, yeah, the uh, when when you were in Casper, you guys went to the casino. You did all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you had this list of stuff you had hoped King Cobra would do. Yeah. Um, one of them was boxing. Yeah. Oh well, I I knew. So okay, I saw I saw you guys talking about this, right? So. Yeah. I'm not going to lie or anything. I saw you guys talking about this. Um, the things, like, when I made a list, I literally just went to Casper Google Maps and looked up every single possible thing that you could do in Casper, which is not a lot. Um, but I looked up just everything, and I was like, I'm just going to throw everything at him and see what he says yes to. I knew half the stuff he wasn't going to say yes to. I knew he wasn't going to say hiking. The boxing thing was, like, a 3% chance of ever happening, but... You know, the it's a risk reward kind of thing. You know, it's low risk to ask, but high reward if I can get him to hit some <clears throat> hit some pads. Excuse me. You should have you should have made a Cyrax effigy, like a paper mache <laughs> Cyrax body, yeah. and just give give him the gloves and said, "Do what you do to this Cyrax effigy, dude. Yeah, burn this thing to the ground." <laughs> that would have been. I, I guarantee you, he would have done some some cobra. Some cobra uh, magic to it. That's he, true. He, Cobra's Cobra's like actually a, a fighter, right? I, was it the documentary? It was your documentary where he said he has a brute retard strength or something like that? Yeah, I, I said, was I like, dude, that's retard rage or something. Yeah, no, it he's... was. I was like, I love that. I love that. He's like bigger than I thought he was too. I mean, he's very skinny, but he's way taller than I expected him to be. I mean, I'm like pretty tall. I'm six one, and he was like. Yeah. Maybe an inch shorter than me, maybe two inches shorter than me. I was like, "Whoa, he's a lot taller than I thought he was." Yeah, it looked be. like you had a little height on him, but he mm. he was definitely and he's he's we saw him go up against Warlord after practicing supreme patience. He was dude, he was like, "Dude, stop messing!" I gave with you me. tactical soap, dude. 
<laughs> that that is he gave probably, him every out. It's not my favorite moment like of Josh, but it is like that moment I had so much respect for Josh. Like it, it's like my stocks for him rose through the roof cuz that was so he, went, he he rode out. Like he just that was great. He went like straight a uh, Wyoming Ranger on him. <laughs> Texas <laughs> Ranger. Are you people not donating to the sweet boys. Good question. Thank you, Garcia. Yeah, come on. Jeez. Donate to these sweet boys. Yeah. A lot of people forget they can interrupt us with money. I think they right. get afraid like when we're doing like a like an actual conversation. They're like, oh, I don't want to interrupt. No, you're allowed to interrupt. We're literally sure. making that possible. <laughs> well, yeah. it's it's because we're we're entertaining. We get the most donations when we're sitting here bored and boring. Because <laughs> when we're boring, people are like, oh, we got to do something. This is this is bad. We and should just start have, throwing money at us. We should just have five minutes of silence. Yeah, if we could just donations. Ever. If we could just sit back and jam our thumbs up our ass for five minutes, <laughs> the donations should come in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. um, when when you were in Wyoming, mm-hmm. what like? You guys were there for six days. Six days, yeah. Without Cobra involved, what's like the most memorable moment you had in Casper? Without outside, Josh? Out, outside of the documentary, you know, like just like hanging out, doing doing what you're doing. Did you did you get anything in that was like interesting that taking up um, the, the the city? Yeah, there was. I think it was. I think it was the day that. Um, I think it was the day that he went to the post office and went to do stuff with his dad, so he couldn't he couldn't see us that day. Um, and we went around we went around town and talked to business owners and stuff and um, all that. <clears throat> and then after that, we just kind of were like, well, what do we do now? We ended up going to this reservoir um, and like seeing the sights or whatever. I think we were there for like twenty minutes. It wasn't it wasn't very much, but it was very pretty. It was beautiful. We got to see some good sights. The one thing I will say about Casper is there is like my stomach was wrecked after that <laughs> week there because it was just there's like no the food was good but it's all like those there were so many of those places that have like the heart attack burger you know like the, yeah the burger challenge that you know they bring out like a, a pile of nachos on like a like a steel tray like everything was that or fast food and. I just I was destroyed after that trip. I think I gained like four <laughs> pounds because it was just total junk. It's the perfect place for Josh to live, to be honest. Yeah, we watch Josh's cuisine and we're super judgmental of like the lack of vegetables and everything. <laughs> yeah. But he really is a product of Wyoming. Yeah, like, that is yeah. He, he, it is completely. He's like a reflection of the environment, a hundred percent. I when we were there, I understood why he does that. Because if you're looking for quick food or like even a restaurant, you're not finding something satiating and healthy. That's for sure. Yeah, you guys had the um, the trip to Albertsons when you were in the grocery store. Yeah, and uh, he had been eighty six, I guess, a time before for being drunk. Uh, and you guys g- had the cops called and he, uh, basically was told he was not allowed there and do not come back again. He almost got arrested. Um, do, do you, in that moment, are you thinking to yourself, this is terrible for the documentary or this is amazing for the documentary <laughs> because it, it, you hadn't got the interview yet. Yeah. But like you're sitting here and you're, you're there's there's a good chance this ends with him going to jail. You probably yeah. got to spend a couple extra days there, help him get out, have conversations with him. But yeah. like in, in your head, were you just totally worried or were you like, holy shit, this is in, this is crazy. We got to film it. I think I was I was really concerned about getting the interview last because we didn't ask like super pushing questions in the interview, but. I expected him to have a worse reaction. I expected him to want to stop or just like be giving me one word answers the whole time. He, he dealt with it a lot better than I expected. So the whole time that we were there, anything negative that happened, I was like, this is it. This is, we're done. I mean, I, I think I say that the first day that we went to take him to the bar when we were waiting outside, I was like, it's, it's over. That's all we got. Um, but, uh, yeah. So in that moment I was like, it's done. This is, this is it. And I, I just felt, I felt terrible because I was like, this is my fault. A hundred percent. This is my fault. This probably would not have happened if I would not have been here because it was Josh's presence, but it was also us filming. 
yeah. uh, that caused He said he's it. gone back there tons of times since the blackout and didn't cause any trouble. It's probably because he was just in or out without any attention drawn to him. Yeah. And then this was like a moment where there was attention, so I could definitely see uh, it being a bit of a surprise to him. He probably didn't remember getting 86 yeah. if he was blackout drunk. Yeah. Um, that, that being said, everything worked out. He mm-hmm. didn't. He, he didn't go to jail. Yeah, uh, it, it was this moment of tension that you kind of want to have in a in a documentary. You want to have these moments, so it was cool that happened, and it was cool that like like you said, you expected him to handle everything wor- worse than he did. It mm. really like the wrap up of this entire documentary from your side is almost like you're talking down on King Cobra in a mm. lot of ways, and I think that our perception of him already starts us downward. And I think that's why you got a lot of flack from his audience because his audience is like, we already see the down points. You don't have to go down further on him. Yeah. I think part of that is me trying to also make the documentary palatable for people that don't know who Josh is. Um, And I, I can understand the culture shock there. I completely understand the criticisms coming from his community and stuff like that, because it is, um, it is, it, it is a mixture and it was kind of designed to be that mixture. Um, and so I totally get that. I understand. Um, and yeah, it does. I mean, if you're, if you know who Josh is, you can skip the whole first section. Cause like you, you don't need a primer on who Josh is. Um, but yeah, it was, it was kind of designed to, to, uh, you know, guide people through who were like, who is this? And also yeah. I have an audience and it's like, they're they're gonna be like who is this guy i had a lot of people you know saying that when the trailer came out like who's this i don't know who this guy is so yeah yeah. the the trailer packaged it up so well that uh you know all of josh's fans were excited yeah because you got this moment that that moment where he's doing karaoke the song choice the whole thing the, the empire of dirt it's like it resonates with his fans mm-hmm. and I, I think when they finally got it, not a lot of people are as aware that you know that you you you're telling this story to your fans, right? Yes. Like, this is this is very much for your audience. Mm-hmm. Like, I think yeah. the the two documentaries before, they weren't building towards a preconceived audience, right? They were just trying to tell a Josh story. They were trying to put together something. You don't see these guys interjecting themselves into the video the way you do. Yeah. And that's definitely something that you had to choose to do for your fan base. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, it's, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's something I always knew was going to happen. I, I had a choice. I could either make, um, you know, something similar to what had already been made and, just document Josh as he is now and basically serving as an update, uh, on where he's at in HD. Um, or I could make something that, uh, was, was more true to what I normally make and my style. Um, and also try and introduce my audience to Josh, um, and who he is. Uh, and I mean, it was a choice, but I had to make it one way or the other. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I, I, I think that a lot of people just expected something big from that promo, something mm-hmm. that would be a continuation of what they'd already seen with the previous two documentaries. For sure. I think they were they were really looking for, for that, and they got something different, and that's why there was a lot of backlash. Because there's a lot of people that, like, like, they, for better or worse, King Cobra is their MTV, you know? He's their... He's, he's, he's their form of entertainment. He's yeah. their choice. Their, their choice to tune into. Yeah, and uh, they they're already leaps and bounds ahead of you know the first like you said the first third of the documentary. Yeah, have have you thought about is it is there a lot of extra footage? Have you thought about doing a Casper cut that takes away from you and and puts in more of just the documentary style? Has that been uh, something going through your mind at all? There is extra footage, um, and I probably could make something like that. Like I uh, you I could honestly probably make something that's a similar length, but without my interjections. Um, I don't know. And probably, probably definitely not right now. Um, maybe down the line, if that's something I I wanted to decide to do, but, um, I think honestly, you know, I made this thing. It is what it is. 
Some people are going to like it. Some people aren't. Um, and, and, and this is the thing too, is <clears throat> I don't want people to think that, that I'm just sitting here. Like I made this amazing thing and you don't have to like it, you know, like, um, I understand the criticisms and this was, this was my first time at trying this, this format, this medium. And I'm definitely going to take a lot of things people have said into like, like take them in and try to do better on the next time. It's definitely not perfect. A hundred percent. Um, so I appreciate anybody that's given me the time and the words or whatever to be like, Hey, this, I didn't like this, make this better or do this instead. Um, I appreciate that stuff. It's good information. I always said the worst case scenario with this thing is that nobody sees it and then you don't get any feedback. So even if it's bad, if people don't like it, at least there's feedback and at least I know how to improve next time. Now, Josh is a sexy goth bad boy. I, you've said you're probably the completely different person than he is. Would you consider yourself like a, a wholesome trad good boy? Like kind of, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I see of. your necklace. You got the, the, the cross going there. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you have traditional values? Is that kind of what you live your, your life by in the day to day? Yeah. I mean, to a certain extent without getting super specific, uh, I don't, I don't really, uh, politic online or anything like that, but yeah, I think, yeah, I, I don't want you to either. I was just like, like, I just want to point out how different you really are with with yeah. with the king cobra type right <laughs> yeah like yeah like we're literally opposites i mean like uh like i don't like reptiles he loves reptiles i you know he likes uh magic and stuff like you know like inverse of that um you know uh and and i think the biggest thing is our way of thinking and that was that was something that i realized when we went out there was i'm i'm very much like a workaholic um, I work a lot. I'm extremely productive. That's what like my entire being is based around. And, uh, Josh is just the opposite. And he, I think that's why he's so interesting to me is because it's like, this is a human that is literally the opposite of what I am. We should be nemeses, but I want to be friends. <laughs> as, as opposite as he is, as, as not a workaholic as he is, mm. you kind of have to admire his productivity, right? Like he does have a wand business. He mm. has put out multiple albums. He like, like wh whether or not you agree with the quality of the content, <laughs> the man is producing, right? Yeah, I mean, with the with the very little like amount that he does in a day, like I would love to see the amount of work hours that Josh actually puts in over like a year, um, because it's very low. But yeah, he does. I mean, he has a successful YouTube channel. I mean, he's making enough money to live, and he has a successful wand business. And uh, yeah, he's made a lot of music. I mean, have yeah. You, have you followed? Uh, Wesley Willis at all? Are you familiar with with Wesley Willis? No, not not off the top of my head. He's kind of a, a meme uh, musician. I think he's he's been he's passed away for a long time. Yeah. Oh, he, um, Rock and Roll McDonald. Rock and Roll McDonald. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like he's a G. He he put out so many projects he worked with rick rubin every right? song was exactly oh, really? the same yes he did yeah and like Ooh. every song yeah. was literally the same thing just like a different theme like viper yeah and and yeah. you look at him and he was touring he was he was as successful as you know a ton of really talented respected musicians because he was unapologetically himself and he sure. put himself out there yeah. And I see that sort of magic in a King Cobra. When I see King Cobra, I don't look at his limits. I look at his possibilities. And he is one uh, reality TV show producer away from being uh, Tiger King out of prison. Yes. He could have, he could have a clock tower <laughs> dream house with just the right person that sees the value of, of what he has. And we've seen Honey Boo Boo's. We've seen all these characters that don't resonate with with anybody on a day-to-day -day level but have heart and we still somehow connect with yeah and and he's he's one of those people <clears throat> yeah I, and, 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 and the, one of the things you exposed about him is how like pure-minded he really is when it comes to community connection and other people he he, he might be a little off uh center 
with his viewpoints at times, but he really is focused on, you know, the, the, the love and betterment of, of people doing what they do and living their lives without hurting others. That's really a core message he has. And I, I think a lot of people can resonate with that. Yeah, that was that was easily the part about Josh that I least expected, but but the part that I loved the most was that he legit like he loves be like when we were at the bar, he loves being around people. He really does. Like you can see it in him and you can see him having fun and he just has so much fun. But I think whatever it is, just his his situation that he's in right now or the antisocial stuff or like the neurodivergent stuff. He, it just keeps him away from people. and But he really craves that, and he wants it a lot. And um, seeing him, like, respect that and appreciate it, especially when he kept saying over and over again, like, I love hearing other people sing and just, like, no one caring if it's bad. Like, that was so, that was so like, touching and wholesome to come from Josh. Like, hearing that was so, I don't know, it was just unexpected. It showed me a different side of him that I, that I really appreciated. Yeah. Yeah, he is a good guy. There's, I think he's a good. I think he's a genuine dude, and like you were yeah. saying before, you know, he is unequivocally himself. Like he, uh, I that that was that was kind of a. I I didn't really know which way to go at the end. Was like why I said he's either he either doesn't care at all what people think, or he cares so much that he loops back around, and um, I don't know which it is. But either way, it results in Josh. I think he has to not care what people think to an extent. And I think it's very hard for him to do that. I think he struggles with that all the time. I think when he started to look at himself through the eyes of the haters, through the eyes of the detractors, through the eyes of the trolls, he saw things about himself that he was able to um, ignore before that, you know? Yeah. And I think there are very, there are very real inadequacies that he, he deals with. And um, to a point, he can just write it off as, you know, I'm, I have Asperger's. That's an easy write-off, but th- there, there's always going to be that moment where I think you, Ben, myself, we probably all struggle with issues of uh, um, whether or not we're, we're doing what we should be doing with our lives, right? I think, a lot, like you said, you're a bit of a workaholic. I think a lot of workaholic tendencies come from the fact that you want to you, you don't want any reason for you to fail, right? You have to work so that you have no reason to fail. I see that in a lot of my uh, content creator friends. They overwork themselves because if, if, they, if they do something, if they don't take every opportunity to work, they're going to beat themselves o- uh, up over it when, when they don't make their quotas, don't make their, their views, make their things. And I, I think that we all have our, our, our leashes and our, our vices and our, and our inadequacies. And his are just, um, you know, they're so, like people say, fascinating. That, that, that word kept coming up. He's so fascinating. Yeah, it's because Robbie. he's operating on a different wavelength than any of us are. Yeah. He's got his own frequency. And yeah. that's, that's what we, we don't understand how it works. And, and we see it somehow does work. And we can't understand why. We, yeah. we just can't because we know how, like, like, you know how putting in the work works for you. Ben mm-hmm. knows how putting in the work works for him. I know how things have worked for me. And there, there's definitely a paint by numbers way to success. And you yeah. put in that work and you go and he is off in his own world and playing by his own rules. And it's, he's getting these rewards out of life that I don't think any of us really would want, you know, like do you, we, we do don't mean? like we, we wouldn't want that attention. That he oh, gets from yeah. all the, 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 the all the fan base, you know. Yeah. He does he does have a very hard uh, existence in his in his fame. It, yeah. it, it, there's 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 a fight there. Like most of, for the most part, we all get embraced with love from our fan base, right? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that's 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 a that's a that's a big thing that we could take for granted. And yeah. he's got to fight that all the time. And that's that's why I try and give him the extra little bit of uh, love and admiration and respect. Because I, I could see him going through a struggle that I haven't had to go through. Yeah, I think no, I think what you do, like I think your take on it is a very like noble and unheard take on it. Um, because it's very easy to just be like, dude, why aren't you doing Danny Brown? Why aren't you doing Fish Tank? You could make money from this. Why aren't you selling more wands? Like it, it's very easy to do that, but it is harder to be like, yeah, he's 
I mean, his life's hard, like, every second of the day. Without you know? the trolls, he's living a hard life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, uh, you know? Yeah. yeah. And he's doing it He's doing it in a way that, uh, like we said, fascinates us. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's a character. I mean, he's, he, they, don't, they don't make him like that. Yeah, he's one of the rare Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we I remember when he turned off the DTTS and we were like, why is he doing that? But I guess I guess the, the chargeback thing that he said is pretty valid because that does happen. A chargeback will cost him a lot. From what I understand, he was taking the money out very quick. Um and People were trying to tell him to leave it in there, <clears throat> and um, it just he kept getting chargebacks. Like, yeah, if you leave it in there, it shouldn't be an issue. But he just Cobra kept Cobra needs a manager. He needs a treasurer. Like, if, <laughs> if a, this clock a nation state, <laughs> if this clock tower dream house is gonna work, he's gonna need a, a real circle around him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I think we see this. We see his growth. Like we, we see the uh, the collection of of stuff that gets sent to him. Right. Some of the stuff is super crazy troll stuff. But more and more, we're seeing like really nice, heartfelt things being sent to his his doorstep, his PO box. And I think that's gonna grow when when he grows. You know, I I think I think we're seeing a, a growth and resurgence. Like you said, Danny Brown, Abba and Preach. These bigger channels are are, are showing him. Uh, respect and yeah. it's going to bring in new eyes that are going to respect and love him too and we're seeing this growth right now we're seeing him get stuffed animals toys edible food not just gross trash booze all this stuff mm -hmm. and it's it's it could it could grow exponentially he could mosey on into a clock a tower dream house because rick rubin decides to put out a, a record with him the same way he did wesley willis and people just fall in love <laughs> with his his hit song, Cobra Cantina, you know, <laughs> yeah, <Cobra's laughs> Cantina. there could be there realistically could be like a meme producer or like agency, you know, that that wants to really push him uh, and he could make some decent money off of it. But this, this guy's got comic books around him. He's got yeah. documentaries around him. He's got albums he's released. He 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 there's a, a microcosm of content that makes other people money just responding to him the all industry. these there is a small industry around king cobra mm -hmm. and if if it blows up if it hits if he gets his uh juggalo moment where this where the, like the juggalos you know they were they were counterculture and then they blew up and now the the, the icp eats yeah they eat well they're yeah. a little more business minded but if you get that one colonel parker behind king cobra that colonel tom parker that makes elvis elvis King Cobra could be in that clock tower. It, it's you know it's a matter of luck, like with anybody with talent. There's yeah. so many talented people out there who will never ever reach King Cobra's level. <laughs> so like we, we 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 can we can look down on him and say that he's never going to be that guy because he is incapable of running the business the way that he needs to. But most people do not run their own business. Most successful people, the people we see, have a whole team behind them. And I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. For Cobra to get that team. See, I that's the that's a tough one though for him to <laughs> let other people. No, no. If I managing Josh, right, right, right. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying like, or him Not allowing me. himself to be managed. Yeah, I don't see that. I don't think he's that much more of a problem than a lot of these this prima is, donna divas. This is where the rose tinted glasses come into play. I completely disagree because, like we said, uh, son, when you went in to make this documentary, you expected the worst from him, and he actually gave you better than you expected. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. I expected the worst, uh, like in him cutting out early. Yeah. But he was ve like, it was very difficult to get him, it was like, on camera and like to be timely and stuff like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, you would have I, to be I, your sole client. You would have to be your only client. You, you, that's well, it. well, you, you would, you, they would have to be a better manager than you were able to be. That's right? true, and that's, that's not, true. that's not I'm hard because, because you weren't just there to manage King Cobra. <laughs> you were also there to manage your own product projects. Yeah. You had your own idea in mind. Uh, if, if, if I, if I, if I'm asking too much, how much money do you think you spent greasing the wheels with King Cobra? 
What do you mean by gracing the wheels? Like you brought him some alcohol, right? You brought him some uh, gifts. Uh, I assume you you probably paid to go to the casino and paid to go to the the karaoke and everything. Um, How how much money do you think went into just making Cobra comfortable? Maybe 500, 600. Yeah. Like, like It it wasn't much. That's that's really not that much for a couple of days. Yeah. If if someone came in and they had the the business acumen, if they had the uh, the goal to actually manage him and push him, and they had the money to keep him happy, uh, he I think he's gonna work with people. I think That's I true. think it's I think it doesn't take too much to keep him going if you know how to handle a personality like that. I think That's, you would you would have to you would have to. Uh, the, the the only thing that's like the only difficult road bump is managing how much alcohol you give him at a time. Oh yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. You would have to you would have to keep it a steady flow, but don't give him too much uh, at any at a, at any one point. You'd be giving him a lot of shooters, that's for sure. <laughs> have it, ten it would, shooters on at any time. <laughs> it would it would definitely be. Uh, a, a, a balance, you know. A lot of so a lot of celebrities need a, a, a dietitian or a nutritionist or something. <laughs> you would need a, a bartender to be on deck and just yeah. be that, a, like a, a bartender slash psychologist could probably yeah. keep him at that perfect buzz. Yeah. The, there's gonna be a team, uh, and yeah. I, and I think he's I think he's gonna be a good a, a good uh, guy to work with once you get that that. Um, balance down because he is kind of you know predictable for the most part we we, one of the things about the fascination and the the audience that follows him is they can always kind of work him into a cobra moment and and i i think that that if, if you have his best intentions and your best intentions in mind you can probably keep him going for a long time if you just know the sweet spots to hit and i i think that nobody's really tried that and it's really hard to try that and what's the payoff really going to be it has to be someone who believes that he is you know this this uh an attraction and yeah. someone who believes they knows how they can make money uh with that i've had a few people message me like can we get a hold of king cobra i want to put some money into an album deal i want to take him out to chicago and like get him i, I, got, a, I got a record producer i want him to work with these things like this and it's like you're asking to move mountains and and you're you might have like ten thousand twenty thousand dollars in mind to play with yeah. but it's 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 gonna it's gonna become a full time gig to make this work like you're gonna have to be as much the uh a part of the project as 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 more so than he is yeah you yeah. you you have to be the 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 judge jury executioner you have to be the bartender you have to be the psychologist you have to be the manager <laughs> you have to be all these <laughs> you got You got to be all these things. Jack of all trades, kind of guy. Yeah. Like, g- going, going to King Cobra and just expecting to milk his magic. That's most definitely not what's up, tubes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. On, DJ Fix yeah. Soul is our resident King Cobra uh, yes. authority. Oh, really? And he's, and he's, he's, he's he, end all be all. But he, uh, you could tell he he's not the he's one of those. I watch Cobra and I don't like him that much. I can tell yeah. that that he's one of those based on yeah. how he says things. That's fine though. That's I think that's. I mean, I agree with with what you're saying, but I also think it's it's understandable to see why people get so upset. Not so upset that you you know try to mess his life up. But mm-hmm. it's understandable to see why people get upset. I just, I wish I had uh, the the free time to become his Colonel Parker, because I I just I I, I want to prove a point. I don't even it's it's selfish. I just want to <laughs> yeah. prove a point that all he needs is the right the right backing, and he yeah. could do something. But it's it's neither here nor there. Like you said, he is a very hard person to work with. Um, some people are good with working with hard people. You just got to find that type of person to step in and, and make some moves. But it is what it is. He's, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing right now, and he, he's enjoying the, the fruits of his own labor. And that's yeah. a lot, that's a lot uh, more than most people can do. Like, whenever he says, you know, all these people that picked on me in high school, they're all working dead-end jobs, and I'm a famous YouTuber. Like, that's, that's only... 
slightly wrong, right? <laughs> like he's pretty much on the ball. Like he is living his <laughs> life. This is this is the Frank Sinatra song, "My Way," sung out of tune. <laughs> I think he has a point, but I, I think if you asked anybody, any of those people that have those dead end jobs, if they would want to live Josh's life, I don't think they really would. They could. They couldn't. They couldn't. Yeah, no, yo, it's yeah, you can't handle it. I don't think any of us here could handle that. That's a gaunt- I, I I think Ben might actually be the closest connected uh lifestyle wise to King Cobra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> lifestyle wise. When yeah. when when they when they had their call together on Crystal Roberts show, it was like they 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 connected like on a on a a base level where they had a lot of shared interests. Their, their, their timing with their friendship. Uh, well, the, I say friendship, their, their connectivity timed up really well. They, they both have a lot of shared, uh, respects and experiences music wise, uh, obviously drinking wise. There, there was, there was just a lot for them to, uh, like kind of coexist with. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could have gotten drunk with Josh more when we went out there. I only did it once. Um, Yeah. But I mean, obviously, I couldn't because we're trying to film stuff. But um, I wish that was the fu- I think that was the funnest part was just drinking with him at the bar. That was that was super fun. Just letting you think loose. liquor wise, you think you could hang with King Cobra? Like if you guys were going drink for drink? Uh, I'm I'm a pretty big boy. Uh, yeah. And uh, I got Irish blood in me. Uh, so, okay. I mean, I can handle it, but. Um, I don't know if I could go drink for drink. That's, it's a lot. I mean, <laughs> I, I think I'd be, I, I, I could try. I could give it a valiant effort, but I don't, I don't you know claim what? to have superpowers. The here. last time I got like King Cobra levels of drunk, mm-hmm. I almost, I basically did the, I'm not gay. I'm straight thing to Billy. <laughs> And I like basically <laughs> accused him of like wanting to rape me or something. Yeah, <laughs> I, caught the, I caught the me too and Ben's blackout. <laughs> He's like, no, Billy, no, yeah. <laughs> don't don't violate my bussy. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, no, no, it's cool, Ben. I'm not, I'm just let's turn off the stream. <laughs> no, the stream is the only thing saving me from your sexual advances. <laughs> Oh, ben, let's go to sleep. <laughs> it's, it's nighttime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He uh, that's where he's comfy though. That's where he's comfy in that zone. That's where that's where that's his natural habitat. He exists there. I think he he loses a lot of his social anxiety. He stops questioning himself the way he uh, normally would. Yes. Uh, like, I, I think there is a, a, a safety zone there when you're just able to let go of a lot of the things. And that's a lot of people drink to take off that that extra cloud of, of questioning that goes to their mind. Yeah. Yeah. He, the, um, the night when we were at the bar was the night he was the most sociable and, you know, you'd see in the documentary, he's yelling stuff out to people that are walking in, you know, he's, he's dancing and stuff. Um, uh, and the, the day that he showed up, uh, the day that we went to the casino and I say in the doc, like he looks, he looks pretty off. He felt off. Like it felt like something was weird. Um, I don't think he drank that day and he had like maybe two beers at the casino or something like that. Like he, he, he's very much a different person when he started drinking. Like he, he gets to a point where he's like socially competent and he can, he can totally vibe. Um, but then when he's not, it's just a different, he's, he's somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as a content creator, who were some of your biggest influences um, I think when I started, it was a lot different. Um, like, uh, obviously I've done a lot of video game stuff. Um, and, um, I was influenced by a lot of other long form analysis guys, uh, like avalanche videos and salt factory and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, I think now, um, I'm not influenced or I'm, I guess I'm trying not to be influenced by a lot of people. I don't, I try not to watch anything that's in, that's in my wheelhouse or what I'm trying to do when I'm making something. Um, especially with the video game stuff these days, I don't watch stuff that is trying to do something similar or analyze the games. I don't want to take in something and then like subconsciously use it later. Yeah. Um, 
So I, I, I watch mostly stuff that doesn't have to do with what I'm doing. Um, I think you can clearly see like the influence of like the iDubs documentaries as much as I don't like iDubs anymore. Um, yeah. I think no, like, it definitely f- felt that I was going to ask that uh, yeah. as a follow up if, if like that was an influence uh, because it, you definitely like with a lot of the documentaries we see um, the earlier Cobe documentaries, there's not the interjection of the, the host, but you did, you tackled this a lot. Like I dubs tackled the full force documentary where they saw fatty, you know, yeah. he put himself in it. He told the story to his audience. He took these characters and uh, did the best he could to tell a story under his lens. Yeah. I think it, it, there was influence there. Um, I think like for the record, I think full force is good. Um, and like Ice Cream Man is probably pretty good. Um, we don't mess with Dis and Sam Hyde, but whatever, that's a different <laughs> subject. Um, well, the, Sam Hyde, <laughs> the Sam Hyde went in to uh, make that a very hard documentary for Idubs to make. That's true. That's true. And I think that both <clears throat> of those guys uh, d- did something really, uh, really interesting with their documentaries. Um, yeah. I think Idubs having to follow up because uh, what we, Idubs comes in and he wants to be the gotcha guy. That's always been his, his stance was the gotcha guy. And Sam Hyde had him by the balls the whole fucking time. Yeah. He knew that was coming and stuff. Yeah. So it just didn't, it didn't look good on his end. And I think, I think he wanted to drop that before Sam's stuff came out and uh, it just looked bad. It, it was well, a bad it's, look. It's, it's like you, you film this stuff, you put this thing together and then halfway through it, you realize you're being taken for a, a loop yeah. And, and, and there's gotta be, uh, some, some distance from ego yes. to, to, to put something out when you know somebody fucked with you on it, you know? Yeah. So I, sure. I, I can, I can understand the position, uh, Idubs was in with that. I think that the Idubs documentaries are, are, are great content. I love them. Um, the, his, his uh his content cops all seem to be him complaining about my friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh but well, they're the, gone uh, now anyways. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I there was some of that influence there, but I I think really what I was just trying to do at the end of the day was like I I wanted to analyze him and I know some people might not agree with that premise. Um I I know that's like not a thing to do, but that's what I do. And I like analyzing things and I like trying to dig deep and find the meaning in there. Um, and, um, I think there was a lot of interesting things to be said about Josh. So, you know, like we said before, it it was, it was a culture shock to people that know who Josh is and it it wasn't something people were expecting, but I think I would have been disappointed in myself if I just filmed Josh and made something that, kind of had already been made because because here's the thing <clears throat> the trap documentary cannot be touched it is it is in a different echelon of media in my opinion like it is it's beautiful and it is so perfectly made uh it it's you cannot compare anything to it ever it's just so good um so i think trying to do that same thing uh in in the same style is just you're fighting an uphill battle. Yeah, I uh, and and uh, you you definitely went in there with your audience in mind. Like that's obviously your 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 skew on this. You had to tell a story to your audience, and that's gonna that's gonna turn off a lot of people who aren't your audience as well. Yeah. So it's, it's it's you had to expect a bit of a backlash. Yeah, um, for sure. I I think that as much as the 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 King Cobra regulars disliked a lot of things. Mm. I, I don't think anybody's complaining that there's more content out about, about Josh and his personal life. Like yes, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's they're, they're hungry. Did you watch the uh, the podcast he did with a couple of people that were in um, Casper uh, as well? He like it was like a guy and his wife. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, that was uh, that was actually um, I forgot about this, but I was thinking about doing the doc right before that happened, and okay. when I saw that, I was like, I have to go out there, like, because it was just. I mean, let's be honest. Like, it was they didn't know who he was. 
they like have never heard of him clearly like until they heard that from somebody else that he was a guy and then they were just asking him the weirdest questions like it was just that was uh, that was one of the moments where i was like i you know maybe i did it justice maybe i didn't but like that in, was, in, in that moment, though, we kind of just get to see Josh being Josh with with uh, uh, people who aren't um, who aren't normal uh, normally around him, and you get to see this dynamic of him that is true. Uh, play out, and it's it's interesting. That is so true. I, he brings I, the cologne bottle there and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I see. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. That's you're right he is uh he is and i think i think i was over <clears throat> over worried about alienating people in in the production of this and that's something that i want to do less next time i want to hold people's hands less and and give the audience the benefit of the doubt a little bit um yeah. you're that, pt yeah. barnum but at the end of the day cobra is the circus you know yeah yeah no i feel <laughs> and, you i feel you <laughs> yeah if uh, if you could do a documentary on a uh, a celebrity, like if you could sit with a celebrity and 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 have access to them um, the way you had access to King Cobra, who's somebody that you would want to really sit down with and work with for a few days and get something out of? Damn, that's like I feel pressured. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a question that requires a lot of thought. Um, I mean the, the the immediate answer that like comes to my head is like is like somebody like Sam Hyde, but at the same time it's like you're entering into a uh, a weird contract there. You know what I mean? I I dubs already kind of found that out. Um, <laughs> I think um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't really give you a good answer on this one. Let me th- let me think about it, and we'll come back to it. I'll, All right. In like, like five minutes, it'll pop into my head. Yeah, yeah. Like, we yeah. we can round back to it. I think bringing up the Sam Hyde uh, is is a, is a, still an answer. But yeah. uh, I th- I think that if you come with a, a better, more um, real, no, not realistic, because this is like anybody in the world type of thing. You know, you could yeah. you could be talking to uh, the. I'm trying to think of anybody like that's bigger than Sam Hyde, and uh, there's just nobody. <laughs> <laughs> not in that, not in that realm. No, no. Yeah, maybe like the actual school shooter, not the not the guy who just <laughs> reported for it. Yeah, but uh, yeah. <laughs> with um with with the IDub situation and Sam Hyde situation, I I feel like I feel for uh, for IDubs and Anissa in a lot of ways. Because I really think that they have good intentions, mm-hmm. and I think that they just—it's really hard for them to get over their own little roadblocks, and it it, it, it fucks them a bit. I, I do think that they're they're genuinely trying to do the right thing. I think it's just uh, not not working out the way they thought it was going to, and that's that's hard. Yeah, he's uh. Man, I don't know. The boy's lost. The boy's lost. I think. I think he's. Uh, he. Uh, I think. You're, I think you're right. That you, when you get into that kind of like thinking, you you lose yourself a little bit. Um, and I think, the, like you just said yourself, you can't trust Sam Hyde, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're entering yeah. a contract. You can yeah. enter a contract with somebody who is capable, and probably going to fuck with you. Yeah. And 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 you see, like the, the way he handled um, airsoft fatty in the fish tank, you saw a more like chill, nurturing person because he he knew the person he was dealing with was not. Uh, coming from a place of ego and airsoft fatty's a real sweet guy like he was in seattle uh last summer and uh he was filming with idubs for idubs um the the dak shepherd idubs um tv show or late night show they do they yeah did, they did a little, little thing he was in town and he was in his hotel and he had a, a friend of mine that hooked me up through him and i went and i picked him up and i i took him out and where'd you take showed him? him seattle <laughs> I took him to Dick's for some cheeseburgers. Okay. I, t- I took him to um, 
to uh, all through Seattle to show them like little spots of the city. I took them to the the ninety nine where all the prostitutes are. Yep, that's what I was. <laughs> yeah. He had the prostitutes Damn, come up to the window trying to proposition him, and he he handled it like the smoothest pimp. He's like, he's like, he's huh. like, <laughs> he's like, hundred dollars. Does that give me a blowjob? Does it give me a blowjob? <laughs> um, what if I just wanted to eat you out and fuck? <laughs> And then, and then she's like, she's like, well, that's 150. He's like, I might come back to you. I don't know. <laughs> he's, yeah. But he's he's a genuine dude who is like on a different frequency than everybody else. Yeah. And 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 one of the things that outed Sam Hyde was that he he was um, caring to that to that. You know. Yes. If, if you if you go toe to toe with Sam Hyde. You're you're messing with the bull and you'll get the horns, but he's not always that guy, you know. He's yeah. he's, he's very much uh, willing to work with you, if if you're willing to subscribe to his his uh, behaviors. Yeah, he's. I mean, yeah, I'm like I'm gonna out myself here, but like I've been like I've been a fan of his for a long time, like since I was in like high school, since I was like a kid. Um, he, if you if you've watched a lot of his content, you'll know like he has that, he has that in him. Like he's he's a good he seems like a good dude. I haven't obviously I haven't met him, but like he he ha- he seems like he's a genuine dude and has like genuine a moral code that he sticks to. And like, you know, <clears throat> and that the airsoft fatty thing truly showed that that he was like, you know, th- this is a guy that's down on his luck. I'm gonna try and pick him up and like elevate him, and and that was uh yeah that was g shit. And, and and as much as he is a genuine guy, he's also a fucking psychopath that <laughs> that knows yeah. how to knows how to work with people on an intellectual psychological level and break down their weaknesses and take advantage of them. So yeah. it's like Idubs has every reason to feel the way he feels about Sam Hyde. Yeah. He was he was uh he, he went in to the, the, the tiger's den and he had he had a an idea of in his mind of what how things were gonna go, and from point one he was not on an even playing field, like he was being he was being trapped. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You 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 gotta be like, you gotta be okay with taking some some shit too. Like he he just was not okay with taking any sort of like jokes or rizzing or anything like that, and he. He he took it very much to heart, and I I think if you're on the internet at all, you have to be okay with that. Like, it, it shocks me these people that like do this stuff, and like, you have to be okay with people fucking. As a, as a creator though, like, how hard would it have been for you to give up control over the King Cobra documentary? Like, if if you would have got there and King Cobra would have not been willing to work with you, and it, as it turns out, halfway through. Cobra was actually actively fucking with you. Like it would, it would kind of blow your mind a little bit, but it would, it would rattle you too. Right. It would rattle me, but I would respect the fuck out of it. Um, (laughs) I, I think like I respect trolling and especially when it's good trolling. I think, I think, uh, most trolls are pretty bad. Like most trolls don't do well at trolling. And then a lot of trolls take it super far. I think there's a sweet spot with trolling and if you do it well, it, it's an art. It's an art form, and it, it's beautiful. Yeah. When it happens. Yeah, I think I think I would respect yeah, it. I, I, I mean, of course, I can say that now, but like, if I was in yeah. the, world, you know, you never know what's yeah. gonna happen. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that all all that being said, I just want to ask you those questions uh, to get a little more idea of uh, like where your your documentary style is coming from and where your your roots for all this was. Yeah. Man. Um, because I got the iDubs uh, connection with the, uh, like a lot of the stuff that was going on. It felt uh, like you were going into it the same way he, had, he went into the, the full force stuff, you know? Yeah, I think, <clears throat> I think with the next one, I, I, I definitely want to... That was like a base, you know? I, I want to I find my own. I want to find my own style. Make, carve out my own space um, in the sphere. And uh, I want to... I want to do it different, and I, I want to get better. I think that that's that's my whole thing is is getting better. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna see where some where this takes us. There there are um there there are some people that I really want to cover that not a lot of people know about, um, and I think I, I think I want to do some stuff like that in the future. I I don't want to keep uh 
you know, talking about the Cyraxes and the the Chris the Chans. SPs and stuff like yeah, Chris Chans, yeah. Yeah. I want to I want to talk about some people that nobody knows and and that there might be some interesting stories there. There there's one on my short list that I really want to do, but I'm having trouble getting in contact with them. Um, but I think they would make an amazing story, a very wholesome, uplifting one, and a different uh, a different vibe than the Cobes doc was. I, I like the Cobes doc, but it was sad. It, it made me very sad, and it, it was sad to me. Um, and I feel sad. <laughs> I just feel <laughs> sad doing it. <laughs> like it, it was. Uh, I want to. I want to. I, I think I want to do something wholesome with there's, the next one and, and uplifting, positive. There's no one more simultaneously wholesome yet disgustingly perverted than Gail Cord Schuler. Like she's <laughs> she's both she's both things at the same time. I want to show you something that I show a okay. lot of people that that aren't from. Wait, wait. Can I can I go to the bathroom real quick? Yes, you can. Super fast. I'll yes, son. You have my permission. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Ladies now, and gentlemen. Tip trade and like the stream, please. We have we have been teased with donations tonight. Don't just tease us. Go balls yeah, deep. Yeah, because we need to we need to meet the goal. This is the Saturday bonus show. We did three shows in a row because we had a modified schedule. Link is right there. If if you don't like our guest, you can donate and tell them how that you don't like them. Like that's <laughs> fine. Or you can ask him a question about Cobra. Like, literally, you can do any of that. Ask him to make a doc on IP2. There's there's so much. Like, Gucci's would be to, good. To go into IP2, you really have to be somebody who's been following it. Tubes. Donate to Ant Chicos. Fuck sickos. Yeah! You guys should hate sickos more than you like money. So donate to Ant Sickos. <laughs> Shikos. It's funny, because... Uh, uh, Honest Red was like, you should introduce this guy to Smarty. They're basically the same person, is what he said. And that is how I got in contact with him, was through Smarty. So that's kind of funny. But I don't think they're the same person. It's just funny that he said that. They're just the same guy. <laughs> Smarty says, I'm low-key over the moon to be the cause See? of this episode. Yep. What's up, Smarty? How you doing? I got a message from Barry Mezzi today. Remember Barry Mezzi? With the with the fake penis? Yeah, he, he wished me um good health. He heard oh, about my nice. heart my heart situation. I was All like, right. what a sweet boy Barry right. Mezzi is. All right. Boys. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna switch to the other view here. And okay, so this is the trailer for a movie about a uh, something that act, a real life story in Ga Gail Cord Schuler's past uh, but it was made into a movie star and she plays every character in it oh shit <laughs> and it's it's so bizarre here here's the trailer we've watched the whole movie before too it's ridiculous thanks cheers to a fistful of davis what a long day wore out In a world where drug rape and Jesuit conspiracy run rampant, a man on a mission for the woman he loves. My angel is raped. <laughs> <laughs> Director Gail Cord Schuler. Oh. With producer Gail Cord Schuler. But she managed to ride up and down all 18 inches of my erect penis. A Gabrielle Chana film. Steven Spielberg raves. It's the most impressive expose of Brent Spiner's rape ever made. Blood and feces splatter everywhere. Well, there you have it. 
<laughs> Female Neil Breen. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Damn. Does she is that her only movie or does she have more? That's her only actual she's, movie, but she has so many crazy videos that she's made on her channel. They're unbelievable. She has a YouTube channel? Yes, <clears throat> Gail Cord Schuler. She has a rich lore that is it would take forever to really explain. But it Netflix has Netflix should pick up her life story for a series. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. I think somebody just entered my shortlist. Yeah, she <laughs> she's written several novels too. That are ba- that she says are based on true stories. Uh, basically, oh. she is <clears throat> the empress of the world, and uh, she has an intergalactic starship called the Church of Gale, where all of her men live, and all of her men are people like Hugh Jackman and Gerard Butler, and uh, like a bunch Vladimir of Vladimir Putin. Yeah, Vladimir Putin's on that <laughs> list. There's a whole bunch of them, and. Damn. But some of them, they they got their buttholes replaced with vaginas. They have vagina butts. They're all exact copies of Gail's vagina. So they because yeah, <laughs> she can't be there on the ship. So they all she's fight down each here other. on Earth. <laughs> she's what battling. Fuck, yeah. Yep. So they I all have even... to use they, they use each other's vagina butts to be with Gail. Oh, okay. So it's like they're. Getting yeah. to her through each other. Yes. Yeah, the sexual technology that Gail has enlisted is amazing. She has a copy, a coffee cup, and every time she drinks from the coffee cup, it's like she's blowing one of her men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She sent her pubes to Melania Trump also in the mail. For real? Uh, I'm not sure, but it seemed like it was real, and then people later on were try, like, trying to be like, no, that wasn't real. I was like, I don't know. It seemed pretty real when she Damn. did it. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's an interesting package to receive for sure. She's such a sweet lady. Like we've had her <clears throat> we've had her on our stream. She's so nice and wholesome, but then she'll talk about shit like that. We're <clears throat> like, wow. Yeah. Wow. She man. she's our buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Friend of the show. <laughs> yeah. She stalked Brent <clears throat> Spiner in the nineties. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Brent Spiner. He plays Data. <laughs> Do you, do you know who he is? Brent Spiner, he played yeah. Data in Star Trek? Yeah. yeah, so she stalked him to the point where the cops had to get involved, and he wrote a book that is loosely based on it, too. Oh, shit. Yeah. And I, I it's mentioned... A fiction, a fiction book, but it's based on semi-real events. Yep. Yeah. And I tweeted at both of them in the same tweet, and he blocked me. Like, he is not... Oh. A, there's actually a video out there of someone at a Star Trek convention asking him about her, and he gets really weird about it. He's like, it's only oh, been going really on... It's really weird, but but the other cast members on stage with him laugh when her name gets brought yep. up. Oh, so they know... He's, oh. like, talking yeah. about it before. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Damn. I'm a big Star Trek fan, so I think me, uh, too. me and her would get along. We would uh, we'd be chilling. Oh, Star Trek is, part is like, blended into the lore. It's like... Yeah. It's like religion mixed with politics mixed with like extreme perversion and star trek all like (laughs) that's the best way i can explain it yeah she gives me uh she gives me like semi stable tony chase vibes like if tony (laughs) chase was like (laughs) less uh into the deep end i'm not familiar with tony chase are you familiar? No, ben? I'm not. What's a what's a Tony Chase off the top here? A video? Uh, yeah, the, yeah. What, what's something that is we that the guy that makes the clouds disappear? No. Oh, okay. I don't think. Uh, if we're are we worried about monetization? Uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> is, how how bad is, is it? it? It's like, like some uh, mainstream stuff, or there's one um i think he has one of his bigger ones he doesn't uh i mean he's he's just swearing he doesn't uh actually there's a good one where he's talking about his penis length but um go into court now i mean his most popular video that's probably his best tony chase we just watched a gail cord schuler video about brent spiner's that's true she was gyrating on the bed how how does this compare to that we've seen this guy we've seen this guy we have okay okay. i think so it's the guy with uh like he always has all the stuff uh on the wall behind him like weird 
trinkets. He's got like GNC. He has like yeah. a GNC oh, okay. bag taped up behind yeah. him and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah. He's, I mean. Let's see. I'll play it really quick here. I, I love Tony Chase. He's. He is a, a an odd fellow. Uh, let's, yeah, he's a darling. Let's see. There's some. He has a lot of good lore. You have to really, really search for it. But a satellite man just communicated. He said. He said he dared me to claim oh, that I outranked him or something. Do you go. own Smith and Wesson or do I? Do you own Winchester or do I? Do I own the NRA or do you? Do I own military installations, weapons corporations in this country? Or do you? Do I own air fighter jet manufacturing and commercial jet manufacturing? Do I own car country, car company manufacturing in America? Do I own farms in America? Do I own gas stations? Do I own 165,000 gas stations around the fucking world? Or is it you? Or is I, or am I the owner? Do I own John Deere tractor or do you? Do I own Freightliner or <laughs> International or Peterbilt? Or do you? Do I own Mack truck? What companies do you think I own? Do I own General Motors or do I own Lamborghini, Ferrari, Chevrolet? What do you own, motherfucker? <laughs> do I own Lamborghini? Do I own Mercedes? Do I own BMW? What do you fucking own? Do I own the White House? Or do you claim you thought you owned the White House? You better go into court, you motherfucker. Why do you think they call me the son of Uncle Sam? Because it was my family that loaned money to the American government. You fucking faggot. Oh, my you God. You better go into court, <laughs> you motherfucker. <Whoa. laughs> Gamer words. He's throwing in yeah. gamer words. He uh, yeah. so the lore with him is he thinks his um, uh, so satellite man and government man harass him constantly. They burn his teeth with satellites, and his parents were assassinated um, in the I think the nineties. Um, they were assassinated by the government. They used to own everything. Every company, every corporation you could ever think of. He had mansions. He was very well off. They were assassinated. Then he was kidnapped. And now he's being uh, kidnapped and held in Indiana. Um, <laughs> Indiana's a terrible place to be held. <laughs> he's, um, a, he's a chill dude. <laughs> so this was the first Gale video I ever saw. And if okay. you, it's we, perfect. We never okay, really but... see Gale rage. No, Gale doesn't rage. Well... She's had a couple where she's like, oh, Zack Knight's here. He's over there. You know, like, <laughs> she'll, she'll do that. Okay, folks, let me just sum up. Uh, I Skyped with Terrence Jenkins last night. I finally heard from him after a silence of one and a half months. Around June the 21st, when, uh, Skype, when Terrence was Skyping with me, uh, Brent Spiner said, hey, yoo-hoo, Terrence, uh, something's going on with Matthew McConaughey's penis. And what was happening was all of my men's penises were being attacked. Uh, there was a very serious Classic. malware in the computer system at Church of Gale that caused all the men at Church of Gale to cause them to have all sorts of penis afflictions. It was very painful. And um, let me just, uh, they spent, the ordeal with the penises lasted for at least a good week in that June. So like from June 21st to June 28th, they were just having this ordeal with penises because of Jesuit trigger programming on the Church of Gale computers. They spent a lot of time in sick bay. Um, Matthew practically a had a vagina at that. Gale is forever my empress. And praise Empress Gale. Someone did like a deep fake of Matthew McConaughey like doing an interview where he's like, praise Empress Gale. And she like put it in one of her videos. It was great. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, we, there was one where like praise Billy Gale. was talking over. He was like doing a voiceover for Alex Jones and it fit with, with the mouth pretty well. Like it synced up with the mouth pretty well. And she put that in one of her videos because it was he was talking about Gale. It was pretty funny. Oh, shit. Um. And um, uh, what happened was uh, Vladimir Putin, they found out 
that he ended up getting a, his bladder exploded. They had to put him in stasis where they froze him and all sorts of things happened to him. He had heart attacks and right in the middle of an operation to fix him for a heart attack, uh, he woke up and then he judo chopped the doctor. He felt bad about that, but this is like gut <laughs> reflex with Vladimir. And he, uh, and then he went, when he woke up, he heroically pushed himself, which explains why he, <laughs> the accurate pictures of Vladimir in the media made him look like he was almost dead. And he, um, yeah. He, so there, there's some. Would it be yeah. bad faith for us to try and get? That Tony Chase guy and Gail Cordschuler out on a date together. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Would that be yeah. bad? Yeah, <laughs> no, it'd be like a dating show, you know? Right? <laughs> <laughs> they would. Uh, they would make a great pair. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> the stories they could tell each other. Damn. Gail's Gail's not an unattractive woman, uh, you know. She's 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 got. She's her and him yeah. might they might have they she's might She's like have in a her sixties. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's. <laughs> She one of the things that happened within the last year of her story, because she's she's such a devout Christian, is just recently her and Jesus started fucking and then they realized they should probably stop eventually. <laughs> and that Jesus was just like a horn dog and was just like looking for a piece of ass. <laughs> and and yeah. Gail actually yeah. uh, released some nudes not too long ago because, <laughs> oh, because she was of deemed the sexu- of the playmate of the century. Yeah. Oh. Just playboy playmate of the century. <clears throat> Damn. So she has a church of Gail. Yes. Do I have that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Where Hugh Jackman and Matthew McConaughey and all these guys. Yes. Yeah, the Church of Gail is a spaceship. Problems. It's a spaceship. Okay. And they're all up on the spaceship. And all the people down here on Earth that we see are Jesuit clones of them. And they're stuck on the oh. spaceship. And uh, she can't go up to the spaceship because she's fighting in a, uh, an eternal war against the Jesuits I, I was down at, here on Earth. I was eternal at a, war? Yes. An eternal war. An, an eternal, eternal war. It's, yeah, it's a never-ending <laughs> war. I was at a Star Trek convention, and I took a picture of Brent Spiner eating a sandwich and sent it. To Gail, and she was like, "Stay away from him. That's a clone." <laughs> yeah, that's not the real one. No, it's course. not the real one. It's Brent Spiner's clone. <laughs> yeah, Man. and she can't get to the Church of Gail because the Jesuits are jamming her transporter pattern, so she can't get up there. But they're all trapped up there, so they're separated. So they they have the vagina butts, and they have brain to brain. They have like t- mm. telepathic carnal relations with each other she has a very extensive marriage list Damn. are you familiar with the study uh the three christs of ypsilanti no so many years ago they had three guys who were convinced they were all convinced they were jesus christ mm-hmm. and they put them together in a, a facility and they had them they studied them and they talked to them and they introduced them to each other and at the end of the study, all the, the, the Christs determined the other guys were out of their fucking mind, right? They all came to the conclusion the other guys were out of their mind. We played somebody for Gail who has similar beliefs that she's in a relationship with Jesus Christ that's uh, yep. more, than, more than other people. And Gail immediately said, well, that woman's just crazy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> like, they're, uh, these delusions. I mean, I've been pretty far down the Tony Chase rabbit hole. And he, he thinks like similar things. He thinks uh, he used to be friends with every celebrity ever, you know, every female celebrity. He was friends with them since he was a kid. And, you know, he, he's tried to date girls, but the U.S. Postal Service are intercepting <laughs> his mail. So they've been sending him letters, but he doesn't get them because they're intercepting his mail, you know? Uh, so, you know, uh, it, it, it's just, it's really hard to like, uh, the, the thing that interests me the most about these types of people is like, where, what is the reality in here? Like there's some oh, reality, you know what this I mean? Is, this is the part about Gail that gets really fucking out there. Mm-hmm. There's a group of people who are, they started out trolling her and now they're kind of like her closest confidants. <laughs> Oh. And and they virtuous they all, trolls. Yeah, they all buy into the uh, the story with her, and they they bring in little 
curveballs and ad- additions to the story, but they also have added the Gale Commandments. The Gale which Commandments. Inc- which, which include her doing things like taking her Seroquel and uh, taking care of her life and saving money and, and, do- and doing the things that you would have to do to remain productive. Wow. So they're they're keeping her keep money in a bank account like like yeah they're, they're making her life better yeah wow it's it's a very interesting thing oh no well, the, my the, my next week is plotted out <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's crazy yeah man I I was gonna pull up the Gale Commandments but it looks like Gale's website is down right now oh, oh shit no. yeah uh, somebody somebody didn't pay the the bill. Yeah. I probably. <laughs> That's your daddy fee. It's, yeah. it's the Jesuits <clears throat> messing with her billing cycle. I think cycle. so. They do be doing that. Yeah. All right, guys, we are hitting the eight o'clock hour on the West Coast. Uh, if you guys want to get us to fifty percent of our goal, we will get the other fifty percent afterwards. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to bust out the big guns now. Put your liver on the line, yes. Benjamin. That's what I do best. Oh, you got something. I'll do too. it too. Okay. Oh, there too. we go. I only got so, I only got a little bit left, but you know, what? what well, it's fifty, right? It's fifty. Yeah. For a shot. Yeah. So let's let's, let's let, when we get to that the fifty the, the fifty mark at three fifty, Ben will take a drink and and you'll sip with son, a little father son bonding. Yes. Father son bonding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get some get. hydration in in me if we're gonna be doing that. You know. <laughs> How much water did Josh drink? <clears throat> oh, I don't think I saw him drink. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think I saw him drink any water. I, I don't. I didn't see him drink any other substance than alcohol. No, that's now, wrong. He did make drink a. He did make a, a drink combo. There we go. <laughs> drink you drink. Is that? Is there that, you go. Oh, Shot one. Yeah. And then All the right. next one will be at four hundred. Yeah, yeah, we do it every fifty dollar increment. 50. Now, you All don't right. have that much left, so you'll probably be out in a, if we get far enough. But yeah, yeah, a little bit. Cheers. 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 Now, oh. now that what are you what are you, what are you drinking on? What's your? What's it's your, this really what? cheap vodka. It's what called, is it? It's called. Kavlana vodka. It's like fake Russian vodka, I would guess. I've never even heard of that. Is that that's like bottom shelf? Yes. Yeah, it says it's made in Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. It's mail order Russian vodka. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. I'm I need sure to get... it's all right. It's yeah, it's it's good enough. You yeah. you said the whiskey that you got, Josh, was gross. It wasn't great. I don't like flavored whiskey, though. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, you that know, makes sense. it was it was peach flavored whiskey. He likes it was, peach. It, it tasted, yeah, I, I yeah, that's why I got it for him. It tasted, it was all right. It was kind of, yeah, I don't know. It was just, it wasn't great. Whiskey probably shouldn't be flavored, in my opinion. Uh, but I, I don't question anything that King Cobra takes in, because like. If 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 I was going to be drinking, I would definitely not do what he does. But he <laughs> he's shown time and time again that more is somehow more to him. I'm a less is more type of guy. Yeah. But he's like no, more is more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was yeah. like I can't get enough. I'm like okay. You know your taste, man. <laughs> I I I I don't I don't vibe with it, but I would definitely, you know, I definitely have a drink with him. I would definitely try and introduce him to uh Things I think he would like, but I, I'd, I'd roll with his concoctions too. Do you? I, uh, I, 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 I wouldn't let the food. I, as a fat, I can't let my food sit the way <laughs> he lets his food sit. Dude, I don't know what that's about. I can't. I can't wrap my head around it. It was. I think it was. So when we did the cooking video, he he finished it, and then he let it sit for like an hour. And uh, the one of the guys that was filming with us, Bloom, he he said a timer on his phone for an hour yeah. because at that point it was super late. We'd been there five, six hours, whatever. Yeah. And he set a timer on his phone and when it hit an hour, he was like, nah, let it, let it go another 15 minutes. It'll be fine. <laughs> like, like he just kept going. Yeah. And I was like, what? it's what, what makes this better? Like, why is that? Yeah. 
I, I don't I don't get that. But. I just physically can't wait. I eat food when it's too hot. I burn my mouth on hot pockets. Dude, it's the fat yeah. in me. Me too. I feel you. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. I, yeah. You said he had like a very specific burrito order. Do you remember what that was roughly? I think. Do you have it? You have it I saved think, somewhere. I I don't have it. I think uh, my guy has it. Okay. Um, he, he put it on his phone um, like he because we were in line and <clears throat> like he ordered and uh, or no, like like my friend ordered. I ordered uh, our other the other person wasn't there. Um, and then like um, he, he started saying his order and it was just so long. It was so much stuff that like he kept trying to say it to the person uh, to the to the speaker and he just couldn't get it, so he was like, "All right, I'm just gonna write it down." Um, he might have just Discord messaging me, um, but he he had it on his phone. That's fine. Um, and the 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 place you guys went to was not Taco John's, right? No, it was not Taco John's. But I will say, Taco John's is gas. <laughs> Taco the, John's is that was the Oasis in, in Casper, Wyoming. It was so good. I think we. Oh, wait, he has it right now. So it, it was a, a California burrito, everything burrito, add beef, add guacamole, add bacon, add sour cream, extra sour cream, extra cheese, add extra cheese. Like, and it doesn't seem like that much, but when you're in a drive through and you're trying to like relay something to somebody to say to the other person, it was, just, it was a mess. It was a mess. Yeah. Can you imagine having to wrap that thing? I no, there's no way. It's busting out the sides. You yeah. know how they have competitions for baristas to make like the the <laughs> best coffee with like the little leaf on the top, and they yeah. they there's the best baristas. I wonder if they have burrito rolling competitions, like if they just get together and whoever is the best burrito roller. And it's just Josh is like walking along the stage and giving them <laughs> the ingredients, you know. And That'd then, like, be so judging. good. Yeah. I, I think I think at uh, at Cobra Con. I'm gonna get catering, just being people making like this the craziest bogritos. They have yeah. to, have, have, to have like twenty uh, toothpicks stuck into them. <laughs> yeah, they might, they might have to. Well, they the might, toothpick yeah. art is extra points. You know, yeah. what you do with the toothpicks at the top. That's that's the extra cherry. Like voodoo doll burritos. They're just covered in freaking little toothpick traps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was what was that? That was called. Um, I don't, I don't. Re- Did I not say what place we went to? And I don't. I, you I you said remember. where you went, but I don't remember it. I just knew yeah. that it wasn't Taco John's. Yeah, I don't. So I, it was. It was another like fast food. They were. They were okay. They weren't great. Yeah, the Taco John's. To, did you get the potato olays? Oh yeah. Yeah, those. We, everybody raves been, about them. We've been talking about the other day, like two days ago. Somebody was like, like one of the people that was with me was like. I want a potato ole. It's like I'm thinking about a potato ole. <laughs> <laughs> that place was so good. Taco John's was great. I have an old friend named Ronald McFondle, and we put out an album together many years ago. And we toured around the the Northwest and and into like Idaho and stuff. And when we were down going down to Vegas, he was like on the way to Vegas, like we gotta go to Taco John's. <laughs> we gotta get the potato ole's. And every time I go there now, I'm like message him saying. But Taco John's, like I drove to Wyoming, a, I don't know, a couple years ago, and I hit up Taco John's on the way back. I was like, hey, man, and sit at Taco John's, just say, what's up, dude? We're Taco John's in right now. So it's, good. It, such, a, such a little hole in the wall. And it's Casper, Wyoming original. They're from oh, Casper, is? Wyoming. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen That's the, I've... have you seen the like edited, it, it, they, someone took a Taco John's commercial from the 80s and put like Cobra and Darf Lenny in it and they're like chomping no. on some Taco John's. Find that. Okay. Yeah. You gotta play that. Yeah, one. Okay. Pull it up. Pull it up. If, uh, if, if I would have interviewed the mayor knowing what I know, I would have made him eat Taco John's during the interview. I would have challenged him to a Taco <laughs> John's burrito eating contest. I, Okay, I think <laughs> my suspicions are that the mayor emailed me recently. Yeah, I got an I got an anonymous email that was very sus. And, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, uh, they were they were not happy uh, with the doc, but through uh, sleuth observations uh, in the message, 
I think it was him. I think I think it was the mayor. <laughs> That's the only person that it could be. Dude. Uh, yeah, I think it was the mayor. What I, was his you problem? You're 86th. Uh, I might be. I might be banned from Casper. <laughs> you might be 86 out of Casper, Wyoming. Yeah, they see me and it's it's on site. Like, yeah, I you're don't gonna wanna... have to hire. You have to hire Clint and the fucking the, the, <laughs> the biker boys. gang to protect you. What did the what did the through. email what did the email say? Yeah, it was like here. Let me let me pull it up real real fast. <laughs> uh, it, it was it was something about like being upset and like you lied to me and stuff like this. Um, oh shit! Yeah, it sounds. Uh, damn it! He he was he was not a, he was not happy, but I I think it was him. Like it was the only person it could have been. Um. Damn. Well, Do you search. think you oh, lied to the mayor? I don't think I did, but I think I he had think no idea what I he did. was doing. Yeah, yeah. He, he, and like I, he definitely had no idea what he was getting into. Yeah. So my suspicion is that he, like, trolls contacted him. <laughs> yeah. And, and then we're like, <laughs> they were like, hey, because it was very easy to get in contact with the mayor. Like it was. Yeah. I, I looked back at the footage. It was seven minutes from making the phone call to like getting getting him on the phone. It was very fast. Um, he said, "I can't believe you told Cobra he could see the documentary before it aired, and then you lied to me." WTF? Totally unprofessional to take advantage of this guy. I my thinking. I mean, unless somebody else has a better uh, deduction of that email, like it, I'm pretty sure it was the mayor. That was the only person. I could <laughs> It it could be the mayor if that's all they said. It might have been some of the people that you talked to about Josh that didn't want to be on camera. Um, oh, you mean like the yeah? I I thought about that, but I didn't I didn't say anybody's name. Like I I specifically tried not to say any businesses' names. You yeah, know? and it, the fact that it was a, a an unidentified uh, email, right? Like you said, it's from an account you hadn't messaged before. No, it was a, it was an anonymous email. Like it was a it was a service that you go to oh. to to write an email and then say it anonymously. So that interesting. There's no there like there's no uh, you can't I can't reply to this email. I can't. I just ah, can't. Yeah. the only the only person in Casper, Wyoming, that would know that sort of technology <laughs> is the mayor. You think so? That's everybody what I'm else, everybody else wouldn't know how to use that to hide their <laughs> hide their I'm identity. Saying. Yeah, like like Darf. That's not Darf. You know no. what I mean? Like Darf. And Darf can't use Reddit. Like that's you weren't in connection with Darf, anyways, right? That was all through Cobra. No, yeah, no. it was all. Well, yeah, just met him. yeah, uh, yeah. Here's that commercial. Okay. They make it seem like it's rewinding at the beginning. Here we go. It's good. It started in Wyoming, or so the story goes. Just a man (laughs) making tacos. Now everybody knows. There's a whole lot of Mexican going on. Taco John's, Taco John's. There's a whole lot of Mexican going on. Everybody's singing the song. If you're looking for a whole lot of great tasting, real Mexican food, cooked up hot and fresh and just the way you like it you're gonna love what's going on at taco john's johnny you ought to be selling these things damn <laughs> that theme that theme song is a banger. Yeah. Yeah. That goes hard. Holy Eating shit. the foot long taco. Like that's, <laughs> yeah. that's money. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I love the shot of Darf, like young yeah. Darf. <laughs> yeah. That's great. I love that. The in the documentary, Cobes and Darf Linney are sitting down at the end. Uh you're kind of interviewing Darf Linney. And you you see the reason these guys are friends. And it's because the rest of the world left them behind and they found yeah. each other. Mm-hmm. And they're just two guys that are sweetheart guys that, that just don't fit in. And they were like, you know what? You're my, you're my dude. I appreciate you. 
Yeah. And they, and they see each other on a on a level that other people don't see see them. That's yeah. I, I like that uh part of the video, just seeing them together and being like we're we're just we're just guys that you know, everybody else wrote off, discarded. Yeah. We we were there yeah. for each other since since high school. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're they're um I I mean I, I said it in the doc, but like they're he he's my favorite like Josh friend. Like he's so Oh yeah, he's 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 a charming fellow. He's a charmer. Yeah. I like Darth so wholesome. And like like I said like after we cut uh we cut cameras and we were about to leave and it was definitely one of those moments where you're like trying to leave but also like somebody's talking to you, but we wanted to stick around and I wish we would have kept filming but like we we thought everything was over and he just kept us around for like a half an hour talking to us about you got to go up to this place in Casper. This, the mountains are beautiful. He was telling us the exact route, how to get there. Um, he was telling us about this place, like this, this, uh, specific, um, like tourist attraction in Casper where they filmed starship troopers and like all this stuff. Like he was just so nice. Like he just, he wanted us to have a good time in the yeah. town that he lives in like it, that dude is that dude is genuine legit like a g you like he, he's great he's great you should, you should have ended with like uh some some shotgun buckshot blasts to like giant watermelons or something <laughs> having those two guys just blowing some shit up even if it was like paintballs or something and yeah. just blowing some shit up together that was, that that been... was yeah that was something we talked about with josh was like wanting to go shoot guns but I mean, it, it it just never materialized. the The amount of like we had six days, but we only really had two days. You know, like yeah, it, it was that kind of thing. Where, you got to do it guerrilla style. You got to take the guns like outside behind the post office in Casper. <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, while, while you were talking to the mayor, they should have set them up with a shooting spree. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you the didn't mayor, get the mayor cool wouldn't be able taste. to do anything about it. Cool taste. He's, yeah, is he cool outside taste. of the area? No, he's cool a, <laughs> yeah, cool. like I'm so like I I doesn't he live in Casper? Cool taste. He does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he probably could have been an easy get. Did you reach out to him? I did not. Okay. No, yeah, I did not. Um, that was a that was a thought I had, but I I'm I'm glad I didn't because like I said, we we had like four days of content planned with him, and then two days extra to go film stuff with uh you know going going to businesses and then like the mayor and stuff like that and like going around town um so and, and then that became we only have one day and then that became we have no days to do that so um it, it, time allocation was very limited yeah yeah what we need right now We need cool taste to come through. Ha! <laughs> well, uh, will he get on stream? What the hell, cool taste? Now, w w Ben, when you were in that call with Cobes, was that actually cool taste I in don't there? Know. Or was that a cool taste troll? I have no idea. Wait, cool taste was in there with you when you. Someone who was Cobes? representing his cool taste was in there. Yes. Um, okay. He didn't say so much. I've, and then people said that was a fake cool taste. Some so people I think did. they might have been trolling. So I, I don't know if it was the real cool taste or not. I like cool taste. I think he's yeah. I think he's a legit kind of guy. Didn't know? he coin he's, the, he's a Casper kind of guy. Didn't he coin the phrase boglum? I think so. Yeah. Right? I'm pretty sure. I think um Yeah, there was like a there was like a stream that he was doing off of his phone and and he said uh he said something like he's a goblin, he's a boglim, like something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I'm pretty sure that was him. Yeah. What's a goon to a boglim? What's a goon to a bong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chef oh. Boyar Boglum. I thought that was good. Yeah. Because he usually runs from the boglim thing. So that was funny to hear him say that. Yeah. I wasn't even there at that point. I was, I was off like down down uh, a little bit down the sidewalk filming something else with with the other camera guy and uh they had filmed that with them and uh they told me about it afterwards um 
That was, yeah, I loved that moment. Chef Boyar Baglan. Yeah. And yeah. I think we're slowly but surely going to see him start to embrace a lot of the things that normally would uh, off- upset him. And when he starts doing that, that's when he's going to become a force of uh, to be reckoned with. Yes. If, if he starts like pushing the Boglum thing as like a branding, yeah. There's there's some shirts he could sell a Chef Boyar Boglum T-shirt. People would buy that shit as long as yeah. he knows like it's 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 not there to hurt him, you know. Yeah. When he starts yeah. embracing that, I think there's money to be to found in them in them uh, them brands around him. Well, like there's that moment in the interview where he says, uh, because one of the big points I wanted to talk about was the difference between malicious trolls and like people that are having fun with him. And I, I don't think that's something he really recognizes. And I don't think it's his fault. I think it's, it's hard to recognize for him. Um, but, uh, you know, in, in the documentary, he said, like, I'm starting to realize that, like, I'm starting to come around to that idea. And I think that's a big step for him. I think, I think coming around to that idea and, and starting to kind of try and lean into it. Um, I think he even leaned into it a little bit when, when he got arrested and then he started making like merch with his mugshot and stuff. Like that's, that's that's a big step like like leaning into that idea um, yeah could he could benefit from that big time i I think eventually he will too i think it's just gonna it's gonna be a slow pace he's gotta he's gotta relearn some things and you know old dogs don't learn new tricks and he's really got to relearn a lot of things yeah for sure he might get there he might get there I, i i'll never count him out i i i expect i as much as much as he believes in himself i believe in him as well because uh, I lose nothing by believing in King Cobra. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You're definitely, uh, you're definitely, you know, for him. For oh sure. yeah, he yeah. is. He is. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, I, I, I like, uh, I like interesting people. I like, I like, I if if you you tell me, you tell me somebody is a bad guy, and I'm gonna be more interested in them at that point. Like, yeah. why are they a bad guy? I, yeah. I want to know about this bad guy. I want to see that. I want to see it for myself because I have no problem swimming with sharks. Yeah, I mean, like I, he's buddies with it. he's buddies with Martin Shkreli. He's buddies with yo. Well, he, 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 <laughs> he, was, he was buddies with Onision. For do you know Onision? Do you know who that yeah. is? Yeah. yeah, we've had Onision. <laughs> yeah. We've had Onision in the studio here before a long time really? ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to yo. I'm not going to yo Onision. I'll right. yo Martin Shkreli. <laughs> I'll Onision, yo Shkreli. Onision was uh, very much, I think, um, a neurodivergent person that uh, people pushed and, into bad situations. He might be all the horrible things that people say he is, but I never saw that in him. I saw someone who had some neurodivergent issues. And uh, when one talked to in a way that with respect, he was a very sweet guy. It was very interesting. That would be um, that would be an interesting person to do a documentary on. But he's yeah. like, you, <laughs> so the, I, Oni, Onision had a day in court because he was uh, suing Repsion and mm-hmm. Billy was going to go, but he couldn't make it there on time. So they just went. They did a live stream all the way to Onision's house. And he came mm. outside, and it's <laughs> it's some of the craziest shit ever. Holy shit! It's, uh, he comes outside Good with times. a prop gun. He comes outside <laughs> with a prop gun. He's like, like boogie, like some boogie Frank Castle shit. Except for he's, I think yeah. he's holding it to his own head or something. It's yo. It, it was, well, some, he was he was gonna he was gonna use it on us, but I, I know I think it's a real gun, but it's a gun that we used as a prop when we filmed videos with him. So did you, was, what was your reaction in the moment? Like, did you think he was about to I was, Minecraft? <laughs> I was pretty sure. I was pretty sure that it was the prop, the gun that we used as a prop. Yeah. So I, I didn't think he was going to um, do anything with it, yeah. but I don't know if the camera picked it up either. Which oh, is I, a good yeah. thing. Cause 
right before we got there, a woman showed, or right as we got there, a woman pulled up behind us and said she called the sheriff on us because she had been watching the live stream and followed us. There's, I called the sheriff. He's going to be here. So when he came out with the gun, I'm like, oh, fuck. If the sheriff pulls up while he has the gun out, there's a good chance we're in the middle of a fucking shootout. Yeah. Yeah. That's rough. So, like, Billy's trying to do almost like a serious interview of Onision. And he's like, so do you have anything to say about the stuff those girls are saying about you? And he's like, how about I just show you what I did to them? And then he just starts humping Bill. And he's like, you like that? You like oh. that? You like yeah, that? I, I gave the people what they were asking for. <laughs> I, I got a video footage of him being uh, being a pest. And, and they and they judged me for it. Uh, that's, 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 that's how I knew job. the audience were were the the real monsters. Yes, because yeah. I give them I give them the victim they they searched for. I became him. I, I offered myself sacrifice, you, uh, a martyr to their cause, and they and they mocked me for it. <laughs> Damn. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, let's simulate what I do oh. again. Okay? Oh, oh shit. Alright, here you go. Alright. Uh-huh. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'm simulating fucking you in front of my house. I know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you like that, you little bitch? Huh? Did, did this chat yeah. like it? No. Does chat like uh, it? No. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's unanimously Let's poor. Let's turn around. Here you go. He's oh, pulling his oh, hair. Oh, your fucking tits. You're such a fucking perfect tits, bitch. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Someone added that sound effect. <laughs> the splooge was not real. No. Yeah, the splooge, yeah. <laughs> that was after. Damn, bro. Wow. <laughs> you were in a suit and everything. Yeah, yeah. They I gave were the people. Up. I, was, I was Chris Handsome. Yep. I, was, I was going to his house. I was Chris Handsome-ing the Damn. How to Catch a Predator. That's and I, I gave the world what they were asking for, and they spit in my face. They, the, the audience made me the victim. The audience yeah. was, to, oh, dude, on the way back. On the way back, because <laughs> on the way there, Billy had, like, a ton of live viewers, and his buddy Joe was there being like, we're going to take Onision down. He's going down when we get there. We're going to save his kids and everything. And they get down there, and the first thing Joe does is give Onision a big hug. <laughs> and then and then on the way back they're just like shitting on him the whole time the Damn. whole time good times ah oh, he's a guy how, how when was this a couple years like this 2019 was, i think this was january of 2020 so it was just before pandemic hit oh okay got you got you yeah he's a guy He's a guy. <laughs> he, he is a certified guy. I've heard, I've heard his albums. I've heard. Uh, oh my god! I, I listen to a lot of music, um, big time. He, I, I've heard two, two, three, two or three of his albums. I think they're bad. They're rough. So you said when when trolling is done well, you like it. So like Billy's friend Joe is one of the ultimate trolls, and he'll be like a real life troll, like an in person troll to people too. We're going to uh, base. drunken so, now. I'm the, alleged whole, the whole way back, Joe's like trolling <laughs> Billy. You were a pussy you the whole time. The you let him do that. Well, okay, totally true. okay. I let him talk and speak his yeah. side of things that everybody's Go wanted to, to fucking house. get. That's illegal. Go back How to his that? house. That's a problem. I was 15? <laughs> That's illegal. Why didn't anyone say this? I was reading the fucking chat. That's illegal. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Kai was 15? We got to ask Kai about this. Not You're all penalty. spineless fucking skid marks in this entire shit show should be for the- Yes, exactly. That's not a sweet boy thing to say. Who's looking out for the best of us. You guys should still subscribe to Augie RFC. RFC. Yeah, you're right. Augie. You know what? You didn't think about the victims even once when we were over there. Oh Have my god, yo, yo this scene, that's- shut the fuck up. Who's the cutie in the back seat? That's Jorge. Seth. Okay, Tilda. Seth. That's Seth. Seth did a wonderful job. Thank you. There is photographic evidence of nudes Kai sent to kids, and you had a sword fight with them. And you had a sword fight with them. <laughs> I There's mean, photographic <laughs> evidence <laughs> of Kai, her fucking husband, all right? She, she showed, showed his <laughs> dick <laughs> to her. Stop fucking pretending. Stop fucking pretending. It's, ah. it's time to take a stand, to be a real man for a change. I oh, everyone can see it. Why can't you? Joe, shut up. You literally hugged him. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even ask about the three sons with Chloe. 
Who, There's what threesomes the, with Chloe. I don't know who the Why fuck did Chloe is. Why did Chloe fucking threesome with Jesus Chloe? Jesus Christ. You fucking idiot. I what don't about know. the fucking threesomes with Chloe, you fucking coward? I've never heard the name Chloe until this fucking TTS. Oh, oh my God. Get on Twitter, you fucking idiot. Don't put that shit on me. You let him walk. You're a fucking bitch, dude. You're bitching out. Fucking, I you did it. You like a fucking moron. Okay, fuck you, all right? <laughs> Please advocate for victims. I do advocate for victims. I want you to speak out. I think that's the best thing Chris Hansen did was gave everybody a voice. But I've looked at Chris Hansen's <laughs> conviction rate from the show, uh, back when he did the show. There was a lot of stuff that he had. He had actual scripted conversations with actual people trying to fuck little kids. What the fuck? Stop. When it's shit like that that makes people think I don't give a fuck about the fucking victim. <laughs> you know what? I do anything for the victims. I've invited them over my house. I don't feel like that happened. Several times. Stop. They won't return Stop. my calls. <sighs> Fifteen. Why did no one tell me? There's uh. I wish he still made videos because. <laughs> okay, so Billy was streaming because. He was getting attacked for going to Onision's house. So he was he, he oh, was shit. doing like a Billy apology tour. And while he would be streaming, Joe would come in and fuck with him. I wouldn't even have gone there to scam all these fucking idiots if it wasn't for me. Oh, hold on. Morehead! <laughs> dick off my forehead! <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking dick off my forehead! Two times in three nights, you're the victim now, you piece of shit. <laughs> You broke my headphones. It's insulting to them. You need to call them something brave. You broke my headphones. Like rape no mores. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Damn. I've seen wait, wait, I've seen uh what is his name? Joe? Yeah. That's Joe, his name? yeah. I've seen Joe before because uh I remember seeing uh when Mr. Girl came on your guys' stream. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And he, uh, yeah, he like bullied him out. out yeah, of yeah, I remember that. Yep. I remember Joe that. did not think Mister Girl was brave. Do you know? Uh, do you know like the IP two RV streaming people? You know about yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. He went into their <clears throat> RV with a big ass knife and like put it, it, it like he like held it to only use me blade's face. And, Yo, yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. It was like what seven people. Joe versus seven people. Yes, <laughs> that's based. That's based. Yeah, I think the the IP two uh, people would be an interesting subject. They're yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah, Blade yeah, specifically. Blade is Blade's a guy. I think Blade's, Blade's setting up a content house right now, isn't he? Is he? I, th I, I think I, so. I think I heard that. I, th I actually Most... think I have a video about it. Actually, okay. Most recently, I saw they. They wrecked the RV, or they broke down, and it, then it, they got rear-ended while they were pulled over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he got dr really drunk in a city, and like Grandmaster messing with him. Grandmaster Burton in the chat says, "I don't know why Bill brought Joe if he was trying to have a serious interview. <laughs> I wasn't trying to interview Onision at all. I I showed up, I got in my my suit because I was gonna go to his court appearance with Repsion, but I got a flat tire, so I missed the court appearance. And when I got my tire fixed, when I got my tire fixed, they they said uh, everybody was like, "Go go down to Onision's house now," and I'm like, "No," and I said no for like hours before we finally drove down there. It was I did not want to do that. <laughs> Boyd Boyd. Yeah, only um, use me, Blade. I've just ra I've <laughs> randomly hung out with I've randomly ran into Blade in multiple places and just like walked around with him while he streamed. And then Billy dressed in drag uh, years and years ago and like got hit on by one of Blade's friends. <laughs> yeah, I got I got lightly molested that night yes. too. Yep. Damn, that's a everybody needs to staple. send you know what? send in donos right now. We're not even halfway. Through I know tonight's goal. Get us to 400. I offered up. I offered up this bottle. 
Yeah, I know. These guys, these guys are going to be taking shots at, at every $50 marker. And here's the deal. We're if we close. don't hit the $50 marker, I'm going to start taking shots. You and can't take literally shots. literally kill me. Yeah, it'll you're not allowed. It'll literally kill me. He can't. It'll literally kill me. So donate now or else I'm going to start taking shots. Don't say that. Shots. Or he's going to die. He's gonna <laughs> oh, my die. God. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to live for if we don't make this goal. So it's time, guys. Wow. Either or. <laughs> Either or. Uh, here's <laughs> putting our bodies on the line for the. Uh, yeah, I, is this? This is the. Here? This is the knife one. <laughs> I pull it up. Uh, oh shit! Up to Sorry, my bad. My bad. I'm not surprised <laughs> it happens often. <laughs> Wait, was that? And they thought that I was the one that told Joe where the RV was. They're like, why'd you set us up, Billy, for a knife attack? And I'm like, I had no idea he was going to come with a knife. And I didn't tell him where the RV was. He already knew because we got we got people on the inside. We, <laughs> like, are you EBC? You fucking cunt! Who is it? He kisses him. Look at Blake. I invented being a faggot in an RV for fucking randos. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Blaine. Who the fuck are you, dude? Where's the one with the orange cap? Who's just ran outside? Um, <laughs> yeah, he's gone. <laughs> you, got, you got him to go. <laughs> I want you to shit your pants for me. Can you do that? Wait, <laughs> Joe. No. Joe, you gotta Where's stop. my backup? Where's my fucking backup? No, no, no. Please sit down, dude. No, 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 no. No, no, stop fucking running around come, with the fucking Come knife. on, get down. Get down. You're gonna fucking hurt. You're gonna hurt somebody, dude. Get down. No, 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 no. Get down. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Let's what, are you doing? what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm yo, hey, hey, knock oh. it knock it off. Over your naked show. He's he's kinda like misleadingly strong. Like he's yeah, surprisingly he's tiny, but he, he looks like he's whipping people. He's around. he's six foot three. Yeah, so he's pretty tall. Jo Joe is? Yep. Yeah. How tall is that yeah. other guy? Holy shit. He knife. looks bigger. Overpowering you with a knife. That's what I'm doing. What the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing? Where's my backup? Where's my backup? Hey, hey, get the hey, fuck. Hey, you just hey, get the fuck. Time to get off. Yo, get off. who the get fuck off. are you? Get off him. He's the one with the fucking knife. You just fucking cut me, dude. That's hey, how sir. I make friends. Hey, hey sir, sir, sir. Get that's fuck out of here. You just fucking cut me, dude. I love that's you. That's how I make peasants. friends. <laughs> thank you, Red thank scare, you. Love you too. Ten more We're bucks. Ten dollars away from another ten drink. Ten bucks. Yeah. Uh, wow, we need ten. Ten bucks. Let's so, go. <laughs> like, how? Years and years and years ago, like over a decade ago now, uh, Billy and Joe did probably the first RV stream ever, and oh, Joe got oh, stabbed oh. in the hand by a knife. Or it was a bottle. It was a bottle, right? It was a broken. It was bottle. a broken because because okay. he, he, a guy on the RV with us. A uh, friend of ours was, we were we were in uh, Topeka, Kansas, and he was like, "I'm bored, I'm bored," and Joe was like, "Say it one more fucking time." He's like, "I'm bored," and Joe runs up, puts him in a headlock. In the headlock, the guy grabs a beer bottle, starts cracking Joe in the head with a beer bottle, breaks the beer bottle like third try over Joe's head, and starts trying to stab Joe with the beer bottle. Damn. I'm, I'm seeing this guy locked in a headlock, and I'm like, fuck, I got to try and break this up. Yeah. I come in, and I'm the asshole that Joe's, like, keeping himself from getting stabbed, and I'm trying to pull them apart. But the second I pull them apart, the guy just starts stabbing Joe's hand. Damn. So I feel super guilty that uh, I got Joe's hand stabbed up, and um, it was Damn. all bad. Joe had to go get stitches. It was it was a terrible horrible situation. Now, like, like, honestly, the the history Joe has, we met. We were working for this billionaire in uh, Beverly Hills. Somebody should really do a video on Joe. Like that's uh, J Joe's got this history online that is Joe's base. Fucking psychotic, dude. I like Joe. <laughs> Everything I've seen from Joe, he's based. As yeah, fuck. no, Joe is Joe is the man. Damn, that's crazy. I can't believe he. I I love. I I will also say I love blade 
like whenever any of these situations happen, he's always just like turned away and like this dumb look on his face. Like he's like in that part, they're fighting and he's just like smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Away he's like, that's him. aggressive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's just like, Blades, Blades, like, uh, what would he say? He's like, friendship, dude, friendship, friendship. <laughs> and then Joe's like, yeah, friendship. Let's, let's we're all good. <laughs> Joe loves the chokeholds. So that's yeah, that, that rear naked. Are you bored? You bored, huh? You bored. Oh, this is this is the clip. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Break it up. Break it. Break it up. Get off my throat. There's the bottle. That's where the bottle breaks. So the bottle wasn't broken when I tried breaking it up. Come on! Over my fucking head, Joe! Don't fucking grab my shit again. Joe! Grab my fucking throat again. I'll kill you, bitch. Get the fuck off. Get off my. Come on! Get the fuck off. Come on! Get off my hands. Get off my fucking shit. Get off. Don't fucking grab my throat again. I already told you that shit. That's that's where he stuck him. Grab my throat again. He stuck him. You want to take it outside? No. And now, nope. now Joe's bleeding all over the RV. There's just blood gushing <laughs> everywhere. This was the third RV we went through on this trip. It was nuts. Damn. Joe's a real one. Yeah, Joe was great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We went to a strip club in Portland and I thought a whole gang, like a, like gang <laughs> members, like people who looked like gang members, a bunch of them, like five or six of them were going to murder him. Uh, we were in the strip club with Joe's baby mother to be, and these guys were looking at her in a way that did not settle right with Joe. Better do it, so, double boy. Yes, hey, yes. double right. time, double oh, double. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck! What did there I, we go? What did I get myself into? Yeah, creator knife fights are so much bigger than than creator, creator boxing. boxing. That's true. Where are creator knife fights? You know what they need to do? They need to do like creator medieval jousting. Yeah, <laughs> stick them on a horse. Yeah, I'll that be, be I'll be in the first creator knife fight or the first creator jousting. I would do that. <laughs> I'll be in that. Some medieval shit. Oh, All right. Wait, did you already do number one? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I lapped you. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Ben's been waiting. <laughs> yeah, you, there is there is a little bit of of Boglum crossover in me, I guess. Like you said. And, Andrew Gray asks, how is Joe still alive? Because Joe does not turn away when the abyss turns towards Joe. People Cheers. die because people die because Cheers. they're playing a game of chicken with the universe, and the universe usually wins. Joe, Joe never turns away. Joe goes straight into the fucking abyss, dick first. That's yeah. how Joe is still alive. Damn, son, where'd you find this? That was that was a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's true though. Like the camera doesn't have to be on for Joe to to be how he is. Like he just actually always is like that. Uh, <laughs> the, the last time I was with Joe and Blade was there. He basically beat up Blade. Not not like he didn't like pummel him or anything but he like wrestled him around and like knocked him down and then they got into this scuffle in the bedroom in the back of the rv and then people called the cops and the cops showed up they're like we hear someone's getting like abused in this rv and blade's like no <laughs> man <laughs> <laughs> yeah where's 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 jeff wasn't jeff supposed to be here jeff holiday he hates me right <laughs> I, I don't think so i or i think jeff maybe Jeff was saw, going in. I saw the clip. I actually, I appreciated his honesty. He was drunk wished, too. I, I, I was wishing he would be here. I was, I was hoping he would give me the biz, but he didn't. Yeah, you know, yeah. Not, I didn't. Not I didn't know. I didn't know if he planned to be here or not. We didn't I asked him. Me. Yeah. Well, oh, he, I, he did. Okay. I asked him, and he said he couldn't. So. Damn, bro. I was hoping he would give me the business. I liked it. I I appreciate I appreciated his honesty. I did. I actually respected. I saw the clip. Yeah, and I, up, I respected his honesty. I up until that. up until Jeff went out like that, I was thinking to myself, I'm gonna have to you know be that guy and press you a little bit. And then and then when Jeff did, I was like, well, now, now there's no point for me to never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He like, was Je uh, Jeff he was a real went one. Jeff went in. 
Yeah. No, I respect that. I respect that. Like he, he seemed like that was his honest opinion and he was giving it honestly. So I respect that. You know, I can't, Jeff's, I can't be uh, Jeff's uh, one of Jeff's friends has been in contact with King Cobra before he's been over to the house. I think he was in and, the chat, uh, um, and I think he's he's going back out there. We honestly, and this was before Puff was around, so he didn't really have that good of an excuse. Now he does, but we were basically basically going to fund a trip for Cobra out to Seattle and th- give him all the booze and everything he needs and food, and we were going to like show him around and take him to cool places. I feel like uh, we have very similar interests to him, so it probably would have worked out pretty well in that department, but he, that would have required him leaving his comfort zone. He definitely yeah, does not want to leave. Has, he's never been on a plane, has he? I don't know. Maybe, probably not. Guy. Fuck. I, I don't know if he's ever been on another. Plane? N- not yet, not yet. Or okay. was it? Was it another? Or no, 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 no. not yet. Okay, we're, we're, we got we're thirty third. away. Okay, but there's um. You, dog. Do you think that Cobes is afraid of planes, or you think he's never been in a position to fly? I mean, we were gonna pick him up and drive him out, and then put him on a bus back home like that. Is what we were gonna do. Uh, <sighs> I don't. I just don't. I don't. I don't see him getting on a plane. A hundred percent. I think. It, it it's too much like <clears throat> there there's too many steps right you got to go through cost like you know all this yeah. not customs but like you, you, TSA and TSA all that you got to be there on time you can't miss yeah. it there's a window you got to hit I think he'd be the type to just kind of like come in an hour and a half too late and then miss his yeah. flight yeah there, there, if he there's was too go. much there's too much stuff like I I, I feel like your your idea of like driving. And then sending him on a bus might be more realistic. I feel like you would have to drive him back. Um, the fish tank guys, when I was when they were like really talking about Cobes coming out there, the whole time I was thinking you have to you have to get a guy to get in contact with him, send him out there, drive him up to Connecticut, and then drive him back. Like that's that's yeah. your only way of getting him getting him. Sam. To Sam Hyde needs to throw me ten grand so I can buy a limousine and I'll chauffeur Cobes from from Casper, Wyoming, in the limousine to go. the fish tank. I'll, I'll 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 take care of it all, but I'm gonna have to buy that limousine with the money because <laughs> it's got to be in a limousine. Yeah, he would love that. Can you imagine <laughs> Josh in the limo? black limousine with a, a neon green interior? Oh, day glow. <laughs> black yep. green day glow. <laughs> now I would drive I would drive him all the way into the fish tank in limousine, full service bar, drink combos, have a webcam going in the limousine the entire way. That's yeah. That's that, that's that should be the kickoff show for the next fish tank. That's someone true. someone tells Sam uh, that I, I'm willing to be the chauffeur. Yeah, he would he would love that. I mean, yeah. imagine him. He he's in a limo for like yeah. 20, 20 some hours drinking. He would love yeah. that. Yeah, he makes so much money back uh, on donos but through the fish tank. The toughest sure. part would be like wrangling him because you know he's gonna want smoke breaks and obviously bathroom yeah. breaks and stuff like that in the limo. I'll give I'll give him his own bucket. He can shit and piss in the bucket if he wants. <laughs> oh, dude, that would be so I, I, gross. You you guys you guys you guys forget that I have been in the pond. Like I am I am part boglum on my dad's side. I'm, I'm I can do this. <laughs> my dad. But, but you put a but you put a camera in the limo. Yeah, you put a camera in a limo. And you stream that. Yes, dude, you're making. It's I mean, done. It's it's yeah. so much. It's so much money. Yeah, that's great. That's good content Wait, right do there. Do you hear that? Down the tracks. Maybe two Fuck. or three minutes away. I think a tip train is inbound. Yes, tip train. <laughs> tip train, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> choo, choo. These sweet these sweet dads. My dads. <laughs> yes. My dads deserve this. My Come two on, dads. Let's go. My two dads. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make a new movie. My two dads. <laughs> have you seen the TV show My Two Dads? I have not. It was on in the late eighties. Can we get a, tra- a trailer for that up? Yeah, let's, let's, pull, let's pull up on my two dads trailer. This is this is the energy for tonight's podcast. <laughs> is this related to what was that movie 
Oh, two two men and a baby. Is that what three, three men, men and, a baby. and a baby? Three, three and men and a baby. Yeah. Directed by Spock. Yeah, Leonard Nimoy directed. <laughs> Leonard that. Nimoy directed it. Yeah. Leonard Nimoy directed that. <laughs> yes, I didn't know that. Yeah. Damn, yeah. bro. And it got a sequel. It got a. It, it, it got yeah. three men and a little lady. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Steve Gutenberg vehicle, and everybody says Steve Gutenberg is a Grand Mason, and that is that's, that's 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 what oh, they shit. say. Oh. Uh, let's if see. They say it. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is this is like the intro from my two dads. So we'll we'll pull we'll pull the other screen over. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. How did I get two dads? They inherited me. Congratulations! It's a girl. Here's the judge who brought us together. She lives in our building. My building. I own it. She's gonna make sure we're one big happy family with one dad who's down to earth and one dad with his head in the clouds. But they're not a couple. They're just like buddies or something. And like I'm one dad who's down to earth and the other yeah. one's yeah. in the clouds. I'm obviously the head in the clouds dad. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Which which one are you guys? I'm, the, Paul the, Reiser I'm the Paul Reiser dad. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely am. <laughs> and I'm the head in the cloud dad. Who, I don't know who played him. I don't know if he ever did anything else. I don't think so. Other than play- and she Stacey was in other Keenan. stuff, too. Right. What else was she in? When she got older, when, she was in something else. I just can't Stacey remember right. Stacey Keenan? Yeah, I can't remember right now. She wasn't in Step by Step, right? I think she's an attorney, apparently. I think oh. I think she was in Step by Step when she got older. Pretty yeah, sure. she was. Okay, she was in there you go. Dana? Yeah. Yep. Was she Dana? Yes. And then this is the head in the clouds, Dad. I don't recognize him from. As the, Joey. Greg. Look at that haircut. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Yeah. My two dads. Dude, that looks based. <laughs> that looks so fucking good. I would watch that. They're not You know if they remade that today, they'd be gay? Yes, they would. Be, oh, yeah. Without a doubt. And and yeah. and they would be moms too. <laughs> My two dads are moms. <laughs> My two dads. Are moms. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. That was that's that was a good trailer. I like that. I like the vibe. <laughs> I like the editing. I like the the graphic design. That was great. Yeah, those those eighties trailers are are something else. Oh, They're fantastic. I, I like I like I, I watched the pilot episode of Alf the other day. YouTube just recommended it to me. I saw that too. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think someone's pushing it through the al- the Alf algorithm. Alf algorithm. <laughs> I was in the first grade when Alf came out originally. It was when that did Alf come out? out? Alf came out in like the like I don't know, like probably nineteen or something. Yeah, something 80s? like that. I was dead. I you were dead. Not, <laughs> I was not even. Yeah. You. you, yeah. you, you we had yet to give birth to you as your two. Yeah, yeah. You guys. You guys hadn't uh, consummated the marriage yet. No. How how much how much of your channel is based off of the TV show How I Met Your Mother? <laughs> <laughs> Only like thirty <laughs> percent. You're talking to the audience the same way that uh, the, the, the 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 Bob Saget was talking to the his children. <laughs> we we were basically the children watching Bob Saget tell the story of how he met our mother. Yeah, and, yeah. and now it's like how I how I uh, mourn my father is the, the secret name of your <laughs> yeah. channel. How I remember the memory of my dad <laughs> <laughs> that's still a show isn't it how i met your what's the new one yeah it... they have how i met your father how i met your father yeah hillary duff's in it i think i see yeah. ads for it all the time yeah 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 was... this is this that's is like rough. your channel's gonna be exposed by matt pat he's like the real story <laughs> behind your favorite son this is a Talk- game theory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. Matt Pat. I did I did a FNAF video. I did do a FNAF video. That cost me a lot of money. I bought um I bought like every piece of FNAF merch you could buy. <laughs> like I bought like a hat, I bought like a shirt, I bought a customized shirt that said like I'm a girl and I love FNAF and my name is your favorite son. And like, <laughs> I bought like slippers. I bought uh, sweat, like sweat shorts. Like I bought, I bought everything. And did I did the investment pay off. Cause I know five nope. nights at Freddy's was huge for a long time. No, nope. did did that was, you didn't that catch was probably, the algorithm. Yeah. That was probably my least, 
uh, performing video ever. Do you uh, think it might get a resurgence now that they're going to be putting out a Five Nights at Freddy movie? No, but I will go see it in theaters. I go see every movie in theaters. How I often does one of your old videos go from obscure to like popping back off again, like with a, the algorithm finds something and it reopens it? Yeah, it depends. It's like a lot of it's evergreen content. So I, my, my, uh, my formula is I upload a video on each game in a series. And then at the end, I combine them all together. And then I upload an extra, like in that video, I put an extra section where yeah. I talk about the books and the comics and uh, e- like the spinoff games, every other weird like thing that's been made from uh, outside of that game and um, those videos, those full retrospectives, usually do pretty well. Um, but usually they're they're evergreen content, so it, it'll take like two months, and then all of a sudden they'll pop off. Like my, I have a video on all of the Remedy games right now, and that one's like kind of blowing up. But it came out in April, and in April it didn't do great, but now it's like blowing up. So, yeah. I'm not a big uh, game player or into the the game YouTube videos, mm-hmm. but every once in a while I'll just randomly be watching like ten hours of fucking Pokemon gaming videos. <laughs> I, I'm I was never really into the Pokemon games. Yeah, they just they'll come in my algorithm and they'll be like these iceberg videos that cover like an expansion of everything and it's like a, yeah. a, a compendium. And I just I end up watching it for like three hours before I'm like I have no interest in this. Yeah. It's like, well, I'm turning this off. Yeah. It's weird because, like, I don't – the thing is, too, like, I don't watch content like mine. Like, I don't – if you looked at my YouTube page right now, it's not It's not like mine. It's probably uh, a lot of Tony Chase, a lot of Josh content, um, <laughs> a lot of MMA content, like, uh, shit like that. Like, it's I, – I don't watch stuff like that because I, I, I don't like to – I don't I, I don't like it to enter into my brain and then yeah and then subconsciously like regurgitate it. So who's who's yeah. uh who's a celebrity, YouTuber, anything that we might know that you would feel most comfortable fighting in an MMA match? Oh shit. Um I've always said this since the beginning. I would love to box Twin Perfect. Okay. Um, Twin Perfect, uh he made a bunch of videos about Silent Hill. And his analysis was really bad. And he like, he like, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't bad analysis, but he garnered a lot of hate towards the developers of a lot of these games. And they, they ended up getting like death threats, um, (laughs) like because of him. And, uh, and then he made like a video on twin peaks, which I really fucking hate, um, but I would, I would box him. I've always said that since the beginning, I will box twin perfect. I would okay. the shit out of twin perfect. I don't know. I don't know how <laughs> tall he is. I don't know how tall he is. Uh, you said you're so six like, one, right? Yeah, I'm six one. So it's kind of, it's kind of hard then. You have to be pretty confident at six one that nobody's going to be like that much taller than you. Yeah. So you're yeah. probably not going to get stuck with a crazy reach advantage. If he happens yeah. to be the six foot seven monster, then yeah. Yeah, I guess you, you your ass wrote a, a check that it's gonna have to cash. I will. I box. <laughs> like I box. That yeah. was why that was why I wanted Josh to do the thing is like I have boxing equipment. Like I didn't buy boxing equipment for the documentary. Like it was just my boxing equipment that I that I brought out. I was like I like I, I, I'm very into MMA and all that stuff. Like I that, that's that's a hobby of mine that I do on the side. So I was gonna get into the uh the boxing one of Keemstar's boxing events. He uh, was setting me up for a match, and um, I was getting into conditioning, fighting condition. I was going to start training and and get myself uh, ready to fight at the um, the last event. It happened uh, this month, a couple like a week ago, and I was I was going to go to it. Uh, my opponent they set me up with was this random fan online, and as they were as they were getting to know this guy more and more. <laughs> They they realized he might be out of his fucking mind, so they canceled. <laughs> they canceled the bout, and then yeah. the same week they canceled the bout, I had uh, the initial uh, symptoms of a heart failure, oh, <laughs> and, and and so now I have been dealing with this heart thing, and I don't know if I'll be back, if I'll be yeah. able to to box again or not. It's but, probably um, good that you didn't box like 
you know, if you had just like gone through with it and just like ignored the heart issue or something, that probably would have been bad. Yeah. I don't think I would have been able to ignore it if if some if if the initial like the heart issue started to the symptoms started to show after the fight was canceled. Okay. I think it, it probably would have happened within the training for that month, and yeah. I, I think I probably would have gone sooner to a doctor than I actually did because I would have still had training in mind, and I would yeah. have had to have figure out the problem before I went on to the the boxing event. But it uh damn that sucks. Yeah, I was I was just trying to to uh, get get a match against Wings of Redemption. That dude, <laughs> that would be great. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I think mean, he's the, off. He he won against Boogie, right? Yeah, yeah he he I won mean, against pretty Boogie. easily. Um, yeah, I think Boogie the idea his shorts down the whole time. Shit. The idea would have been if I beat this random fan guy that they set me up against. I think they would have rebooked me versus Wings further yeah. down the road. Yeah. Um, that that would have been a possibility. I know Keem had uh, talked about doing it, um, possibly if Wings was able to. Yeah. Wings was in fighting condition and wanted to do it. Yeah, yeah. I would I would box anybody to be honest. Like I like I like fighting quite a bit, and it's a great hobby of mine. I watch a lot of MMA. There's a there's a huge card going on right now. Oh yeah. Uh, my my boy Dustin Poirier is probably fighting right now. Okay. Uh, who knows. Who knows where he's at, but yeah, yeah, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big combat sports fan, so I definitely would do that in any regard. But I would, I would have to get in some shape. I'm, I'm a little uh, doughy right now. How much money would it take for you to get in the ring with Brock Lesnar? <laughs> uh, damn, it would, it would have to be like enough money where I'm gonna be okay. For <laughs> right, a good amount of like a good amount of time. Um, I, I want to say I want to say twenty thousand dollars, but I also want to say that um, hospital I, I, bills. That, that, <laughs> yeah, that has it has to be yeah. independent of hospital bills is the problem. Yeah, I, I think I think more than that. I think it's it's in the six figure range. Right, I, I got to be okay for the rest of my life. Like if <laughs> if I get so much brain damage that I can't, I can't. Uh, you know, do this yeah. anymore. <laughs> like I'm, I would, I would hope it got stopped before that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You would like, hope, but the, like, the yeah, the, the fighter yeah. in me makes me think, you know, I, I feel like I deserve at least 20 K to do it, yeah. but I would, I would, I would want to, I would want to do it though. I'd mm -hmm. be like, yeah, I would, I would totally get served by Brock Lesnar. I think that'd be fucking psycho. It'd be great. <sighs> but, would, uh, yeah. Oh, he's he would, old he would, though. He's he, old. Duh, duh, like, uh, I'm old, <laughs> but he's also on WWE right now, so he's definitely on roids. That's the thing. So like he's well, super he was on roids then up. too, right? Oh like, yeah, he got, he it was got early. Caught, he got caught with the gear. Yeah, yeah, it was it was early enough, and yeah, he got caught. Like yeah, it, he he wasn't in the new age. Like he's yeah, he was definitely on gear. That guy, fuck, dude, he's he's huge. Yeah, he's massive. He's like Uberim level he's huge like as 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 like as unique as cyrax is brock lesnar is that way in the opposite direction you know <laughs> like they, they don't make them like brock lesnar or cyrax that's that's just not that's not have you ever watched like fight circus have you ever I don't watched think that so. did, did we watch any of that on the show ben i can't remember not that i'm aware of it, yeah what's it, fight circus it's like this. Uh, it's this fighting combat sports event in. Uh, they they hold it in like I think it's like Thailand or the Philippines or something like that, and um, they they have it, it's like old pride events basically. Like they'll have events where it's like this this jacked American dude and he's fighting like three Taiwanese like sixteen year olds <laughs> oh, and like God. he just grabs them and like picks them up and like slams them on their head. Like he's fighting them all at once. <laughs> It'll be like a dude that's like five hundred pounds versus a guy that's like one twenty pounds. Like there's no <laughs> regulation because they're doing it in, in another country. But like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. In man. uh in Poland they had team fighting where it was two teams of five going head to head at the same time in this yeah. really big ring. That was pretty crazy because, you know, people would get taken out and then it'd be two guys on one guy and it was yeah. pretty insane. Yeah, that's interesting. I love that stuff. I think I think spectacle fighting is really cool. Um, I think it's interesting, but 
it's all it's also like it's a spectacle so yeah. whatever but yeah take me to the circus I would do it. I would do it. If you, if you, if you, if you DM me right now, I'd, I'd be, I'd be in go mode. I'd be training from right now. Now, honestly, you said Cobra surprised you how big he was. Mm-hmm. You versus Cobra in a fight. Are you pretty confident or are you, you a little worried? I mean, I'm pretty confident. Let's okay. go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I'm, I also have, you have to, you have to think like I have, yeah. Best I could assume, I probably have at least thirty to forty pounds on him. Like, I'm, yeah, but you don't. You don't have that brute. <laughs> I think he would go. I, I, I think, I think you have a point. I think he would go longer than I expect him to go. Yeah, he's like, got that like, brute edge. Yeah, <laughs> I would expect him to be knocked out in the first like round, but I think I think he could probably make it to the second. Like, I, I think he would. He would go. He would. He would be one of those people where he gets wobbled and then he just comes back, you know. He's like, I don't care, you know. He, he he's uh he's got a weird a weird wall there. And but, I wouldn't be surprised if Clint taught him a thing or two. It's true. He's that, Clint's a big guy. Clint's jacked. Clint's Clint's got some uh some some muscle. He's got some history. Yeah. He's he's if if my if my dad taught me anything, it's that you respect Guys raised by guys like Clint. That's true. Because you don't know. You don't know. That's true. My dad true. was a guy like Clint. My dad would fucking probably rock the Blue Man Group if he wasn't busy fucking and smoking crack. <laughs> I like. I like how. Uh, I like how Clint failed art class, but still just became like an art teacher anyway. Right? Isn't that what he does? Yeah. Well, they say if you can't do, you teach. Right. Well, beyond beyond that, in the world of art, like the same thing with Einstein. He he wasn't he wasn't the the most uh, academic fellow. He was just a fucking brilliant genius. Yeah, he didn't fit. He didn't fit into the 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 same spots. You you have the type of people that fit in and and they do well, but the mold breakers they they never fit in, and they always live by their own rules. Yeah. What I'm saying is Cobra and Einstein are the same person. <laughs> they are. Uh, go see Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> how how good would a a a, a fucking um, if Christopher Nolan directed a movie about Casper Wyoming? Oh, that'd be that'd be goaded. I would get someone I would, to play I would Cobes. Buy Ten tickets. You get you get like Tilda Swinton to play Cool Taste. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be fucking money, dude. Cillian Murphy is playing fucking a uh, warlord. War, yeah, warlord. Yeah, I think warlord. is silly. Yeah, is it Killian or Cillian? I, I can never get that right. I, I always want to say I, I, you're right. It's Killian. It's I Killian. always want to say Cillian myself, and then I like in my head, I'm like, I know that's wrong. Yeah, it's Killian Murphy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Killian. yeah. You have uh, what's what's dream casting for a Cobes biopic? If it's who plays, Nolan, who plays Josh? Who plays Josh? That's that's the the question. Um. I feel like Steve Buscemi plays Cyrex. Yeah, that's good. That's and he gets dirty. He yeah. gets dirty as Cyrex. <laughs> Morton Dave says that Johnny Depp is King Cobra. That Ooh. that could that could be good. I, I yeah, I'd like that. I, I but I would like I would like a like a, a method actor to play uh, Josh. So we got like a Daniel Day Lewis or like a. Like a like a like a Joaquin Phoenix to play Josh. Yeah, Joaquin Phoenix. Could, they get in the role. Pull it off. They 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 rent out an apartment in Casper. You know, He's, they sit there drinking all day. You know, they they're you, they're you, really getting in the role. You know, you know who I hire to play King Cobra? Hundred percent. Charlie Day. Somebody said Charlie Day. That's that's pretty good. If I if I'm if I'm hiring somebody to play King Cobra, it's Timothy Chalamet. And he's gonna be he's like gonna that. be exactly like the sexy goth bad boy. Yeah. But he's gonna but he's gonna do all the things Cobra does, but he's gonna do it from T- Timothy Chalamet's body. So he has to play like he's gotta make the bog burrito, he's gotta get drunk, be pissy, he's gotta yeah. do all the stuff. But then we look at him and like we see this heartthrob doing the opposite of heartthrob things. Yeah. The counterculture. But Josh would love that. 
because yes. that's how he views himself. You know? He would be like, think, "This is this is me." This that's, I think that's that cool. would be the brilliance that yeah. that right there. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I got to take a bathroom break. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Ladies Everybody. and gentlemen, we're coming up on hour three, and we are twenty-two dollars away from another shot. We we have uh, some time to go tonight, but we would love if you guys. Uh, helped us get there. Bang, bang, booty butt gang. Denzel Washington as Cobra. Yes. <laughs> Give us Denzel Washington as King Cobra. Give us... Uh, who's the, the... Melissa McCarthy <laughs> as King Cobra. Just Queen Cobra. Queen Cobra. What about Paul Dano as King Cobra? Blair Snorlax, we appreciate you watching and hanging. Woody Harrelson would play a good King Cobra. These guys are all a little too old, though. I'm trying to think of a, a younger actor that could tackle it. That's why I just went balls out Timothy Chalamet, because... He's way too young and way too out of character. Amy Schumer playing King Cobra. I think you'd want somebody in their 20s. All right. We're back. Did we get... what? What's 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 going on? Yeah, no, I mean, everybody, everybody's just taking a nap. Finn need, Wolfhard. <laughs> I mean, we need 12... We need 12 22. Blocks. 22. Oh, wait, 22? Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. I can't do math right now. 22. I'm, I'm really good at math. I'm, ter <laughs> I'm terrible at math. That was my worst subject. Actually, they, they were all kind of my worst subject. History, I was pretty good at history. But, uh, Ezra Miller, Dylan, Dylan Mulvaney. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Ezra Miller. I think Ezra Miller could play Josh. But he's... His his career is kind of over, so you'd probably get like a a pro wrestler to play King Cobra. Yeah, uh, get, get somebody with that brute brute body strength. Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's he's got a bit of a Cobra swag. Shinsuke he does. And Cobra have some lap <laughs> some lap over. I never charisma. thought of a Japanese guy playing Cobra. But now it, it kind fits of so, it. doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Like, choo, choo. He's got that, you know, when he when he comes in the ring. Oh yeah. Grabs, he goes, ah, yeah. You know, that's he, he's got that he's got that Cobes kind of feel. He is a showman. They, they yeah. share that. They share those of uh, charisma frequencies. Yeah. They got yeah. that. They got that. And the Miz as King Cobra. The Miz. <laughs> yeah. Huh? He, they, yeah. There, there's a little bit of crossover with the Miz too. They both have that. They know their stars, you know. Danny DeVito. <laughs> Danny DeVito in the role of a lifetime. Like tiptoes. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Oldman as King Cobra, JFS. Yeah. Damn. The role Bill of Bill Skarsgård would be a perfect cast. They have similar looks in their eyes in different directions. <laughs> no, actually, Bill Skarsgård would be a good guy to play Cobes. If you Wait, could which, get one, Bill's which one's Bill? He's the one that played it, the clown. Okay, the young, yeah, the young one. Okay, yeah. If if he put on like fifty pounds of muscle and a face weight, yeah, he could actually, dude. That's actually that might be the guy. Yeah, Bill Skarsgård as King Cobra. Eyes. He's got the eyes. He has the yeah. same eyes. Yeah, yeah. Bill Skarsgård. Yeah. Has I don't know. Has anybody made a fan casting? <laughs> for, Yo, for the Cobes, Bio how far how far are we away from AI to make this happen? Oh, it, we're there. We're there. <laughs> yeah, let's, mean, let's put the AI together. Yeah, is uh, there a clever play on Oppenheimer for for Cobra the Cobraverse? Probably. Is there any is there any clever wording we could <laughs> we could pull off? Uh, yeah, I mean the obvious one is Boglemheimer, but yeah, Boglemheimer. <laughs> Bottom yeah. hammer, but wait, well, there, there's something deeper there, you know. Yeah, Corey Feldman. <laughs> Corey Feldman. <laughs> Damn. 
He makes I, makes bangers. He makes good beats. <laughs> I try yeah. to put Steve Buscemi on Cyrax. We have all agreed Cyrax is a boggleum. We've all yeah. agreed Steve Buscemi is a like probably the a celebrity boggleum. I don't know if Danny DeVito is boggleum, but Steve Buscemi definitely is. Danny DeVito. I I feel like Danny DeVito could play Darth. Ooh. What if it was like a um, instead of a Christopher Nolan film, it was uh, Scorsese, Martin Scorsese. It was mm. kind of like an old Casper Wyoming gangster movie. <laughs> yeah. Joe yeah. Pesci has King Cobra. Yeah. <laughs> Danny DeVito is Darth Linney. That's great. Yeah. Mike Myers would actually play a good King Cobra. Mike good call Myers. on Mike Myers. Get us uh, Austin Powers, Mike Myers doing King Cobra. Yeah, that, he's a good that might be the money right there. Yeah, Mike Myers. People keep saying Paul Giamatti, Bill yeah. Cosby, <laughs> Bill Cosby in the role of a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. another drink combo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think Mike Myers. Mike Myers is a good like character actor, you know. He's got the same vibe. Dwayne the Bog Johnson. <laughs> I, I would watch that movie if it was The Rock playing King Cobra. Oh. Because that's how... Remember when Cobra would always talk about like his big muscles and everything? So it's yeah. actually kind of like what he saw when he looked in the mirror was The Rock. There's that stream that would, where he's like lifting weights yeah. and he's like curling, you know? Yeah. That would actually be really good. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. That's that's what I would like if, if they did a biopic where it was completely disjointed. Like you're not even trying to go for realism here. You just have you have complete opposites, but they're just good actors. Kind of that how they went with the uh, the Weird Al biopic with yes. um, Harry Potter. Yes, Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a complete like it's it's in the other direction. Yeah. You got you got The Rock playing King Cobra and Stone Cold playing Clint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look here, yeah. you son of a bitch! You're gonna put that lathe away. You're only gonna use it when I'm over there. <laughs> no, Dad, you shut your candy ass. <laughs> I'm making wands. <laughs> yeah. They have a wrestling match. Clint puts him through the boards. Christmas, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, Clint and oh. and and fucking Josh as yeah. the Rock and Austin yeah. fighting in front of the loafing jug. <laughs> yeah, that's great. There we Ladies go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at our next level. Woo! Oh, did we hit it? Yeah, sixty-two point nine four percent of the way. <laughs> what a tree fitty. I'm almost out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rut row. Shaggy. Uh oh. Yeah, right. buy, buy Ben and your favorite son another drink. We're $46.50 away We're from begging the next for sip. It. We're begging yes. for Yes. We're literally cheers. See, begging. Cheers, cheers. So I that's do another thing. you guys. Josh should do what we do when people call us e-beggars. We're like, yes, we are. Peg <laughs> on. Peg on. Yeah, yeah. Look. Yeah. We, we all know this show would not exist if our audience wasn't here for us every week. Sorry, guys. That's the fact. You're, you're, you're the most important part of the show. That, <laughs> that and King Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Without Cobes, to... this would get Wait. really boring. <laughs> Low energy videos needs to get me on a show, get hammered and watch some Cobes. I mean... You hit me up. Hey, low energy. Don't uh, don't recruit from our chat. Low yeah, energy. Yeah, he's scalping. <laughs> he's scalping. Down. Yeah, God. dude. <laughs> low energy is gonna start striking against us. Okay, True. fine. We're gonna have a, a a live stream strike, and all these live streamers that that scalp the guests are gonna <laughs> say that we're, we're they won't cross the picket line. <laughs> I've never done that before. I do. I will say I have I have more. I don't have any more whiskey, but I have, I do have shochu that I can drink. Oh, after this, damn. So, so I have more of this. OK. okay. Um, All right. So we got some. We more. love the shochu. Shout outs. Shout outs to the chum churi. We love that shit. But How, yeah, do you I like will. kimchi. 
I don't do uh, my <laughs> funny story. My gram, my grandpa was in the Korean War, and he he was stationed in Korea. He loves Korean food. He loves I kimchi. Love it too. So from like a child, he was trying to get me to try kimchi, and I just hated it the whole time. I I. Now, as an adult, I'm like, I see why you like it, but no. There's so many different kinds, too. Like, the area we live in, there's a lot of Asian people that live here, so there's a lot of Asian food, like a lot of really diverse Asian food. And I ate Korean food just today, like earlier today for lunch. It's, like, (laughs) one of my favorites ever. And I had a bunch of kimchi. Like, the Korean barbecue is so good. Have you ever had that? Yeah. Yeah, I love Korean barbecue. I, I'm a big uh, Indian food guy. I like I Indian, Indian food, food, too. I I like it really spicy, though, and then I end up regretting it when it comes out the other way later. <laughs> but I love yep. it. Yeah, I always, uh, I always like, I like to act like I'm, like, not a white guy, basically. <laughs> like I, I like to be like, you know, give me the hottest you got. And then... Uh, it's just too much. <laughs> I can't. I can't handle it. But it's my great. Grandpa, I, love, I love Indian food. My grandpa was in the Korean War too, and never tried to get me on Korean food. It was never a crossover. Yeah. So I wonder if he just didn't like to eat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just like, nah. I'm so upset this whole yeah. this whole time. Yeah, yeah. He the whole like my whole childhood. He even now every single time I see him, he's like, you want to try some kimchi? And I'm like, I've tried it before. I don't want it he always tries to get me to try buttermilk too like that's his thing he's always like you gotta try this buttermilk like he drinks buttermilk he, he will have uh quarter liters of butter yeah. and he just drinks it straight and, and loves you know it. if he ever drinks the bulgarian style buttermilk what's that it's it's like buttermilk it's just a little more uh of a a different flavor you should See if you can find Bulgarian style buttermilk in your area and bring him some. Okay. And, and see if you can't introduce him to something he may or may not. He might already be onto it. That might be the stuff he likes. Have yeah, you, yeah. It's just a slightly a slight variant of buttermilk. Have you yeah, tried yeah. Uh, Have you tried the Korean fried chicken? Because they make really good fried chicken and wi- like wings with no. like saucy wings. Oh, dude, they're amazing. Yeah. 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 I like I like ethnic food. I love like different uh cultures and stuff i i that's my it's my jam but the, it's kind of limited where i'm at it's not super small town but like yeah you know we don't have a ton of shit so yeah yeah, yeah it's there's there's so much there's so many asian restaurant options where i live i'm almost like how can they all stay in business because there's so many of them yeah and then and then he looks over at my fat ass that's how they stay in business. <laughs> oh my god! I, I'm like the I'm like Godzilla hitting up all the Asian restaurants. Well, you were you were hitting up Fat Shack too. You said that was your relapse food. Ah, uh, yeah. During the pandemic, when I started to relapse, I was going to Fat Shack and getting. So Fat Shack is uh these sandwiches that are full of like French fries and other deep fried food, mozzarella sticks. They're these gigantic fucking hoagie sandwiches just crammed with bullshit. My yes. my favorite food, my number one food of all time, Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, they'll put Philly cheesesteak meat in this, and they'll put uh, the chicken tendies and mozzarella sticks it's and true. fried eggs and bullshit. Yeah. And then for dessert, they'll be like, here's deep fried Oreos and all types oh, of other garbage. Yeah. Baby. Um, oh, yeah, like here's, here's some of the... the oh, shit. We're yeah. pulling out the mask. Yeah, yeah. This is what one of them looks like. <laughs> I think that's a small oh, too, right there. Yeah, yeah. So you can put like oh, they got Phillies. Yeah, they got Phillies. Yeah, there. damn. And the, the yeah. these things, I think the first time I ever heard about them, they were in New Jersey. Yeah, and mm-hmm. they had they had all these at the food trucks outside of Rutgers University. The food trucks would run these, and they'd all they have like the, the sandwiches were called the fat fellatio. The fat, uh, the fat bitch. Here mm-hmm. they have like the fat slob, the fat cow. The, the but fat it's, it's all shack. Based the fat shack is cheesesteak, chicken fingers, jalapeno poppers, mozzarella sticks, French fries, onion rings, and honey jalapeno mustard. Oh God, you got We we gotta stop. We have to stop this. I'm gonna <laughs> oh, we do it. this. I'm we do this a lot. <laughs> what we're, what we're talking about. Yeah. Is, oh damn, yeah. That's that's my alley. I eat. I eat abominable shit. I either eat like the worst thing you've ever heard of, or I eat like the most healthy thing like it's back and forth like, see i i didn't know if we would have this conversation the way you talked about casper cuisine 
Uh, I, I thought you were like a total health guy. No. Now I'm, he- now I'm hearing you, you, you like this shit and Casper still kicked your ass. Dude, no, no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I am a health guy. Like I like to eat right and I try to eat right and I train a lot and stuff. But at the same time, like my, my other side my my the demon in me comes out all the time like i i can't hold it back you know yeah yeah what's just, what's your favorite um like if you're carb loading or something or like cheat meal type thing what's your favorite thing to just go fucking stupid with philly cheesesteak 100 like it, it it is literally my favorite food i love anywhere i go if i go to a new place and they have a philly cheesesteak i'm gonna try it like i i don't care i don't care where it is i've i've tried philly cheesesteaks from ice cream places before like <laughs> ice cream stands that have philly cheesesteaks i'm like oh, i gotta get the philly cheesesteak i love philly cheesesteaks they're great I, I do. I won't like. I said I won't say where I am. I live. I, like I'm a PA guy. I live in Pennsylvania. Like I've said that before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like I said, the state I am. So I, I'm Pennsylvania. But like, yeah, Philly cheesesteaks, ride or die. I love them. They're great. We had a we had a place uh, in Everett, Washington, called Philly Ya Belly, and it was like this Philly, Philly shop that was in like a weird business place. But they just made these giant Philly cheesesteaks. They had all this whiz and all this other bullshit on it. It was it was a it was a sandwich. I used to go there quite a bit, like a decade ago. Yeah, yeah, they're great. I lived I lived in uh, North Carolina for a while, and um, they di- they did not have any sandwich places at all, and it was like a culture shock to me. I was like, what the fuck? Like, there's no I can't get there's no delis. Like there's no delis down there. Yeah. And I was like, what is happening? Like this is I thought this was the world, <laughs> but like there was no delis and I couldn't get like a sandwich. Um and there was a couple places that I found that had like cheesesteaks down there and they were just garbage. They were they were shit. Yeah. And delis really seem like a northeastern thing cuz here in they Seattle are. we don't really have them like they do out there. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're very much like a New England northeast kind of thing but yeah i didn't i didn't realize that till i moved to north carolina yeah you ever do like a food challenge like a giant burger or something anywhere i've never i've never done one but i've always wanted to do one um and uh i would probably i would probably lose yeah probably i I had a small run as a competitive eater and every every time i would Based. Do a, a a championship or something. I'd do a contest. I would I would just go in and eat and win, and then I lost one and I just stopped because I was like, "Fuck that!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, this was only cool when I was winning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Damn. What were you eating? Was it like dogs um, or was it like one I time did it a was... hot dog contest, a, a donuts a bunch yeah. of times. Um, I I did uh, all types of stuff. The the one that I lost was a sushi eating contest Ooh. and I wasn't a big sushi eater and I definitely did not know how to eat sushi in abundance Yeah, because I was chewing and the rice was just going side by side in my mouth yeah. and I like couldn't get to a point where I felt like I had chewed enough to swallow. Yeah. So I should have just been swallowing and not chewing. I should have just, I, I would have been fine if I would have just swallowed and yeah. it came down to like the guy that beat me. I think I had 70 pieces and he had 72 pieces. And, uh, I was just like, I was butthurt. Cause if I would have known how close it was, I would have just not chewed. But yeah. I was like, I was like trying to chew to get it down. And that was a mistake. <sighs> Seven I, I didn't, pieces is a lot. That's... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't practice or anything going into it. Didn't, didn't even really eat sushi before that. So I think it was, I, I could have eaten more. I just, didn't I, logistically i wasn't yeah. i wasn't prepared damn that's crazy sushi sushi seems like it would be a hard one that's a rice is super filling fish is yeah. pretty filling too it, you just you just i i had to not chew it as much i was fucking myself up trying to chew it yeah <laughs> yeah damn i want to be that's my that's my secret dream is to be a <laughs> <laughs> i want to be a yeah. joey chestnut I got approached <laughs> by um, this guy. He was a descendant of uh, Daniel Boone. Mm. He was he was a, he ran the World League of Competitive Eating. He used to like roll with the chestnut guys and everybody. And yeah. uh, the politics of competitive eating made him start his own his own company. And he he tried to sign me to the World League of Competitive Eating and wanted to take me to India. 
and just have me and a bunch of other people eat in front of like thousands of starving Indian people. <laughs> And I was like, that sounds psychotic. I'll yeah. do it. But it sounds psychotic. Damn, that's crazy. There's there's uh, competitive eating drama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, we have the... like that. Oh, I was just going to say, we have the... Oh, that, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. That, that, that world goes hand in hand with a lot of like the, the fitness bodybuilder guys, though. There's a ton yeah. of like bodybuilder people that are big competitive eaters because you got to eat a lot to, to gain like big muscles and gains and stuff. So yeah. it, it, it works its way through. Go ahead, Ben. Oh, no. I was just going to show him this uh, this eating challenge that we have here in my area where it's it's like a giant bowl of ramen noodles. It's three liters. It's three liters of ramen noodles. See that giant bowl? Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, the problem with that seems like the sodium, right? Yeah. <laughs> like you're, you're intaking so much sodium, and it's like holding so much water. I'm allowed two liters of water a day, and uh, like 700 milligrams this of sodium just a meal. Jealous that I'm yeah, a sexy yeah. goth bad boy and I have a legion of fan girls fighting over me. Get blocked, troll. That's fair. That's true. I, I want to see Cobes. I want to see Cobes do every eating contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, that spicy Buffalo Wild Wings challenge that he did. He 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 didn't make the time, but he still like after time ran out, he finished the last of it. He was dying. I wanted. I wanted to do that. I wanted to do a redux with him when we went out there, but he didn't want to. He, he was like, I already did that. It's in my past. <laughs> yeah. So I want, I wanted to give him a, a redemption, you know, like try again, but he, he didn't want to this, this noodle. I, I, I don't think I could do this. Yeah. I, well, I can't do lot. any of that shit. There's no, there's no way. There's no way. I could have, I could have done it. In my heyday, I, I kind of wish I'd gone out and done it back in the day. Now I literally, I, I my my heart will explode. I can't do it anymore. I'll just die. That's yeah. That's uh, yeah. It'd be my, like the... my doctor tells me I gotta cut something fats. I don't remember, but uh, it's fucking I don't yeah. Know. Probably like Listen. triglycerides or something. Something I think he said trans fats. Maybe oh, I yeah. don't remember. Uh, I try to eat right, but. Uh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, just you, you you do what you can until you die. Yeah, I work I work out a lot, so it's like, yeah, shut up. He told me my do my doctor. I went to this doctor for the first time, and he was like, "Are you vaxxed? And I was like, "Yeah, I got the first one." And he was like, "Don't do that anymore." <laughs> really? That's very surprising. <laughs> yeah, he said that. He he told me that, and he he was like, "You shouldn't." He, he was like, "Don't. You sh you, you probably shouldn't do that anymore." And I was like, "Okay, whatever." This so is a this medical doctor. doctor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't like a back alley. You know, I was like, like was, was he like a like a Chinese doctor, like you know, doing like <laughs> no. acupuncture or something? No, you know? no, no, no. He was he was he was a legit dude. He had his own practice, but yeah, he told me. That's my guy. I go see him. He was he was like, no, don't do that. I was like, oh. weird. So you know, yeah, that's. Uh, I was like, was, was he like cracking your back too? Was he like a chiropractor? Or something? <laughs> yeah, he was like. He was also while he was saying that he was putting pins under my eyes. Yep. But you know that's unrelated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was crazy, but yeah, they tell me they, yeah. You, you, you do what you can. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I I know specifically, and I I do what I can. You know. Yeah. 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 My doctors told me that um it was the vaccine that caused my heart problems, not my morbid no. obesity. <laughs> no, they didn't. So no. Wait, did they actually? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> people, uh, people in the the chat on one of the videos responding to, to it said, "You know, dude." I, Nobody wants to say this, but you got vaccinated, right? And I'm like, dude, I'm, oh, shit. I've been 600 pounds in my life. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure this heart issue wasn't because of some uh, some vaccine, you psychos. Yeah. Like, <laughs> even you know, like, you're like, I know what it is, you know? Yeah, well, it's it's, it's a compound issue. It's like that. It's I'm, I'm Genetics. Like six foot. I'm I'm over six foot tall as well, so like my body's working hard. My dad had a similar issue. He was only five foot seven, and he was only 
I don't know, 200 pounds, 220 pounds. He wasn't a huge, huge guy. So, like, yeah. he had a similar heart valve issue, so there's hereditary there. It's just a perfect storm of stuff. And and most of all, you know, I was on the keto diet for, like, five years going in and out of high-sodium fucking shit. And that makes That makes my heart go too too hard. Yeah, I did that for a while, too. That's probably why my doctor's telling me to chill. But yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. There's just so much sodium uh, intake in a lot of that stuff. And it's crazy because the keto diet, you, you take in less sodium in a lot of ways, too. But when you're the guy power-eating bacon, like it's yep. just it, it hits you. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you, uh, you're so focused on carbs. You're like, I'm just going to eat meat. And then you eat bacon and eggs all day, and yeah, you, you fuck yeah. yourself. Yeah, I lo- you lose a lot of weight though. That's the thing. That's yeah. that's what's so entrapping about it. Yeah, because I that was that was up until now that was how I lost weight, and I'm trying to lose weight in a better, healthier way. I um, dropped like 250 pounds in <clears throat> uh, two years. Yep. So it was it was a good a good run. Then I that's gained fast. a bunch of it back. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, after the internet okay. turned on me when Onision molested me live on camera and the internet turned on me. I blame it on the internet. <laughs> you can't blame it on Onision. I mean, he, no. he, he be I, 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 I set myself up for that. I thought I was doing the internet a favor by catching a predator in action on camera. But the internet just wanted to mock me. You can't do cruel, that. Cruel, evil people. <laughs> you know what? The internet is the real Onision's. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> the internet are the real Onisians. My question I'm doing I'm I'm doing your guys' job for you. My question yeah. is when are we gonna get this other twenty five? Yes. So I can take another there shot. We go. For real. What the hell? Let's guys? do are it. We finish, are we gonna finish off this bottle or what? Yeah, yeah. On the table, do it. guys. Come on. The, All it takes is baby guys? steps, too. You know, like a, a bunch of people just give a little bit and it all adds up. A little, yeah, yeah. a little train. Let's keep yeah. it rolling, Choo-choo. you know? <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. No, I, but I, I, I mean, I was, you know, when I was in high school, I was like 300 pounds. I was like 16. I was like 5'11 or whatever. So, like, I always lost weight and then like move back so i did keto a lot like i was like a big keto guy and then uh like recently i started to realize like it's just not sustainable so i'm trying to i'm trying to work out and do do boxing and stuff and lose the weight in a responsible way you know sustainable way you remember i started losing weight and then and then i started realizing girls will fuck me no matter how much i weigh that's true that really that threw me off that threw me off it literally doesn't ruined everything. <laughs> ruined yeah. everything. We used to get meat drunk. Like we would go to these all-you-can-eat <laughs> Brazilian steakhouses where they just keep bringing you the meat, and they saw off like a big slice of it on your plate. And about halfway through, we would actually feel drunk from the meat. Yeah. Oh, it was nuts. Yeah. Yeah. The meat sweats. Yeah. The meat. The meat drunk. Yeah. Meat sweats. Yeah, you get the meat sweats. Oops. It's just my body telling me to stop. Why would I listen? <laughs> yeah. this, uh, uh, all I can say is this whole thing has just made me hungry. The whole second <laughs> half of this thing has just made me hungry. I just want to eat. Yeah, right? Starve. No. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what I could actually eat. I'm, 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 I'm on this low-sodium diet, so I, I have to count all my, my salt intake. I go, yeah. to Chip- I go to Chipotle all the time. I used to go to Chipotle and get salads when I was on keto. I would eat Chipotle every day. And now when I go, I order two kids meals. And, yeah. and, I, and I put them together at my table eating kids meal tacos because it's the, that, it's the limitation of sodium. It doesn't make sense for me to get a, a real adult meal with the <laughs> minimum amount of stuff I can have. Fucking that's sucks. the way, <laughs> that's the way to go though that's the hack like i had a girl it is I, I, I had an ex that worked there and she would she always told me get the kids meals because it comes with like the same amount or whatever but you get the tortillas and shit yeah that's yeah. that's the that's the chipotle hack that nobody's it's, on it's kind of kids it's, meals it's kind of lit i get two kids meals and i make a taco bar out of them <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh yeah yeah i just eat uh I don't know. I make like I I make like meal prep and then I'll eat like like 
plain chicken and broccoli like two days of the week and then i'll just be like all right i want buffalo wild wings and then i order buffalo wild wings and then i eat that so yeah i I just bought a new air fryer so i could uh cook chicken and broccoli on the regular (laughs) the low sodium thing makes it very hard to go out to eat places yeah everybody puts salt in their shit so it's like i'm just gonna start air frying chicken and asparagus or broccoli or brussels sprouts or something yeah, air fryers are goaded, to be honest. Yeah, they're they're, su- they're surprising. I cooked a, a steak in in it the other night, and it was like really, it was it it, it could have been it was maybe a little too done, but it was very crispy on the outside and everything, so it worked yeah. out really well. It was just a little too cooked for my taste. I would like yeah. it a little more rare, so I'll, I'll I'll fuck with that and get the 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 heat right. Yeah, I wanted, I I wanted to make the Cobes double down, uh, for the doc. I that that was an idea I had was like, let's make the Cobes double down at, in my way, and then like show that after the cooking video. <laughs> um, I wanted to do that, but I never ended up doing that. But yeah, that would have been it. Would have been good. It would have been good. Yeah, if, uh, if you guys would have got a rapport where you could be a little competitive and mm-hmm. and have like. Have some more fun with it, and like, we can be, I'm gonna do my double down. You're gonna do your double down, and we're gonna get Darth Linney out to taste test. Oh, <laughs> like that yeah. would have been that would have been fun. <laughs> He's like the judge. Yeah, yeah, because because I think like Darth Darth has that Casper palate. We've seen him eat Cobes foods before, and he he and he I I don't know if he's enjoying it. I think he is. But he he's never he's never been bad about it. He's like, mmm, this this boiled butter boiled steak is great. <laughs> I can't like th- that's the thing like okay the the other guy that filmed for me he he got a bigger bite than I did you see <laughs> you see that in the doc he got he got a lot of bacon in there and stuff um he might have different to say but in my opinion it wasn't terrible because there was n- no flavor like it, w- it all the flavor was just cooked out you oh know? really well well because you you got to think like so he cooks the bacon, he cooks the chicken, uh, and then he takes he, he bakes the chicken, and then he boils the chicken in what what he calls deep fried. Yeah. Uh, he boils it in beer and all that stuff. So he boils <laughs> it again, and then he bakes it again to melt the chicken on top. Yeah, like there there's just no there. It's been cooked so many times. It's just this dry kind of, you know, thing. Th- there's really no flavor. Like, it, 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 the bacon was the thing that had the most flavor, for sure. Like, that, the bacon yeah. cooked in beer and Cajun seasoning, that, that had the most flavor. But everything else, it was just cooked and cooked and cooked and cooked. So Yeah, I, didn't, I wouldn't think of it that way. In my mind, I would think because of all the stuff he puts in it, that it would just be like... A, a a graveyard of flavor like it would just be yeah. a, a muck a swamp of, of flavor yeah but, um the idea that it gets cooked out is i hadn't thought of it that way before yeah it's just so dry there's like no n- nothing really comes through through the only flavor that comes through is like bud light that's it it, uh-huh. it tasted like it tasted like bud light vaguely yeah, but, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to cook in beer. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe like some bratwurst or something. I did try Bud Light Platinum. Uh, the platy. Post, yeah, <laughs> post the doc because the day I announced the release date on Twitter, I was having like a fire in my backyard. So I was like, you know what? I'll grab a, a six pack, twelve pack of Bud Light Platinum and a pack of uh, Marlboro NXTs. <laughs> and I'll, I'll do a little picture, you know, and I'll drink these these uh, Bud Light Platinums at the fire. And um, I had I had a couple sips of one and I was like, this is disgusting. I'm not going to drink this. <laughs> and we ended up uh, at the end of the night um, when the fire needed to go out. We poured the Bud Light Platinum on the fire to put it out <laughs> and it smelled like the smell brought me back to Casper. Like it, it transported me back to the burning Bud Light in Josh's apartment. And it was like, that's the smell. That's did it, the smell. Did it make you think of Dylan Mulvaney too? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> made me think of Dylan Mulvaney. It <laughs> made me think of uh, Clint's old school car. It made me think of Johnny Cash, yep. Elvis Presley, everything. It all, Cutie, it all came flooding cuties. back. Cuties? <laughs> <laughs> he did not watch Cuties. He talks <laughs> about it a lot. For the records. Josh Mayo. You know, Dylan Mulvaney probably watched Cuties. Oh, my God. It's possible. But, like, Budweiser might have watched Cuties. I don't know. Kid Rock might have watched Cuties. Kid Rock. <laughs> I was just showing somebody that his, his uh, album today. Which Bad. album? I think it was... Uh... Bad reputation, is that what it's called? Huh. His his like his like newest one. Oh uh new newer ish one. I think it came out in twenty twenty two. Um just terrible auto tune. The- I didn't even know that he put out any new music. <laughs> it makes sense. The he yeah, sells out uh, stuff all the time. The first yeah, time bad, bad reputation. The yeah. first time I had ever heard of Kid Rock was at a festival. It it was like in the late nineties. It was the Warp Tour, the Warp uh, like in the late '90s, and oh, it shit. was in Detroit because I lived in Ohio at the time, and Detroit was the closest one. And there was a band everyone wanted to see that was on after Kid Rock, so the whole audience was just chanting "Fuck Kid Rock, Fuck Kid Rock," <laughs> and it was supposedly in his hometown too. And he just Damn. like just people just booed him the whole time until he went away. Damn. Yep. Yeah, he's he's pretty rough. Yeah, that that new album uh, that he released was like, it was it was like notoriously rough. Like he has crazy auto tune on it, and it, it it's like the auto tune is so bad that it's like cutting out. The auto tune is like cutting out at certain points in the song, and like you can hear the mistakes in the song. It's it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Hmm. Yeah, and it, it's also like an anti mask like anti-vaxxer album <laughs> <that whole. laughs> right like, on time genre yeah yeah you know. well what were you gonna say billy sorry we're sitting at 65.63 percent of the way to the goal we're literally at the the two-thirds mark we started at the one-third mark we, yeah we we got it we got to get something pumping here we need what that last do? third gotta, yeah, we we got liquor in the bottle still. Ben, ben shake that bottle. I know oh, you got shit. some. You got some left. Shake yeah, that healthy got, bottle. Yeah, like, shake that. Uh, shake that bottle. You got you got some left. I got some, I got some shoju. Uh, somebody somebody put a twenty five in the bin so we can get this liquor flowing again. There we, there go. we go. Seth looks. There we go. Side is hey, Seth looks. Me. Everyone needs to step up. Follow the example of Seth Looks. Yes. <laughs> Seth Looks is one of our top donors, and he's tapping out for the night. So we need some yeah, other he's people. Like, step up, bro. Yeah. There, there's a little. Yeah, I'll pour the rest. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, there you go. I was Thank watch- you for the drink, Seth looks. I was watching this thing uh, where Shit, Cobra was trying his food hack. What up, YouTube? So here's the sandwich in question. I did a video of me trying the sandwich after the first couple of bites. And then I tried to post it on my YouTube but the footage just got lost somehow. So it is what it is. Can we get an explanation of what's in it? I see Wait, a burger no, in there. Starters, what is, what, which one is this? This is the most recent one. Is, oh, this is the shrimp shrimp burger, I think. Shrimp. That's that's what the pink was then. Yeah, I think this, this is, is shrimp. shrimp. I like to shrimp. say that my simp shrimp bacon cheeseburger simp that I have simp created shrimp. on my YouTube channel is simply delicious. Shrimply delicious. It was not letting me save the files for my video, 
So it hey, is. Oh, it drunk is mechanic Raymond. To... Just got back from walking around drinking beers with my dad at the local swap meet. Hell Love yeah, you, sweet based. boys. Based. All right, so Sounds we're getting like closer. He might be your dad's favorite son. Yeah, maybe. Twenty-five dollars away from another drink, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to start pitching in bucker chuckers, it gets us gets us liquefied. Wait. This burger, by the way, has bacon, shrimp, cheddar, uh, beef. So it's a surf and turf, right? Yeah, similar. Yeah. Did the shrimp come out of like a can or something? I don't remember. Hmm. It looked um, like it might be canned shrimp just because of the level of pink in it. But Research it could just be cooked well. Um do you think he did it some to the bun, like a, a like French toasted the bun or something? It looks like it has a French fry to it, a French a toaster. A French it was toaster. like one of those packs of shrimp that you buy at the store. That's like okay, a margarita shrimp or whatever they call that. Okay. Yeah. Boy, howdy, was it pissing me off? But I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna let it get to me. It just isn't worth it. He cooked the bread and the grease from the burger and bacon. That makes sense. It right looks like there it's got on the back. back. Fry to it. See the sauces. He's got mayo and ketchup in there, I There's think. That That's shrimp. probably what I'm seeing. The pink the pink was the mayo and ketchup, not the maybe it is the shrimp. It could yeah, be the awesome. uh like the ma- like uh what what's the sauce they use with, with shrimp? Margarita Co- cocktail sauce. Co- cocktail, cocktail sauce, sauce. Yeah. okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Shrimp action right there. A little surf and turf simp shrimp <laughs> bacon burger. There's the shrimp right there, as you can see. I'm so hungry yeah. right now. This is looking good. I'm going <laughs> to have to give the uh, simp shrimp bacon cheeseburger the uh, Cobra seal of approval. And goddamn, I'm not just saying that because I made it. The flavors on this are really fucking nice. Okay, you... so I say I pick Cobra up in a limousine, right? What if instead of a limousine, I pick Cobra up in a food truck? Oh. And, and he cooks all the way to, to fucking the fish tank. And, and we get our gas money because he's got to cook people food. You're just and stopping. Then, stopping at every yeah. major city. Yeah. And, and, and because we won't have a food handler permit... <laughs> He's, we got to give it away for free, and all the money we get has to be tips. So <laughs> we'll be stuck. There we go. Higgstrand. Hell Next yeah. level, new drink. Motherfucker. Time right. for another yeah. drink. Wait, wait, drink, I, have drink. To, I have to go get, I have to go get uh, some shoji. I'll be right back. All right. All right. This puts us at uh, 75% of the way to our goal. We are just a tickle and a pickle away a pickle. from... Uh, being done, 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 done with our goal. out and eat that. See, Seth looks. Now we're rocking, and it's all because you gave us that little push. Yeah, we needed that little Thank you boost. For that little push. And then, like sometimes people don't show up until later. You know, like they just started watching, and they're like, "Oh, I got a couple bucks. Here you go." Yeah, that's you know that happens sometimes. As far as this concoction, this Cobra Craft food item goes, I'm saying this is this is edible. I will say it's in the I I probably wouldn't put shrimp on a burger, but that's just like personal preference. But yeah, this looks better than a lot of the other stuff. It, it is. I, I should have watched the I've actual had, cooking. I've had shrimp on a burger before. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the cooking is, I like want to see there, how there the might be patty some stuff in there that I don't I don't mesh with. Okay. But uh, I've had shrimp on a burger before. It's not so bad. I didn't I didn't feel right uh, promising people shots. Um. And doing so showed you so okay. There was a bottle of vodka, oh, yeah. vodka in my freezer. Cheers. So yeah. I, I felt like that's that's you know delivers on the promise a little bit. So. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Cheers. 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 People are saying it's coconut shrimp. Oh fuck. I think if it was coconut oh. shrimp, I would not want cheddar on my burger. I think I would want a white cheese, like Swiss, and a coconut shrimp. That's maybe wild. a Swiss, maybe uh, maybe like a Monterey Jack. A Monterey Jack, a melting Monterey Jack melts well. Something white, I think. Uh, maybe a provolone, even. Maybe even a mozzarella. People are saying know. it's cocktail Colby shrimp. Jack. Colby Jack. Colby Jack. 
Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, because it it's was a, cocktail shrimp. Yeah, well, people are saying that. I don't. I didn't watch the cooking video. I'm also interested in how the burger patty was cooked. It looks kind of gray. Like, did he? I think it's just well done, right? Okay. A lot of stuff in his like in liquids, right? So it's that boiled. It's the the gray. Yeah, it's it's a little it's a little boiled. It, it it was like cocktail shrimp for sure. Okay. It was that um that like pack of cocktail shrimp that you buy. Okay. Okay. Um, the ring. Yeah, yeah, the ring. Yeah. Um, I don't know how. You the think he took the tails spread. off of them Dude. before he put them in the burger? <laughs> I I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't venture that far. But I know a lot of people that like eating the tails. Hawkeye says he did take off the tails. Okay, cool. Okay. I have you eaten the, the tails. Shrimp right there, the little shrimp cross section. Is there a tomato in there, or is that? Oh uh, no way! Saying? There's a tomato in there. No way. <laughs> I lost a the veggie. footage of me trying it originally. So I'll have to re-record the trying it part. <laughs> Where's the killing? King Cobra fam. I would remake Where's this the killing? burger again. He would make it again. That's a, that's good. That's I, he he likes it. He's getting close to holding it like an apple. He's getting closer close. and closer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got pinkies out. He's classy. <laughs> Toasting the bread first before assembling the rest of the sandwich via cooking and everything else was definitely the way to go. Got that genius you know, toast. Cook your sandwich bread and the grease of your sandwich to get a good flavor on your bread. It does work. However, you want the risk of burning the grease into your bread. So it looks a little... Uh, it, it's, it's got a bit of a char to it. it. And that's good. I actually like charred bread, like if I want my bread toasted, you know. Yeah, toasting uh, your, your burger bun is, uh, is a pro move. It's not always the move. If I'm grilling, I, I like I like a fresh bun, a fresh bun, uh, with my my food sometimes. But I I, I can go either way. They if, both have their advantages. If I'm grilling with charcoal, I always toast the bun on the grill. It it's so I, quick. I, I like a nice uh, a nice crispy bun. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Jeff hey. Holiday's in the chat. They oh, say. here Where he is. Oh, my brother. There we see. I'll, Jeff, if you want to is come that really on. him? I don't think that's really I him. I don't know. It doesn't. I thought Jeff was a mod in our chat. Yeah. Is it? Someone oh, it's, fucking with it's, us? it's like his other channel or something. Oh, so it is Jeff. It is. It is Jeff. I think it's him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, he, okay. switched, he is a mod. Okay. He switched channels. Jeff, if you want to come on and uh, yeah. confront your favorite son. Confront me. He brother. said he wished you were here. When you show we're okay up. with that. Yeah. I did say I wish you were here. Let's go, brother. Gra grab a bottle. Yeah, grab a bottle. Join the fun. <laughs> we, uh, we got this much left of the bottle. Yeah. Y'all better be donating. Donating <laughs> money. Yeah, we're 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 over three quarters of the way to the goal, so we'll get there. This is a this is the last stretch. We usually have someone come in and put us out of our misery about this yeah. in the next hour or so. Yeah. They say they say, Jesus Christ, go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> Jeff is cooking five. fish sticks. Five minutes. Oh, give him five. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is he making a, 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 a surf and turf burger too to come to, in solidarity with King Dude, Cody? He he better make me something. I'm fucking starving right now, bro. What are you a mind gay for fish? Lee, mind for least thinks Jeff should come in too. There you go. I'm gonna got, throw some DoorDash at this point. Yeah, you, you get it in if you if you still got someone delivering, get it in now. What do you what do you in. what do you recommend, Billy? Um, what's your best DoorDash order? Not Seattle local. Yeah, I have like, to think. Um, yeah, like chains. What what would what would maybe be? 
Because I don't know if I don't know. We don't have a lot of good chains out here. No, not really in the Northwest. So uh, I, I think is there like oh, a you guys, Ruby you guys, Tuesdays or something out there? No, that you, you guys or, don't have sheets. You guys don't no. have sheets. Do you? Oh no, sheets. I know about sheets though. Yeah, go to sheets. Look at make make a make a cobra concoction with some sheets <laughs> bullshit. Okay. Like get get like if they have like a, a deal. Like I remember once. Remember, I remember they had two for one hot dogs at Sheets one time. Dude, they do. My, uh, I'll be honest with you. My dad, my dad. That's what my dad eats for lunch every day. <laughs> like I'll be honest, my dad eats. They're they're literally. It's a dollar. It's a dollar yeah. for two hot dogs. Yeah, my dad eats that every day. Like one hundred percent. Like he. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what he. Go, eats, go to Sheets. On. Let us let us know the Sheets menu that you're looking at. And we'll see if we can't make a, a concoction. All right, we got we got we got traditional bun, sliced sourdough croissant, bagel, waffle. Okay, waffle burger. Waffle burger. Okay. Can we do a waffle burger, yeah, and then do a is, is, there, burger. is and there then, like a wait cheese, American okay. cheese, cheddar, pepper jack, provolone, Swiss, nacho, shredded. Provolone and nacho. Can you do both? I don't. Uh, I might be, I'm, I might be able to do. Oh wait, I can. Yeah, yeah. Provolone and nacho. Yeah, I can do both. Because that's that's wild. That's a Cobes concoction right there. Because provolone, is, yeah. provolone is the calm. It's the su- subtle, and the nacho <laughs> is going to be the disaster. Yeah, it's going to be where it starts. To, it's it's, it's going to be where shit yeah. starts to get a little messy. Okay, and then spreads. We got ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, marinara, barbecue sauce, Dr. Pepper barbecue, boom boom sauce, buffalo sauce, fire roasted tomato, habanero, honey mustard ranch, jalapeno ranch, Nashville hot. Is it wrong to just go Dr. Pepper barbecue and that's it? I mean, it's not wrong. You, it's you, gonna, I, it's I'm letting mix you with the, determine this. It's going to mix with the nacho, right? So it's going to have a contrast. That's true. So, so it's like true. with with the nacho already in there, I'm like, do we want to? But it's Dr Pepper barbecue, man. You 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 gotta let it subsist on its own. Because it's a waffle um, bun, right? It's a waffle bun. Yeah, it's a waffle bun. So we're gonna we're gonna hit this nacho and this Dr Pepper. It's gonna get fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. So we have to we have to have something you, else that ties everything together. You live uh, vicariously through me. That's yes. what I want you to do right yes. now. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Choose your toppings. All right. All Shredded right. lettuce, tomatoes, guacamole, pico, onion, caramelized onions, pickles, pepper rings, banana peppers, onions. Okay. Guac and onions. Okay. Guac and caramelized and, onions. And the caramelized onions. Yeah. Okay. This, the guac is now tying us back in with the nacho. That's true. <laughs> yeah, and, we're coming back. And, and 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 what's weird is going to be the the Dr Pepper barbecue sauce is going to tie in with the sweetness of the waffle. That's true. That's true. So we're we're now we're now contrasting here. We're You're contrasting on every cook. level. Let them cook. Um, we also got pickles, mild pepper rings, red onions, cooked onions and peppers, cooked peppers, diced onions, jalapenos, steak, chili. Relish, sour cream, salsa, black olives. Okay, sour cream. Okay, sour uh, cream. Sour cream and um, chili. Chili. <laughs> Damn. I crazy. almost, I almost feel like we should take the Dr Pepper barbecue off, but we can't. We can't. Yeah, we we can't. We can't. We, we can't. Yeah, we can't. Okay, sides, sides and abs. Okay, so that, that's, fries, that's 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 fries, the burger, mac right? And bites. Yeah, that, mac and the cheese bites. Yeah, mac and cheese bites. Mac and cheese bites. Okay, mac and cheese bites. They're they're goaded. They're they're honestly goaded. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, <laughs> that's the burger. That's done. We'll be getting oh that God. shortly. I will say I have had sheets is like a north northeastern thing. I think most people know that, but like I have had. S- like ungodly experiences at sheets i've gone there at like 3 3 a.m yeah. and do I, I like my most recent experience at sheets i went there at like 2 p.m 3 3 or 2 a.m 3 a.m and i almost got into a fight with a guy because he was just like he was like fucking with us <laughs> And he was like, not like he was, he would not let up. And like, I was like, dude, what the fuck? 
let me be like leave us the fuck alone like get back to your own thing and like it, it's bad like sheets she you do not want to go to sheets past like midnight like it's bad it's oh bad. The, when i was at sheets in pennsylvania we yeah. were there at like 2 a.m and we were the only people there and it was me and Joe, and we were on the RV trip that we were that we were going across America live streaming. And we yeah. still we still got in a fight with the fucking machine. Yeah, because it, it was a machine ordering. There was no human <laughs> beings there. Yeah, we got in a fight with the fucking machine, and then all of a sudden we see a hand come out of the wall and leave our food. And it's yeah. like, get out of here, get out yeah. of here. No <laughs> matter what, what? <laughs> no matter what, you do not want to be at sheets. You do test, not want to be at test. sheets. Jeff, oh, what's shit. up? Jeff. Real quick, real quick before we go in, uh, this, this burger, this burger is called the 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 Gideo Game Barbecue Burger. <laughs> it's the Triple G, the Gideo Game Barbecue Burger. Damn, we'll get Jeff on. We'll get Jeff on here in a second. Yeah. Wait, can I can can I go get like a bev real quick? I'll be right back. Sure. Yeah, go get a bev. Jeff gets on. Okay. Now, we'll have we'll get have a, some warm a, up here with Jeff. Get a bev. You gotta I get have a bev, some warm man. up here with Jeff. I've been to Sheets in Cleveland. They have Sheets in Cleveland, and that was like the closest ones to me. But like the way the way he was describing sheets is almost like when you go to uh, when you go to Waffle House like really early in the morning and shit. Sheets is up. a gas station cuisine. Yeah. yeah. So so it's like it's a truck stop type feel, but it's it's more of a corporate truck stop. And when I was there, you had to order off of a screen, and there was nobody to talk to. There was no human being other than the hand that comes out of the wall that leaves your bag on the counter and tells you to get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. That's that's pretty fair. It's pretty fair. And we just Get ordered the, a Gideo game barbecue burger from Sheets. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fucking degenerates. Your fucking pieces are shit. Your fucking scumbags. Piece of All shit. Right. I'm back. So Jeff Bastards. Jeff, real Jeffy. quick. Jeffy's here. Your fa your favorite son just ordered a a, a barbecue burger. I did. Barbecue. Yeah. What's a, what's a uh, barbecue burger? Well, Bill, Billy uh, instructed me, and then we ordered. We kind of collaborated. We yeah. collabed on a burg. Um, Gay me, burg. <laughs> Gay. It's, like, it's half. Um. It's, it's half sweet and savory. It's half sweet and savory and half. What is it? What is it? What is it? What, 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 what does this what, entail? Well, uh, well, I'll tell you. Just hold on, brother. I'm very, listen, I'm very okay. aggressive. I'm like, I don't like there's your, a big I'm like your favorite listen I Wait, we got a donut. I get I get that. You're, 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 you're my favorite son. Oh, wait, wait, your, wait, 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 I'm, wait, I'm wait, your Jeff. favorite dad. I'm very authoritarian. <laughs> I love you, dad, but wait, there was a <laughs> oh, dono and they said there's a big d debate here in PA about sure. Sheets and Wawa. Sheets okay. is goaded for the dono. Sheets is goaded. It's the yeah. best. It's better wait, than Wawa. They, was that another shot? Uh, uh, not no. not quite yet. No, uh, six fifty will be the we next. We got forty shot more. Level. Forty more to go. Oh, yeah. I thought, wait, I thought wait, it was are, over. I thought it was are, over six hundred. Was it? No, I, you, we, you, are we you, doing you did the vodka off that. streams? Did we're, you were shooting at, at fifty? Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I, like yeah. I've I've got some shit we can we can shoot. Like what's what's the rules here? Like I'll I'll help DP fam get some fucking at every fifty dollar level. We're all doing shots. We're thirty. We're thirty nine dollars and forty seven cents away Fuck, from how shots. How am I supposed to stay out of that? So every fifty <laughs> shots. Well, Jeff, okay. Jeff, so who's your, who's for, your buddy I here mean, with you? Who, who's so this? I can't see him this, in the background. This is uh, this is producer Matt. Matt. Matt oh yeah. Matt is doing Matt. his own. What's up, DP? Matt. Matt has been to Cobra's pad too. Oh, I, nice. I, I actually oh, yeah. I helped I helped Cobra produce his uh his walkthrough video his cribs yeah oh the, the, shit the MTV cribs yeah I'm yeah. the I'm the cameraman that that nobody on Reddit could figure out who it was this is yeah. lore. <laughs> this is lore this is big lore yeah, yeah big yeah. lore yeah uh, okay. he doesn't he doesn't do shots though so I, like you he, know what I he's, will... he's only gonna smoke the finest CBD shatter <laughs> you know yeah. he's ge he's geared up well, on the fucking CBD that, that was only when we had to worry about me taking your bike out later but um I I think for DP I'd be willing to do some shots yes okay. really oh, yeah, yes. I so never got... fucking drink I never let's go drink. Oh, we oh, gotta get snap. the six fifty. 
Billy's the only one who's snap. Billy's the only one who's medically cleared not to do a shot right uh, now. Yeah. Nah, that's, <laughs> the that's he's the medic- moderator. I, guess I can't we we can't get on you for medical stuff. Listen, but, yeah. my 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 bro, my love, my eternal fucking life mate, Billy. Uh, I will do all the shots for you. It's Thank totally you, fine. Thank I you, love you so much. So this this barbecue burger that we ordered is oh, um, yeah, yeah. okay okay I, I got it. It's a uh, it's a waffle burger, so the bun is a waffle. Waffle bun. It's toasted. Got provolone cheese and nacho cheese. This is where Dr. It Dr. Pepper. Fucked. This Wait is sounding like some Dr. Cokes Pepper ordered. It is. Yes. Oh, that's, that's the point. Okay, that's the Dr. Theme, right. Pepper barbecue sauce, guacamole. Um, there we go. Let's go, Danny's. It's got oh, guacamole. Shot it's got time. grilled. It's got, go grilled it's got grilled onions. Grilled onions. Grilled onions. It's got um, sour cream. It's it's got uh, beyond the sour cream. It's got uh, what was the last thing I'm trying to think of? There's a few there's a few little accoutrements, but it's you're, it's gonna be fucking wet, dude. You're doing it will be so wet. proud there. Yeah, that's like the sauce sandwich. This thing is gonna be wet. I feel like you're at an advantage because you didn't have to be doing the the shots leading up to this. <laughs> oh, well. It's unfair. You, I feel like I, you should I, have to do like two or three. Considering I, he never drinks, this is this yeah. might this be. Is, the I, yeah, I was gonna say this is gonna be the equivalent of two or three for me. So okay, that's all right. But, but, my, but that your, order your is coming. Son, that's all. That's all. I, I wanted to ask uh, when. So you said in your documentary that you went to Casper in December. Is that correct? Wait, can we can we do the shot first? Yeah. Well, Jeff's still getting Jeff's getting the bottle for us. Yeah, yeah. They're setting so it it's up. Gonna be well, just a I'm, second. Gonna, I'm gonna do my shot real I'll quick. I'll do one too. Then sure. I'll do another one when Jeff gets back. Yeah. All right, here we go. There you go. Cheers, Cheers brother. Ayo. Oh, dude, that fucking vodka is nasty. <laughs> oh man. Bruh. Bruh, it's fucking I don't think gross. what we're going to be drinking is going to be anything better. It looks like fucking victory gin. What are you guys? Yeah, what are you guys having? What is that? Oh, it's Pirate. Oh, my God. It's Pirate Bay 90 proof rum. Holy shit. Oh, that's going to hit you I'm hard. I'm currently the, the I started least... out with tin cup, and then that uh, that went down to here. I'm, now, I'm, uh, I'm currently the least connected person to King Cobra on this stream. <laughs> that's yeah, true. I, you are. And then I, now I have uh, Stolichnia vanilla oh. vodka. It was in my freezer. I don't know why. Jeff owns a wand. Like that's he does have a Cobra got, Quaft, craft wand. Yeah, I, 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 I went Cobra to Casper. Quaft. I went to Casper and, and <laughs> Cobra Quaft. One of my goals was bring a bring a wand back for Jeff. <laughs> it's up on the. It was sitting on your desk right there. Yeah, 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 no. I got a, I got a Cobra Craft wand right here. Yeah. It's uh, purple and red. It's amazing. A, Avada Kedavra, that kind of shit. So, uh, fantastic. Something that Jeff's viewers know, but I guess I could uh, plug here. So Jeff and I work for a motorcycle tour company, and uh, I'm going on tour a week from today. Our tour goes through Casper. Yep. And uh, my boss has already agreed to uh, pay to take Cobes out to dinner with us in the group. And the great thing about this is uh, our, our group, we fly people in from the UK. So it's all going to be a bunch of people from England. So he gets to be around his relatives, you know, like his, his cousins people. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are his Identify people. as an that's American blood. English, you know, no big deal for real. So yeah. that's, that's, that's going to be Cobes Court. You guys are having yeah. Cobes Court. His blood, yeah. bro. Yeah. So I talked to him. I talked to him a couple, like a week, maybe a couple weeks ago about it. I've got to uh, get the details from my boss still, so that I can lock everything in. Because you really got to let that guy know ahead of time, and then like let him know again, and you know, yeah, make that's sure that he great. remembers. It's uh, it's hard to work with COVID schedule. That's for sure. Right. <laughs> uh, so so my my main thing is the the main reason why I wanted to come on and why I wanted to talk to you, your favorite son, yeah. is. Uh, your effort and your your cinematography, the way that you you shot it, that you edited it, even like with some of the the gaffes and the fuck ups and and what I'm like you as a filmmaker, like you you see those things, like it's cool. Uh, really good effort, really good fucking effort. But the thing that really makes me mad and that that really took me out of it. You put yourself too much into the fucking documentary, and it made me pissed it made me mad dude it totally took me out of it 
Because, like, the thing is, nobody needs help in uh-huh. showing how Cobes is, right? Like, Cobes is is a he's a fucking freight train, right? He's he's a yeah. he's going off the rails in the crazy train. You know what I'm saying? Like the dude's a fucking nightmare. He absolutely is just doing his own shit. And there's just these these moments cuz like the documentary what you did it's really good. It's mm. good. It's really good. 90% of it is really good. But there's just these little fucking moments, these little fucking, and I'm not saying like, I'm not, I'm not saying like you, you should feel bad and fix it or some shit, like fuck it, whatever. But if you're gonna do another documentary, there are these little moments where you just kind of put yourself into it, and you just do this like, hint, hint, wink, wink, nod, nod. You know what I'm saying? Uh, towards the audience that just like colors the documentary like mean I, towards Cobes. And the thing is, is like w- when he made the, the response video to the documentary, all of the, the points that he, well, not all of them, but like a, the majority of the points that he was bringing up, I kind of agreed with him. It just felt mean and it, it felt, it, and I don't think that necessarily that was like what your motivation was necessarily, but like that hint, hint, nod, nod, nudge, nudge into like the internet sphere took it away from a documentary and it made it more just like a shit posting video. And I, I, I got really mad about it because you put so much effort into it and it was really well done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think um, so. Uh, previous to you being on here. I I said I wanted you to be on here, right? Like I, sure. I was like, I was like, I wanted you to be on here because I I saw your clip like talking about the doc and shit, yeah. And um, I respect your um perspective, like I respect your opinion. I appreciate like, that. Yeah, yeah. It, it it's really respectable. Like um. I feel like a lot of people uh, don't have that. Uh, they don't. They don't have that perspective. Like, y- 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 you have a very honest opinion, and I respect that. And um, but like I said before, in in the podcast, like, um, like the the worst case scenario is that yeah. this could have been n- nobody could have viewed this nobody could have viewed this and um we we would not have had any feedback that's better than people looking at it and hating it that's because a really, that's, that's a, yeah that's a really mature way to look at it yeah it's very true yeah I, yeah. I, I I get that. I, I think my only uh, critique is that it really seemed like you framed it in a way like it, it it's very clear in your documentary that you're involved in the lore. You know, that yeah. you that you know about Cobes, you know about the subreddit, you know about like all of the lore and the things behind that. And I'm not sure that like a documentary about Cobes necessarily needs like, like it's really hard to if, if you're involved in all of that it's really hard to come at it from an unbiased well you know opinion. what's you know what's an interesting place. question though like like honestly like a like an honest open legit question is so we all are involved <laughs> in the cobraverse right mm-hmm. right like we're all cobra bros we're all cobros we love mm-hmm. cobra well, I mean, he's yeah. been on Drunken Peasants. Uh, you know, people have been. Well, has he been on Dr- Drunken Peasants, or he's been in the chat? Sort of. Uh, yeah, 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 sort of. And, and, like, and, and so, but then has been on the, the show. The thing with is, him like, and... if you're gonna make a documentary about Cobra, the question is, are you making a documentary about Cobra just for the like, in the no crowd, or are you making like a documentary to bring him into more people's eyes? Which I would argue. Uh, your favorite son, uh, because of the the the, the very good. Uh, like there's there are obviously some like editing fuck ups and shit like that because like I'm an editor and I 
the hyper focus on shit like that. Yeah. But for the most part, ninety percent, ninety five percent probably of your documentary is shot so fucking good. It's Thank really, you. re yeah. You're welcome. Uh, it, it's like it's really good to like introduce people outside of the Cobraverse into who Cobra is, yes. and I think that's good. I think that's good. Um, but there is still. I just you, the main thing that I want, uh, because like I'm I'm a curator of wing nuts. I love wing nuts. I love people that are like absolutely bizarre. They live on like the fringes of fucking reality. They're super weird. They do their own thing. They don't give a fuck about what reality says. They don't care about like consensual like like but like modern polite. Uh, regular society, they just do their own shit. I love that. I fucking love that. I, I'm like a David Attenborough with this shit. Like, behold, the piss drinker. You know, like I'm into that shit. Like I'm yeah. super into it. Um, so it's cool to like uh, to to have it like how you made it. That might be able to bring more random ass people who would never see it otherwise into the Cobraverse. Um, yeah. I would go on to say that you've also barely really only scratched the surface and that if, you know, there was some collaboration that there is definitely a possibility for a part two that's an even better follow up. Well, I, I mean, I, I so like I like I said earlier, I've been to Casper. I've met Cobes. I've wanted to be able to go back and be able to interview Clint and Stephanie oh, and oh, Cool God. Taste and like and actually get like sit down interviews with with Cobes and do like an actual real documentary. I haven't had the chance to yet, but it's, it's something that like I've talked to Jeff about and, um, you know, at one time, like, you know, Jeff, Ben and I were all trying to get him to Seattle that he kind of bailed out on in his own after he, you know, he was like, yeah, let's do that. And then he was like, Oh, you know, kind of thought about it and happened to leave Casper and, you know, leave his comfort zone and everything. And yeah. Um, but I, I, I think that I think that the opportunity for more is there. But in my opinion, it would be better to frame it like more as a like, look, this is, you know, all you have to do is show what's going on, you know, sit down, like, like have no bias direction on where it goes or anything like that. And again, I don't really I don't really think that your your bias was intentional at all. Like I said, it just it just comes from being involved in the lore and knowing knowing all of the the fine stuff that most people don't know about Cobes unless you've watched hours and hours of his content so um yeah i, I think i agree but um i don't know i think uh i think i deli- i i think i my my purpose was to try and deliver a good um like middle ground you know yeah i just i i wish and and like you know whether i do it or somebody else does it or something like that that they're like a ken burns real documentary style comes out where people actually sit down with other people because uh was it bite size that released like the origin story yeah it was really yeah it it, it was you know it was basically just information that was available to you know search on the internet and stuff and like i think that that there is the potential for somebody to go to casper and really get like you know a a a a gritty telling of the of, of the the cobra story i think that this entire documentary once you look at it as it's not a cobra documentary it's a it's a your favorite son video featuring king cobra like yes. that's 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 when you kind of have to let sure. go of the idea that it's 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 a king cobra documentary right directly. it's not a documentary yes. yeah. And, yeah. And, and i think that that's that's also a problem too is that like any time that there is long form content on cobes it's just automatically labeled a documentary yes. like, oh, yeah oh this hasn't this yeah. has information and, and, and it's that's, a documentary. And that's that's because to be honest, like the trailer for it, um, it very much made it feel like we were about to get some supreme King Cobra like content like a documentary yeah. or something. Like like that 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 video of the I hurt myself today. It yeah. just played out yeah. in a way that's like, oh, this is about to be a real look into this man's life. And uh we we get these Based off that trailer, we get these ideas of what we want it to be. 
And then, you know, if, if you're a, if you're a fan of your favorite son, you're getting a, your favorite son video with this interesting fellow, you know, yeah. and, and, and you're getting that. But if you're a fan of King Cobra, you're like, hold up. I don't need an hour of this shit. I there's 90 minutes here that I right. probably want. And then yeah, there's yeah, an hour no, here no. that I don't like. Yeah, like Billy, I think you you said something like this on a previous stream. Was that like, um, it, 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 it I you know it it wasn't a King Cobra documentary. It was a Your Favorite Son video, and you said something like that. And it, I mean, it, that's probably pretty accurate. And, uh, you know, well, yeah, you um, you already have your audience that you've cultivated yeah. over time, so. Uh, you're still making yourself part of it. Yeah, I, I guess it's true. Calling it a documentary might be uh, it. I think it was a misconception people had that it was a documentary. Yeah, okay. you're all fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you're all fucking wrong. Okay, go ahead. No, We're like, all legit, wrong. No, like all of you, uh, like li right. literally every single person that's just been talking in this fucking stream. You're all fucking <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Please enlighten us. No, I'm. I'm. I, I will. Okay. I will. Thank you very much. I will Wait, step well, up on well, my soapbox. Before you enlighten us, get us more donations. Yeah, I, I, you ready? You ready? Are you ready yeah. for this? Yeah. Yeah, we're ready. The simple fact of the matter is, is this: <clears throat> Cobra. Cobra exists as a byproduct of a fucking system by which Cobra, like, is a very awkward, awkward fucking guy who has been left. By the proxy of where he was born, his his circumstances of like his fucking family and all this kind of shit, he's led to a life in which he has been like sequestered into a very very narrow fucking box. Okay, Casper fucking Wyoming, that's where he exists. That's his fucking world. You've got this kid. He's got a biological disimperative because obviously there's something going on with him. He's probably autistic. He's in Casper. He has Asperger's. What? Like, we know he, that. <laughs> fuck me, dude. Your favorite Oh, son. my fucking God. Did he w he defines Asperger's, okay? Listen, he, list he lives in Casper. All of his friends are fucking meth heads. They're meth heads or they're dropouts. They're fucking, like, wasteoids that are just barely doing anything with their lives half the fucking time. Anybody they're who outsiders. Has any Anybody? No, 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 not no because it's Casper. Hey, by the way, do by the way, just, do by the way, try and say that these Jeff, are just outsiders. Jeff, yes, before I'm you, but before you, uh, you, you can continue in just a second. Just want to let you know, I think your favorite son is going to do a Gale documentary next because I just turned him on to it. So whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I didn't no. say I was going <laughs> to do it. Oh, Somebody needs to stop. This I kid. just said they're going to stop. The they're going to stop. They're going to stop. This Jeff, kid. Gonna stop. I, I would cut his, cut his, cut his fucking legs off. Because Jeff loves Gale, so. I like, love Gale. Legs off, brother. So, listen. The thing is, it's very simple. Cobra never had a fucking chance. Like, we talk about this sort of thing uh, in, in, like, American politics. Like, some people just are never given a chance. They have no fucking chance. They're born into a circumstance that is so fucked up and so shitty. Well, Cobra did that, and he's autistic. So he's, he's, he's constantly gotten this reinforcement, this awful reinforcement because Casper where he 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 might like try and branch out and find something like fundamental that might re-enrich him and like make him better but it doesn't matter because Casper is nothing but meth and incest and fucking uh, uh breaking into like car windows to be able to steal a car stereo to to buy more meth that's what Casper is. We met that's the mayor. True. Know, that's not the true, truth. bro. That's not true. That's not true. I was in Casper. Before you fucking say that, name me, name me one fucking guy that comes from Casper, Wyoming, that's a functional fucking adult. Taco John. Anybody. What about Taco Dick? John, what, bro, bro, what about Dick John. Cheney? Jeff, what about Dick Cheney? Dick Cheney is not from Casper. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. No, he's it, from bro. Cheyenne. He's from Cheyenne. Dick Cheney? Excuse me. Dick Cheney? Yeah. No, he's not from Casper. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, bro. <clears throat> you know what? Actually, your favorite son, I do have to point out another error, and I don't know if anyone's told you about this. Liz Cheney is not Dick they Cheney. Have. Okay. They have. <laughs> okay. They have. Okay. Oh, Cobra. Cobra 
is just doing the best with what he fucking no. has. Casper it's, is it's, not that bad, bro. No, I dude. Was there. Yes, it I, is. I, I, I was there, bro. I was there too, bad. man. I was there too. It's a fucking shithole. It's, it's a not a shithole. Hole. It's not a shithole. I it, is a, it, shit is hole, a, it is a shithole with no, like it is some, not. some nice stuff plastered if around you're in some fucking, corners. If you're fucking autistic and you don't know and you're uncomfortable with being able to branch out and get outside of Casper and there's, that's all you know there's no it's anywhere, fucking awful then there's anywhere no opportunity is there at all man then there's any- you can say that you're, you're, you're saying like there's anywhere but like what do you think Cobra's just gonna like get up and like go to a different fucking city no I don't think he's going by the to. way I never right. said that he's gonna stay in fucking Casper all he knows is Casper all he'll ever know is Casper Cheney yeah. grew up that is no, his nobody's hell. Saying, nobody's saying that that's not... The Wikipedia so, article oh, literally say. says wait, wait, that wait, Dick so, Cheney, so, this, former this, vice this, president this, of the United wait. States of America, grew up in Casper, who Wyoming. Someone? Who shot someone while maybe hunting? That's, maybe that's why he shot somebody I'm in the not saying head. I agree with yeah, his but, politics but, or that but, he's not yeah, a lunatic. Ben, he shot somebody in the head, and then the guy he shot in the head apologized to him. Ben, yeah, he did. Ben, because he what? was so based. Ben, because what? he was in Casper ben. that somebody had to apologize to him. That's how based he was. I'm sorry ben. you shot me in the ben. face, oh Dick Cheney. Ben, yeah. I know this I'm is, sorry, I know brother. Ben. Hold on. <laughs> what? Ben. I know this is your show. Shut the fuck up. So, oh what I'm talking you said, about. You said he wasn't from Casper. I was just clearing up a misconception. I, well, you're, you're right. Okay, that makes sense why you shot a motherfucker in the fucking head. <laughs> Okay, Cobes probably would shoot a motherfucker in the head if he was not autistic. Instead, we have him making drink combos. We need we need to be we need to be recipes. doing more drinks. That's I think that's uh, the yes. whole. Yeah, somebody don't know. Uh, somebody don't know. Know fifty bucks. So, we need to be doing more drinks. This Billy, bro is drinking a white claw yeah. right now, Brett. We need he's to be been doing drinking more all drinks. day though. Like he's he had a live show where he was drinking Billy, all day today. I've Billy, been, what's I've your been take been on the like on, hours. so like what Jeff's saying about Casper, Wyoming? Do you agree? Do you agree with? Um, I I don't think that. Cobes should be infantilized as not being capable of uh, doing things. I, I think of that of course he's capable. I think you know this is a guy who he's he's got his issues, he's got his impediments, and he makes the best of it, and he maintains a sunny disposition. I, well, I think <laughs> I think Cobes has uh, he's got really rock depends. star qualities. He's a really rock depends on, star. It really depends on what things you're talking about that he's not capable of doing. Because after meeting him and spending time with him, I was convinced before I met Cobes that it was an act. That some of it had oh, to be I fucking scripted. No. Lived in Laramie for 10 months going to Wyotech. Went there to we Casper go, once to party. It was a Hell's Angels house. Yeah! yeah. Cutting the goat. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, probably um, party with Clint. But... <laughs> But yeah, no, I I was convinced that it was an act. Meeting him within like the first ten or fifteen minutes, I knew it was all like it, it was all one hundred percent legitimate. He does not He's have, autistic. He dude. does not. I I I I understand that like in his youth, when he was more you know clear headed and things, he had somewhat more opportunity than he has now. But he's not going to go out and be able to work like any kind of job that any normal person would be able to work. He doesn't. But what does that matter? Yeah, there's tons well, of people who but, can't do that and still are like it does, but it does. No, full, no, I, I, full I functioning agree. Humans. He's, he's a he's a complete rock star, but like he's not fully functional. Do, does he take care of his bills? Does he pay for that apartment? Does he does he do anything besides worry about ordering the food that he orders and and the alcohol? And this isn't a diss against him. I love Cobes. I think he's fantastic. I like partying with him. Yeah. I like hanging out with him and everything like that. But I'm just trying to be real about the situation in that like there are things that Cobes are, is is capable of and then there are things that Cobes is not capable of that's the reason that he's on SSI that's the reason that he lives the way that he does and he lives the best life that he wants to he's he is completely content with his life and that was the one thing that I took away from him and I was like wow I I didn't understand it about this guy but he is happy with everything that he is doing you can like, tell he's a happy person. You can yeah, tell by the and, way and he interacts with other people that he doesn't dog other people. He's not down on other people. He's he's genuinely true, a supportive, uh, community oriented guy. His community dogs him. His community yeah, shuns absolutely. him. Yeah. He has every reason to be the bitter, sour human being that that the, the people are to but, him. But he, when he chooses to, better. 
he went to Job Corps to to become like what a mechanic, right? Oh, How long did that last? He, he did all kinds of stuff. He did mechanic, yeah. then he did like bricklaying or something after but that. Job Corps, Job Corps is for people like that. Like Job Corps, right. there's yes, tons right. of people that go sure. to Job Corps because they, that's their last ditch effort. And you know what happened at Job Corps? He got laid, baby. <laughs> yeah. he, he, did, he fucking he ran Job Corps. He didn't yeah. get a career that, though. That's my that's, point. That's that's the thing though. Is he like tried. After- after all this right, shit, I'm, after all I'm, these fucking things that he does, he like he pushes himself, he pushes himself, he does all these things to like try and achieve, and then he's living his best life. And like I get it, I get it. We we all giggle. We're all like, ah, I don't know, Coves is not able to like get later or anything. And we're, we're all is. having like we're all having a good fucking time about you know giggling about that. But at the same time, like Matt just pointed out, he's doing pretty fucking good for people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's doing yeah. he's like, doing he's got his own place. If, if you look at every saying. if you look at every lol cow, every lol cow that we we watch, they're they're these Cyrax types, the Jared Genesis types. They're right. even <laughs> yeah. but, even even Gale needs a little fucking help. Sure, but Billy, my my question is is if if Clint wasn't directly involved, if Cobes had to manage his own SSI and everything like that, do you think that he would be in the position that he is in right right now? I, I would or, never I would never bother asking that question because we don't know, and we we know Cobes has a dad that'll help him. We know that if he didn't, would would he would he would he be in a halfway house? Would he be in a another situation? I, I think. Would he have a caretaker, or would he would he be forced to to bring himself to the level to be able to take care of it? I don't know personally. I, I really I, don't know. I, I do, I, I, what I does do it know this. Well, I do I'm know proposing this. the What's question the because he said he's got the, the same opportunities as everybody else, and I don't agree with that. I don't agree that Cobes has the same opportunities as everybody else. I would agree. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't, no, I don't I think. think so I don't think he has the same opportunities. Oh, as okay. Everyone I thought that that's what you said earlier. I, so. I think he deserves the same respect as everyone else. Oh, absolutely. I think. I, deserves... I think. I think. When I say we shouldn't infantilize King Cobra, we shouldn't be like, oh, you know, that poor King King Cobra. He he just. He doesn't. He doesn't deserve to 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 be respected like other people are respected. He's beneath that. He's below that. When 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 I hear you say things like he could never do this, he could never. I'm like, no, he could do a lot of things, and he's doing it the way he does it. And That's and fair. and and if, if if he didn't have Clint, you know, I think if he was in a halfway house and he had someone there that was watching over him, a state coworker or a state worker or something, work looking over him, I, I think he would have he would be the most sunniest person in that halfway house, and he would be the heart and soul yeah, of that halfway I, house, I, I, and I he would make. Yeah. I yeah. don't disagree with that at all. I think Dude, you're completely right. And no, I, 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 I don't mean to word it in that, like, I don't think that Cobes is capable of doing this because that's that comes across as me saying that, that like, oh, he's just not. That's not what I mean. I just sure, mean, yeah, that, sure, that sure. That, that, that Cobes is at a disadvantage that most people are not at. And it I, took me meeting him in person uh, to realize that and then realize that he's found his own way to rise above that. Yeah, no, I, I don't have to sure. meet him to see that. I've been saying that all my long. Like that's 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 what? my been my stance on sure, Cobra sure. for for years. I can I tell. Like, I can I tell like, what this guy's going through. I feel like we really have a good like solid grasp on this whole fucking thing. Like we we understand Cobes as a person. We respect him as a human being. Like it's very good. I and it's love probably the guy. a very bad thing if we instead just exploit Cobes and make him seem like a dirty piece of shit. Right, like we should just not do that, but, right? But here's here's like the other thing, no, right? Wait, wait, no, no, hang on. Like, oh, like yeah. maybe, maybe if if we, if we set ourselves into a situation <laughs> where we we kind of like exploit Cobes and we make him seem like a dirty, mean, nasty piece of shit, or we show overtly his lowest points, like maybe when he's like a little bit too drunk at a bar, that that would actually be kind of like a piece of shit move. Like that would be a bad thing. Like well, when somebody does, if somebody did cooking. that, they he's would be maybe like kind and, of a dick. And, let him and Jeff, cook. And Jeff, you know, well, like, point. Yeah, I'm, well, just, I'm, somebody. I'm, just put, I'm just putting it out there. And, and Jeff, wait, 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 Jeff, we're all, wait, wait, we're all accepting Jeff, why would not address humanity, right? the specific point that you're talking about? <laughs> Jeffy? Mean, like, little just, Jeffy? Just, wait, 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 Jeff. Wait, wait, Jeff. Before you say what you're going to say. I respect you. I respect like, you too. No, you don't respect me. Brother. I do. No, te- <laughs> on on the technical level, your your documentary on the technical level, your documentary was fucking solid, bro. Okay, but solid. this this is this is what I'm saying. 
Yeah. We're two we're two drunk guys on the internet right now. Yeah. Sure. Respecting each other and nobody likes that. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You guys aren't nobody starting like You know what else is what I'm saying? Maybe what a, we wait, should wait, wait, maybe wait, wait, we should wait. just make out. Let's just make out. <laughs> yeah, we should tongue. We should tongue and everybody before, would love it. Before, but what I'm saying although, is like, before although, your wait, favorite wait, wait. son I gotta, responds. I gotta put, this, I gotta put, I gotta put this out there. Hold on. Yeah, wait, let Ben talk. Let Ben talk. Okay, let Ben talk. I just want to say, you gotta let your mullet out. Let Ben talk. It was also disgusting the way this one guy exploited poor, mentally ill Jilly Juice on Doctor Phil. It made me (laughs) sick. No, but this is this is what I want to say real quick. I don't know. Uh, Jeff was on Doctor Phil and he (laughs) bullied a mentally ill woman on there. Did did I? Did I? Did I? Did I agree with your favorite son's approach to the 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 Cobra commentary? Did 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 I did I like that your favorite son uh, looked down upon Cobra? I, I I think that that was unnecessary. Well, I uh, know. That's of course, Billy didn't. Of course, this. Billy didn't. Yeah, I know, be- yeah. Billy. I, Billy, I know you didn't the whole but, night. Like it's but, fine. That's but that. Fine. But that being said, okay. I think Cobra. I think King Cobra is man enough to be exploited. I think C- King Cobra is man enough to be put in that situation. I think King Cobra is man enough to handle himself. And I do think, despite the the, the looking down on King Cobra that came from that video, I think King Cobra came out shining. And I think his responses afterwards were very mature. And it showed some extreme growth in King Cobra. And it showed some yes. real keen awareness, too. And I think yeah. King yeah, Cobra yeah, yeah. came out yeah, looking yeah, yeah. real yeah. fucking good after this. Yes. To be honest, I'm, I'm yes. really curious. Your favorite son. I've been wanting to ask you something. As somebody who hung out with Cobes in person, and you you took him somewhere oh, in a car, right? Right. Like you guys, you guys yeah, took him did. in a car. Okay. Did he did he have his wand with him? That's the first part of the question. And two, at every stoplight, did he cast a spell to make the light turn green? One stoplight, he did. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if he had it at every stoplight. Yeah, so but I know I was, one he did because it was raining and he wanted yeah, it to stop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, when I when I when I was with him, he uh, he didn't have a cell phone and he needed a ride to the FedEx store to go get it. So I was like, yeah, man. <laughs> Clint, Clint was out of town. I was like, fuck, let's go yeah. get it. Every yeah. stoplight, man, he had that thing out and he was fucking casting a spell to make that light one, turn green. One he did. One point he did uh, because it was raining and it was it was a very rainy day and he was trying to guide us towards the destination the the casino that we were trying to get to when uh, i uh, when i left casper he cast a circle of protection on my car and i actually uh, ran off the road in salt lake city after that. <laughs> <laughs> it was opposite dude i've been exactly. sick i've been sick since i went there a I've been Monica sick. Dara I've been tubes. sick, and my, well, yeah, I, I actually to... got I actually got sick uh, the past like week, and like my other two crew members, they have been sick since we went there. I'm convinced Josh has been <laughs> casting negative yeah, spells. He, he, yeah, he casts his circle of protections backwards. Apparently, yeah, <laughs> all right. Well, back, I'm, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be totally honest and base and shit. Uh, so uh, I I love I love the documentary style. I think it was really great. I've mm-hmm. got I've got issues. I've got issues. But you know what? I'll carry my ass like into fucking oblivion. Like whatever. It's fine. Uh but it, like props. Props are going out there talking to Cobes. Uh I, I hope that you like find a way to like have a good relationship with Cobes after the fact of this kind of thing. Like that would be good. That'd be cool. Um but uh you know, you put in the work. You put in the work. And the and the thing is like for a lot of things when it comes to YouTube, when you're willing to bust your ass and travel and go out there, get the fucking footage and see people, like, yeah, I don't think you did good. Mm. <laughs> and I don't. I don't. I, I think I think I think that your footage was good, but I, I think your presentation was shit. Uh-huh. You know. But I have mad respect that you went out and you fucking did it and you you, you sought that out and it was cool. Uh, so mad respect for that. Jeff and, didn't uh, even I like Star Trek cool. Picard, so I wouldn't trust his taste. <laughs> no, so I no 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 Ben Star Trek Picard fucking sucks. I know yes, I'm yes, trolling. Yes. See there we go. Trek I tricked him into finding common ground. See even how that season works. Season three fucking, fucking sucks. sucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even season three fucking sucks. You know what? Maybe yeah. your favorite son. Maybe we're destined to be best friends. See, no, I, Jeff, see how I, I did that, wait, Jeff. Uh, Jeff, I knew you were gonna come in Thrax, and I was like, before you came in here, I was like. 
where the fuck is Jeff? We were we were an hour and a half in. I was like, where's Jeff? He, I was he busy was, drinking. Well, you gotta <laughs> you gotta be drinking live, brother. Like, what what are you doing, bro? Like, I I, I was like, where's Jeff? Because I respect your opinion. You gave no, an I, honest. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate. Like, that. no, you gave an honest opinion. You gave sure, an honest sure. opinion. And I respect. Sure. That. Like, yeah, I know. I wanted you here because I respect that, and I, I respect all the the constructive criticism that I've got. I just blowing smoke well, on my ass. I, I, I yeah, want to say. I'm, I want to. I want to say this real quick. Uh, yeah, while you guys are yeah. starting to make up. We're gonna uh, before kiss this too, before this gets too far away <laughs> from being made up. Uh, I think. Okay, I think there was. I think tomorrow. there was. I think there was tons of horrible shots in this documentary. I think we we saw a lot of empty space. There's some the, audio. The, 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 I, I agree. Level. A lot, a lot of poor. A lot of poor angles. A, a lot of. There's a lot to work well, on. While we're dog piling on you. No, no, I, I, I just I just want to say this, and I will say this because he knows and, I can and, handle it now. And and like, and, and, and I think and I and I and I think. And I think no matter uh, how much of the bullshit that was in there that I didn't care about, like you know, not being a fan of your stuff, you know, that I had to had to get me had to get me through a lot of bullshit. Yeah. I, I think for the 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 genuine moments that are captured, that are like really great Josh moments, like w- we got we got to thank you for getting those because because there's some great stuff in there that really m- shows a part of Josh that I think that uh, interested people. Um, get, Get, get a big, bigger picture of him. E- even, even, even if it wasn't the best portrayal or whatever, there are just a lot of moments that were charming and nice and cool, and I, 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 I enjoyed that about it. How did you oh, not yeah. get copyright struck on that song? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Dude, I was watching Jeff watch that, and I was like, wait a second. It's been like fucking 12 seconds. What the hell's going on here? No, we got claimed. We got claimed. We did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There but, was like, claimed. We didn't get struck. Ah, okay. uh, like, I see. Okay. Uh, that, that, was why, that was why we put the, the ad in the middle. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so you can sure actually make money it, off of it. Because it was like, we got claimed, but we didn't get struck. I'm just glad we right. didn't get struck. Yeah. Which is crazy yeah. because I, I, was, I watched it on my TV on the YouTube app and you can't add block on there and there was a yeah. ton of ads on it. I'm like, wow, Dude. the Johnny Cash's estate is getting paid on this I don't one. Know, yeah, I don't know I don't know what the fuck to do about or that. Like, I can't yeah. do anything. You might, about you that might hire yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you might hire a an entertainment lawyer to get the song itself cleared. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you, 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 can, you can sometimes well you can sometimes go through a uh, a service that will clear a song uh, for you'll make more money off of the views than you would make off of what you're paying for them. They'll claim it all, but you oh, can get yeah. just the clearance. You might I be able to that. find something that does that. I don't know. Yeah. A song like that might not be clearable, but at this point, are, it's probably moot. But yeah, it's it's yeah. it's under a hundred thousand views, right? Like it's not. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not, it's, 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 not it's long point. form, but I don't know exactly what the CPM would translate to. It yeah. might not be worth the fight, but it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make yeah. one last plea. Well, not the last one, probably, but I'm going to make uh, a plea right now to the audience to help us start another tip train. We're 25. We're, yeah, yeah. And, and we're 125 away from the goal, which, you know, we're it's what, what, are, you, what are you guys doing? We've, we've provided three shots. Oh, well, there, I mean, like we've yeah, literally I say, I've, I've taken three since I came in and I, I'm willing to like every time that you guys get tipped, I'll do two in a row. Fuck it. You oh, know? Damn. I'm to catch up with you guys, so. he's doing dubs. He's doing yeah. dubs and trying to help, trying to help out here. Like, what like, are we Matt, doing? Bro? I now, literally Matt, have not drank in months. So Matt, you, 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 you help produce the uh, King Cobra Cribs video. Yeah, yeah. Well, so you, somebody else, edited, like I, all I did was do the walkthrough video. Somebody else turned it into the cribs video afterwards. Yeah, it was clipped okay. from there. But yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, you still, help, you, you were, you were lower. You helped do that. Really? You, yeah. you're, you're, you got plans to meet up with Cobes uh, again soon. Yes. Yeah, time, time to do some there drinking. we go. Urban mask. Thank you. Uh, time to do some drinking. But uh, there we go. The, a, a lot of a lot of the Cobra reverse. A lot of the Cobra reverse looks to you to maybe be the guy. That can bring them the documentary they want. Bottoms up. How do you feel about that? Do you think? Do you think that, that you in your mind? Do you think you might be online with these people, and and you think you might be giving them what they want? I would love to, like I said earlier, do like a Ken Burns style documentary or something like uh, with as little objective bias as possible. Um, I want to sit down and talk to people and actually get their real honest opinion of Josh. But like, I can't do this without making Josh aware of everything so that he doesn't feel like I'm betraying him or going behind his back or anything like that. Yeah. 
you know did you um, already do it ben yes i did sorry oh, i got ahead oh, of myself uh, uh jeff you got to take a drink <laughs> jeff jeff take it take a drink with me brother uh, yeah, sure, um, sure. I do. I, chug I, I that vodka. Oh, he just did it with the the oh, nature shit. of the nature of what I do, Billy. Um, would definitely allow me to go and spend the time in Casper to do it. Yeah. Um. So it's just a matter of getting everything to line up, being able to get in touch with the people. Because right now, my only way, I I I made contact with I think Cool Taste's mom through Reddit. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it, was, it was really weird. Yeah, um, but other than that, like I don't, I and and um, Cool Taste at one point um, actually blew Clint's number in, blew his number up in his uh, YouTube chat. So I screenshotted that, but I've never contacted Clint. I was um, really worried so, for a second there before you said number. I was like, whoa, I didn't know that because you said Cool Taste blew Clint. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I think just, uh, just Sasha. If I, if I'm understanding things correctly. <laughs> okay, <I'll... laughs> um, but uh, no, he. To be, to be honest, though, would Cool Taste even know who he was blowing? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, That's no, what I'm right. saying. So, uh, no, I, I, I think that I, 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 I definitely they... can tell he would t be able to taste how cool I was versus. <laughs> <other people. laughs> Damn. No, I I think the way to go about it though is to make sure that Josh knows and 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 um I I, I might have to spend some more time in, in Casper to try to branch out a little bit more so that my only contact to these people isn't just Josh because yeah. right now that's that's what my problem is is that my only contact to these people is Josh and I've brought up trying to talk to Cool Taste and trying to talk to his dad to him and he's like yeah they would have to let me you know they would have to be okay with it and I'm like okay well you know will you ask them and then that's kind of the last that I heard about it so I too um, want to make a King Cobra documentary but I, I want it to be a, a festival documentary and I want it to be shown how I Cobra made Con. Cobra Con unironically the most successful fester, festival in Casper Wyoming it'll be, the, it'll be the gathering of the juggalos of the western side of the country it's I'll wear be. a disguise. I will so, come, but I'll wear Billy, a disguise. Billy, when is when is Cobra Con? Because I'd love to uh, pencil that down in my calendar. Well, that's that's the that's the thing. First, I have to get the funding. I have to get Danny Brown wow. on board to headline. This is I have to bad. hire. I have to hire Clint and the the bikers to run security for it. So this like, is it's this gonna is be, how, it's gonna this, be a lot of money. These are Billy's brilliant ideas because he comes up with the idea and then creates all of these obstacles that are like impossible. <laughs> it's to, be to make it I actually have to, happen, I have right, to all buy, of these things actually have to happen first. Yes. I have to buy the throne that King Cobra will sit on throughout <laughs> Cobra Con yeah. on stage. There's a lot of money that's going to go into this, so right, uh, it's, right. it's, it's, it's going to be it's, at least a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars just to start. You is know? there well, like? I, I, th I think we can get it done for fifty k. Uh, is oh, oh, yeah. oh, hold on though, no, seriously? Did. Is there like? Is there like a rock bar with like a stage in Casper? Because then ju well, just, tons, yeah. just have the first Cobra Con in like a small club or something. That, that That's actually not a not a bad idea. I'm it's... sure there's some kind of bar with a stage there. Yeah, the, I mean, there, there will be. be. Is there, there one that Josh isn't Brown. trespassed from? I'm, good, well, it won't see, matter. We'll, yeah. we'll be able to make it work. We're going to get Clint and his biker buddies to run security. I so honestly, So I honestly believe all of these bars that Josh has been banned from, I believe that the right person could go in there and grease some yeah. wheels and get him back in. Uh, maybe. Yeah, like, it's not, uh, maybe, not, not, maybe we, not every we, single one of them, but definitely some of them. We Especially need, if it was a one-night-only situation. Sure, yeah. We, we need like, an give, him a, give him we a need, trial like, period. We need an MTV unplugged version of Cobra Coil, or Blunt Wraps and Cobra coils. Yes, that's what we need. We're getting, oh, dude, we're dude, light, dude, dude, he oh, the, the, my, Nina, the end. You just, still have my deathbed tapes cassette, right? Just like oh, yeah. Gathering oh, yeah. of the Juggalos, oh, ICP uh, performs at the end of the Gathering of the Juggalos. Cobra performs his music at the end of CobraCon. Unironically, gonna... I would I would produce his music because like sound sound production is one of the one of the things that it's I my like, have a forte in. It's my passion. Um, and and like I even tried when I was there. I gave him. Because I asked him about his recording setup, because I was really curious about that. I was like, hey, man, how do you record your music? He sits with his guitar amp underneath his iMac, and he plays his guitar and sings at the same time and picks it all up on the iMac. On one mic, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. Tell, you can and tell. So, 
I had some of my mobile recording stuff with me, like a like a two input uh, a USB mixer and a uh, a condenser mic and some cords and stuff. I gave all of that to him and tried to go through how to use it with him. Oh, no. He was not interested at all, and I doubt that he has used that shit since I left it there. All right, we got we got our our concoction here. Sweet. There we go. Oh, the DoorDash. The concoction has arrived. Oh, no. All right. So, yeah, yeah. I think what you have to do is just try and record the music there with him, right? You have You'd to have to hold guy. his hand through it. Yep. You got to be like, hey, re record this. That's a mac and cheese bite. Don't eat them all, right? No, not all. You might, you might have to put a couple on the sandwich. On the sandwich. Do you have any Doritos to add to it, too? Well, I think Doritos the mac and cheese sandwich. bite is, is enough to go okay. on the sandwich. But we should try the sandwich without it first. Wait, you you, you guys want the mac and to me. You, you want really the really good movie. Also, to train bitches. Woo! Hey, oh. egg hey. Wait, do we have Cheers. another uh do we have another No, we're still away from a drink, so we're gonna have to pop in on this burg. Okay, that's the burg right there. That's the sloppy Waffle jalopy burger. barbecue. Just, that's the barbecue video the, game. That's Jeff's messy. Me the signal, you guys. I think that uh I think Jeff uh -oh. might be tapped out. Uh oh. Jeff's tapped out? He's looking like it. He didn't give me. He didn't give me shit. He was. He was talking all the shit on the the stream. We were just talking all this shit. <laughs> you were talking all this shit. <laughs> this was I saw shit. the stream. You yeah, think I didn't see the stream, wait, bro? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Do you you were talking me, all this shit. Do you I, want me to I, talk some you, more shit? You talked. You talked so much shit the other night that you I did, decided. Bro. That, that I, I just, decided. I just repeated it to him right here, to his yeah, face. But, you but didn't I repeat decided. shit, bro. That was like you came Whoa. with. You came Here's with the beef. Low Here's the beef, you guys. Bro. You came with low threat. I already said exactly what I said before. No, you, 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 you gave a diet version. You what what you guys don't understand is yeah. Jeff is working on becoming the most uh -oh. hated man on the internet after the uh -oh. June video, and then this. Like I don't hate like, him though. I love him. He's like a sweet. <laughs> well, little no, not boy. You. Okay. I just want to cradle him. Do we need to do, do, do we have to, uh, uh, like uh, okay so listen the thing is i was trying to be really nice about all this i was very i was being very like genial very cool very fine not a big fucking deal i wasn't These trying to be a big bit. fucking dickhead but mm -hmm. if if you call me out and you're saying i didn't give you like the proper kind of like you did i uh, okay uh oh. No, but I I respect uh -oh. your wait wait before you start before you start can I, can I can I can I can I say before you start? Thank you so much, Lilith. Thank you, wait, Lilith. So wait wait wait. We appreciate you, brother. Now, now wait wait. Can I can I what? Can, I, can I say before you start? We appreciate you, Lilith. Thank you for dono. Oh wait, we got we got another another day. one. Hey, coming me, through too. Find me a beer. My thrax, bro. Keep donoing. This, this is what being a producer is. I need uh, twenty-two dollars and producers. fifty cents away from beer. another round of drinks. Twenty dollars and fifteen dollars. Oh, like we're gonna get twenty-two gonna fifty house. away from getting another <laughs> round of drinks in before Jeff can leave. Yeah, before <laughs> Jeff can leave, because we need that she. But Jeff, I want to say I want to say wait, 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 before you was, go off. I was really, I was really. Wait, nice. wait, wait, Jeff, Jeff, before you go off on your, on your shit. Okay. I respected your opinion. I respect your I, opinion too. Because I felt you were honest. And I, I respect that. Sure. And that's good shit. I respect sure. that. That's sure. why I wanted you on the stream is because I felt like you were honest and I wanted an honest opinion on here. So that, that's all I'm saying. Uh-huh. And you were so hard the other night, Jeff, that I was gonna so, I was gonna go in tonight but, the way you did, but you already you already did it. So I was like, now yeah. I have to be a sweet boy, Billy. Billy yeah. Bill because you were you went so hard. You were going on my mullet. You were going on fucking the dog. Like you were going on all this shit, bro. Ugh. And then you came here and you did, you didn't you didn't bring anything, bro. Oh man, why'd you have to ask Jeff about fast food prices? Jeff. Oh god <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, really? No. Tell him tell him oh, Wendy's no. is cheap. Tell him that ask Wendy's is Jeff cheap. Jeff about people. fast food prices. That's all I'm hearing. What what what, what you gonna say, bro? Alright. It's fine. It's okay. It's <laughs> fine. It's not a big deal. No, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. I get it. I get it. I came I love into you. this I love you, with it, trying to be very, very. Listen, I like like before I say all of this. Yeah, I love you too. I love uh, you too. 
We we brothers. I feel like we brothers. No. But <laughs> I have love for you. I have love for you. Brothers, oh, we are oh. not. We we're are not. not we're not. No. We're yeah. not on the same level. No, if, we're not. It's, it's like hard it's hard. cool. It's cool. It's I like that. I know you reached out to this. me. I'm not gonna you reached out book. to me. You had a handout. It's cool. I'm slapping it away and I'm gonna tell you what it's like. <laughs> I'm I, honestly, that's I, what's gonna I, fucking go. happen right now. And listen, I, I gave you every opportunity. I was just gonna like acquiesce. It was cool. I was gonna like dip back. I was gonna I was gonna fade in the fucking shadows. I was gonna like la sombra my shit. Back into the fucking not shadows, some, but no, nah. no, nope, nope, we're not gonna do that. Fine. Lame shit. Lame okay. shit. First of all, your fucking mullet sucks. You need to <laughs> grow your fucking mullet out before you Cobra put it still on stuck fucking in stasis, camera. Staring at his wait, 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 shut up. Stop, wait, wait, shut up. Stop, 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 shut, 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 shut. Your stuck. mullet is fucking terrible. It's fucking terrible. If you want to have a mullet, first and foremost, you need at least, at least two, three, four more weeks of fucking growth before you're like, huh. No, it's like, bag. it's like, it's like dirt bag weeks, fucking bro. like, dirt bag fucking like, 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 like some weirdo, ten like, weeks, don't fucking to that. country fucker. I, 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 I knocked up my fucking cousin <clears throat> kind of like aesthetic and that kind of shit. Right now, you're like, you're 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 flirting. You're flirting with the fucking fact that you might maybe fuck your cousin. Okay, that's not cool. That's not cool. I'll give you props if you actually pumped a fucking baby inside your goddamn cousin. That would be fine. That would be something. Bro, that's you something are wrong. losing right now. No, no. no. <laughs> right now, Bad right stock, now, stocks you're down losing because you have an impotent fucking mullet. Okay, <laughs> stocks Walk down. Fuck documentary. You're coming out here trying to talk to Cobra and all this kind of shit. Yeah. And it's cool. It's fine. I get it. You put a lot of effort into it. You have a lot of like really good production quality and a lot of production like uh, facility. You try to like get this and get that and get this and get that. But the, ultimately, what really shows through these actual like footage is how much you're so desperate to try and find this one fucking weird kid, this no. weird dude, to try and get him as a prop to pump up so you can get some fucking attention. And that's no. what's really sad, what's weird about these documentaries. <clears throat> All these people that, like, go and seek out these fucking weirdo people that are just doing their their, their own fucking thing. Can I, can I interrupt you, or do you need to keep going? I do. Okay, keep going. Because cool? you're you're, you're kind of cool? gish galloping yeah, at this point, though, right? Do you want him to respond yeah. to your points or? Am I? Am I? Yeah. Am I? A little yeah. bit. Yeah, no, you're I don't think. I, I, I don't think I've gotten. No, 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 I don't think I've like. I thought I just given this this okay, fucking platform. Okay, That's fine. It, it, if you want to keep going, that's fine. That's fine. The that's thing fine. is, like, when you have a guy like Cobra, Cobra is just living like his fucking Billy, life. Billy's He's doing his best example. That he can pop <laughs> his own popcorn kettle. would have been better, bro. Billy. <laughs> no, we love the kettle, bro. <laughs> Keep going, Jeff. The kettle's great. Cobra is just living his best life. His yeah. life might not look good to you. Yeah. To you, it might look weird and gross and strange. You see his. Uh, like fucking drink combos and his food hacks and all that kind of shit. And to you, you're like, mmm, gross, mmm, weird, mmm, eh, mmm, eh. But to him, that's his best fucking life. That's the best that he can achieve. He doesn't know any better. His entire life is living in Casper fucking Wyoming. He doesn't know anything else. That's his fucking life. And then, I, then you, with your fucking metropolitan fucking wannabe goddamn fucking <laughs> dickhead fucking mullet, come into this fucking <laughs> shit. And you're like, well, I, I think driving that my your drink GMC. combos. Anyways, drink up, bitches. Yeah! yeah. I think Let's that go, your fucking bro. food hacks Jeff, wait, you are got a, weird you and got a drink, gross. Jeff. I don't like them. Jeff, poo, you poo, got a drink. Poo. Jeff, you got a drink. I wouldn't like a food hack either, to be honest with you, though. Like, I, I, I'm Jeff, you got a drink. Oh, he drank. I honestly gave... Ben, you drinking? Yeah, I'm about you to. You can't come into this shit with yeah. your metrosexual-ass oh, fucking motherfucker out Cheers. here with your goddamn Cheers. stupid, like, Cheers. Tiny, tiny, tiny fucking, like, weirdo, weirdo fucking, oh, uh, uh, like, so like mullet kind of shit coming again. 
when when Cobra is trying to do his best fucking life, <laughs> you're coming in from a totally different like perspective. Yeah, you're not from the same reality as him. Yeah, and you're judging him by some like metropolitan fucking standards and shit. Mm -hmm. He's living his best life. Yes, Cobra's gross. No. Yes, Cobra's weird. He's weird. He's weird. He's weird. Yo, that's okay, me. I don't know that. Uh, gross, me. But... Yeah, are you gonna say but he's, he's dumb gross. next, Jeff? Are but you gonna say he's, he's, he's dumb, Jeff? No, 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 but he's. Bro, happy. are you gonna say he's dumb? That's he's me. He's happy. Oh. Look, if Cobra did not live in Casper, Wyoming, if Casper, if, if Cobra lived in like Seattle, he would be swarming in bitches. There'd be so <laughs> Is that many true? dumb. If we would have been able it's, to get him it, it to Seattle, true. we would have been swimming in bitches. No, it's bro. true. No, it, you know it's true. No, you know, I don't yeah. know it's true. I've been in Casper, Wyoming. It, it, it is not true. Have you been to Seattle? Dude, I, I mean, yeah, there's no, a huge, but there's like, a huge you think, fucking difference between Casper and Seattle. Like, dude, there, there's, there's a huge so many difference girls, between, just, but between here's my Casper only, and Seattle. But like, here's my I don't only think interjection, that if though, Josh was in I don't. I don't Seattle. think that it matters. Yeah, I, I think Drowning I agree with you, your favorite son. There, it doesn't matter where Josh is because he socially is not uh, adept to to be able to con conversate with women that way. Yeah, that's, that's and and, and, he, and you can see that. But like, it nah. it, it makes he's waiting patiently. Or oh, even your oh own guy is like fucking dissenting. Well, well I'm not just... dissenting against him. I'm just I. I no, like you it, are betrayal. It, total betrayal. 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 <laughs> no, no, no. no but betrayal. honestly, like hey, give it. total You're betrayal. With us. If Cobra Benedict goes, Arnold, if Cobra goes betrayal. to the gathering of the Juggalos, <laughs> seven saying, women are leaving with Cobra's baby well, in their I, belly. So, like, I have to say, I, I, I have to stay on Cobra's side. If, like, you know, if there, if, if it, if it comes down to taking Jeff's side or Cobra's side, you know, like wow, Jeff. for the production. For the production wow. value, wow. for the production wow. value, oh, I've got to stay on Cobra's wow. side. You know. Wait, wait. So you're, tell, you're, telling you're telling me, you're telling me right I'm now. I'm both your you're friends, friends, man. No, no. Yeah, but you're, you're telling me, you're telling me right now. If we took Cobes to Seattle, we couldn't get him fucked. I'm not saying that we couldn't get him fucked. I'm saying that he would not go through with it. That's what I, I mean. Believe, knowing that's him, are you are you ruling out? Are you ruling out paying for it? No, it's not, it's not it. betrayal. It, it, no, even paying for it, even if he Obviously. didn't know that we paid for it, I don't think that Cobes is in a mental state where he is willing to interact with a woman on that level. But we're playing. Because, no, we're, no, 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 no. Listen, the, no, no, no. We're playing the let, number game. Uh, that's fine. But let me let me present my evidence. But he doesn't okay? try when at all. Gothi, no, no, it doesn't even matter about not trying because there have been women who have thrown <laughs> their great, pussies true. at Josh. You guys, yeah. there have been women who have thrown pussy at Josh great, and he great. has said no. Remember Gothi. Remember fucking Gucci. Ah. Both of those girls... Both of those girls were down to fuck Josh, and he was not about it. Did he it say at no? All. Did he say no? Because I no, don't. No, but he would. He, he didn't. He was say down yes for Gucci's. Either. He did say he yes was, to Gucci's. He, no, he. It said was going to happen. Can't tell who's saying what in this conversation because it's fucking Jeff and his friends. Well, like, I can't tell. I, Matt, I'm, I'm Matt, Matt is the one who's Matt, been Matt, talking. Matt, so. Matt's it's in the back. back. Yeah, I can't yeah. tell. I bet I can't tell because no, it, it's okay. I'm Matt is the one who's saying that Josh would not not go through with it. Jeff thinks that we could get him laid. I don't think that he, that Josh we'll totally I, get him. Laid. I think that after totally. six years, Matt, six and a half right. years, you're after Matt. six and a half years of not being intimate with a woman, it would take actually spending time with a girl and getting to know her before yeah. he would actually jump into but the sack the with her. That's right. You named you named Jeff two Ross. people who he never met up with, right? Jeff's he wrong. never no, met he, them in real life. No, he didn't. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's, Jeff's my Jeff's my brother. <laughs> Jeff's my brother, and we brothers. But like he wrong, bro. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen. You 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 can suck up to me. It's fine. No, I'm not sucking up to you. I love you, and you're my brother. But like, it, you're wrong, bro. I don't know what to tell you. No, I I will say I I actually genuinely respected your opinion about the doc. I I, I, res I respect that you did all the work in the doc. I respect Thank you, that. I Thank do. You, I do. We I brothers. respect that. We brothers. Ah, weird. Dap me up. 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 Billy, do you think that you could make Gucci's happen? You won't dap me up. Um, not right now. She's with a boyfriend. Oh, but okay. she was down, and he was Gothi down. Gothi was down too. But Gothi didn't. Ah. Gothi didn't live anywhere near him. Right? They never met. 
I tell you, I tell you what. Yeah, your Gucci's shit. was gonna go there, but every time she was gonna go me? there, what are you telling me, Jeff? Every time Gucci's was gonna go to Casper, one of the guys on the RV would decide if she would fuck Cobra, she would fuck him, and they would date her. Well, and it, see, would, it would cock block Cobra. Yeah. See, like yeah. if there was a girl that was down, I would try to like facilitate that Maybe meeting. But I really, oh, I know. Was encouraged by the homies. I just really don't think. Maybe that, do an orgy get. Cobes and Corsair, yeah. I know. <laughs> we're close. We're close to another shot. Yes, we are. I, to another one. shot. Yeah. I, I think that he'll never. I, I. I mean, like he may even admit it, but like I think that deep down, what Cobes wants is an actual connection with somebody. He doesn't want some he shallow does. one night stand yeah, to just fuck one right. time. He wants somebody that like he can actually interact with and, and build that Gonna relationship. Be like with. But unfortunately, for my exactly. Matt is based. But like Matt is based. Matt is based. Yeah, Matt. But, can, but I I it, can I eat I this? Can I eat this? Yeah, dude, go yes. for it, man. We want to watch it. Yeah, we need a full review. Wait, anyway, Billy, I, I, what I don't want to keep this? holding. Billy, you remember? So, yeah, that's uh, we got the waffle. All right, burger. yeah, I'll put it full screen. There we go. We got the burger. We got the provolone. We got the nacho cheese. We got the caramelized onion. Wow, is it all packed in there, dude? It's There's... packed as fuck. It feels packed as. Fuck. So is it cooked into the waffle? So it's waffle burger, and it's also like provolone. Chef's oh, yeah. kiss. We, we Chef's got sour kiss. cream. We got caramelized uh. onions. We have guacamole. <laughs> that looks way too solid. There's guacamole <laughs> in there. There's nacho cheese provolone. There's, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna cool. lie. That looks really fucking good. Actually, <laughs> it does. Oh yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, I'm hungry lie. as fuck. All right, take a bite and then shit, tell us the immediate response. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's get a full okay. screen. We, yeah. we want to know mouthfeel and texture and all that good shit. Does it taste like girl dick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like girl dick. I can see it explode. <laughs> I do think there was chili on it too, right? <laughs> yeah, it's chili. Yeah. There's chili um, on there. There's caramelized onion. <laughs> it tastes like girl dick. It was yeah. made by Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> Oh. Like Mulvaney, yeah. it's like girl Passions dick. crossover is fantastic. No, I will say it tastes like um, it, it tastes like chili. It's chili. This this whole yeah. thing is chili. <laughs> oh god, this is a chili burger. Like it, it tastes like chili. Is waffle there any burger. sour cream in there? Any guac? Can you taste the sour cream or guac? Yeah, <clears throat> no, it's, it's chili, chili waffle burger. That's it. Jesus, how late do these fucking lives go? I'm all starting uh, to until we guys. meet the goal and we're like thirty dollars away from it. We're thirty dollars away. And can we you taste the Dr Pepper shit. barbecue? No, there's no. <laughs> Bro, I that, think that, what had happened is everything turned into chili. Like yeah, everything it, it, mixed in with a chili. Yeah, it was all chili. Did you say chili? Are we? Are we the going chili, back to the there's chili, chili juice. juice. Yeah, there's chili juice. <laughs> there's in that chili burger. juice on the burger. Gross. Yeah, there's <laughs> chili juice. I just chili. I hope oh. you enjoy your stroke later. <laughs> I'm gonna die very soon, bro. Your favorite son. You need to look at look into the chili juice saga. It's great. <laughs> you, you, you content. You just started something. Does does everybody know that Jeff was on cocaine when he was on Dr. Phil? Really? Is out of work oh shit, dude. YouTuber. Was I not supposed to Who say that? He knows that he can get hits and clicks. Uh, I and that this would be the perfect uh, thing the for him to make money off of. So I hope you're paying your taxes and maybe give me a cut of whatever you're making because you're obviously making a lot of money off me. I want to see Jeff's part. Well, Jillian says a group of online trolls. made him shave his stupid ass goats. Yep. I'm here on the Dr. Phil show because I want to confront Jillian Epperly about the dangerous practices that she's spreading on the internet. She's not a doctor. She's not a scientist. She doesn't have the education to understand what How she's saying. How could Jeff she's bully this poor right? mentally ill woman on, on, along right? with Dr. Phil of all people? People, people looking for answers, looking for a way to heal themselves. It's very simple. Jilly Juice is a fraud. If you follow Jillian's protocol <laughs> and you drink about a gallon of this crap a day, you're going to end up drinking four times the recommended healthy amount of salt. Not Jeff only does this not do well. what she thinks it's supposed to do, but it is actually harmful because it's convincing <laughs> people to give themselves sodium poisoning. That can lead to confusion, dizziness, seizures, coma, strokes, and death. Everyone, damn it. everyone on oh. the internet, please bully this Midwestern housewife. <laughs> this mentally ill Midwestern housewife. Me and my buddy Dr. Phil are going to teach this bitch a lesson.
Bro, that I hear <laughs> I hear he still bullies her to this day. I do. I super do. How dare I super he? Super do. I bully- did you really talk about the cocaine? <laughs> Yes, he yeah, did. I'm sorry, man. Cocaine. I didn't he know I wasn't very supposed heavy to. Heavy you were not <laughs> supposed to talk about the cocaine. I didn't know that was a trade secret. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's, yeah, he didn't, he didn't, I've never talked about this on fucking stream. He didn't, he, didn't tell, he didn't tell anybody that Dr. Phil was the one that gave it to you. <laughs> God damn they it. They were doing lines together. Have yourself a little horn tweeter, Jeff, before we go live. All this right. Is, this fine. is what happens Go, when wait. you get me drunk, Jeff. So, <laughs> all right, Jeff. All right. So, uh, I was going on Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> now we get the story. This is great. I'm so glad I was able to give the internet this gift. <laughs> so, uh, I, I I get picked up from LAX uh, with a with a like a big fucking Cadillac and shit. They take me over to this place and they're like, "We're gonna take you to the loft." I'm like, "Oh, do I?" I have to like suck some dick to get on TV. I'm going to the loft. Ooh, uh, thankfully no. So they record all of the uh, the the B roll for that, and uh, it's fine. It's cool. And we record for like that one day. They take me through like Beverly Hills. They recorded like a bunch of like weird random stuff. My favorite part of and, that whole uh, Doctor Phil episode was when one of the people signing with Jillian said to Jeff, "Could you try it?" And Jeff's response was, ha, ha, no. Ha, ha, no. Oh, oh, wait, wait, that was only five bucks? So, yeah, uh, yeah, we're getting there. Okay. <laughs> so so, so I, I, do, I do like the B-roll and whatnot. I'm like, okay, cool. So when do I, when we, when we film? And they're like, well, in two days. I'm like, what do you mean two days? What the fuck? So I have two days to do whatever. So I randomly wander around Hollywood. So we're doing the taping, finally. We go in there. Uh, some random guy, like, rushes the stage. Like, you can see it if you if you look at, like, some of the, the footage. Like, a random guy tries to rush the stage. When Jillian is like, Jilly Juice will cure the gay. <laughs> right? Some dude rushes the stage like, Ooh, I don't want to be gay! And he, like, fucking freaks out and shit. And none of that is scripted. I saw, like, the, the, the people behind the stage, like, losing their fucking mind. Like, oh, God. Oh, shit. Some dude was, like, very excited because he thought he could cure the gay by her protocol. Anyway, so so we go up there. Uh, before I'm about to go on stage, uh, I was very, very drunk. Well, because you've been partying in Los Angeles for two days, right? Yeah, like, two days. I had been just parting my fucking ass off just drinking and raging and like hanging out with all these you and Lacey Green were doing meth in a bathtub the night before right right, yeah thank god for our friend who's you know lives in I'm not gonna say his name but like he lives in Eugene right so the the night before uh, I have to film this episode my buddy drives me home back to Studio City where I'm staying and he's like hey man you look kind of fucked up Here's a bag of Coke. I'm like, well, I, I, I don't want that. I don't, I don't want that at what all. What a weird I statement. Don't... You look kind of oh, fucked yeah. up. Here's a bag of Coke. Well, what? he knew well, that yeah. he was going on Dr. Yeah. Phil the next day. He was day. like, uh, you know, you're going to go on TV tomorrow. It's like it's fucking so here's 3 some, in the morning and fucking... you've got to yeah, it's like, like a few yeah, hours. Exactly. It's like 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm fucking drunk. And he's like, well... You might be kind of fucked up tomorrow, so uh, if you need some, here's a bag of Coke. And I'm like, yeah, a little pepper stepper. I'm not going to need that. It's totally fine. So I wake up in the morning, and I am not fucking (laughs) fine. I am fucked up. I love this story. I am fucking drunk. And so I wake up, and I crawl into the bathroom, and I throw up all over the fucking place. Like, fuck. Oh, God, I gotta be on TV in three hours. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, no. I have to be in TV (laughs) three fucking hours. Oh, my God. So I get up, and I'm like, okay. So I'm pacing around the fucking, like, like hotel room, and I'm looking around, I'm like, okay. There's a bottle of Crown Royal, and there's a giant pile of Coke. What am I gonna do? Well... 
<laughs> and so I gather up and I do a giant rail of coke. And I'm like, I feel pretty sober, but I'm too high. I better drink some fucking Crown Royal. So I start drinking Crown Royal to try and like equalize myself. I don't know. Really, okay. That was too much whiskey. Better do a line of Coke. <laughs> I just, I'm so glad that he tells the story because anybody can now go back and rewatch that episode <clears throat> knowing that information. I and like am, having that fucking I'm context so when you high. watch that. I'm so high and drunk out of my mind. And you're over there complaining about Jilly Juice's sodium levels? You yeah, hypocrite. I know. You hypocrite. <laughs> I was like, I was, at the, I was at the perfect level between like drunk and high where I was like, I was like vibrating perfectly in sobriety. And so I, I did the show and it was great. It was great. Like the show went perfectly, but nobody knew like while that was happening inside me are two, two beasts. <laughs> one's cocaine and one's alcohol. And they're like fighting. And so while I'm telling Jillian, I'm like, you're killing people. Making them poop their brains out. <laughs> Inside, I'm like, didn't you say on, on, on network television? Didn't you say the words "violent diarrhea"? Violent diarrhea. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I super did. Super. Yeah, did. I, I never mix alcohol and and drugs like that. I mix sex and candy. So mine's more like a Nambla convention. My two beasts. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeff is daddy. Jesus Christ. Well, there we go. Hey, go! go! Super Daddy. Super Daddy. Oh, right. uh, fuck. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go to bed. Well, you you got to drink that last shot there. Yeah. Nope. Sure don't. Sure Sorry, don't. Jeff. You, you, you do. You, you I, signed I, a deal with our I, fan base. I'll, I'll take do. a second one for Jeff. You know, whatever. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> Cheers. Man, what a bus. Man, oh. thank you for hanging with us tonight. Wow. Are they gone? They did, they did they leave? Yeah. I think they dipped, yeah. They dipped. Damn, bro. Scammers. Buses. All right, here we go. They were bussing. They did cocaine and they did alcohol and they were bussing. Bro, that's bus. That's oh. some bus shit. So. Hey, thank you, uh, Matt, for chilling with us. Good, good to have you on tonight. Now, son, yeah, what's what's your review of that burger? How much of it did you eat? I think I. Oh wait, no, I didn't eat all of it. There's some. There's some of it left. What do you think about it? Uh, how how much how much trouble was in there? Do you think it had everything you ordered in it? <clears throat> I mean, you look at it. And that's, you tell me. I'd say you got about a, a third of it, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Two third or one, one, yeah, one third probably. There you go. You're getting into half territory. Uh -huh. Well, what would you compare the the flavor amalgamation to? Is there anything you would? Is it all just chili? Yeah, it's it's mostly chili. Do, chili. Do you think it would have been better or worse if you had the chili off but replaced it with marinara? No, it, it it'd be it'd be worse. Okay. If I replace it with marinara. Okay. I didn't know how sweet it was gonna get in there with uh, the waffle and everything. I can't I can't finish that. <laughs> you gave it a good try though. You gave yeah. it a good it looked like a little monster. Cobra's burger on screen next to you while you're eating. Like I, I I'm <clears throat> I think you you got further into yours than Cobra got into his. Yeah. It's it's very marinara. <laughs> a lot of chili in there. Yeah, that shrimp. I couldn't. I couldn't do that shrimp. <laughs> Not with the amount of of you know shit that he's taking at the moment. But but you had the uh, the mac and cheese bites. Those were fine. Those were good. These yeah, were good. okay. I finished so those. It, was, it was good. You you got to start off with those. It wasn't a total. Yeah. And by the way, by the way. Uh, thanks for we're we're not going to end just yet. We'll we'll do it in a couple minutes here. But thanks for sticking around the whole time. I know it's like after two in the morning where you live. Of so course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you yeah. you had a window. You had a window time. to leave, uh, or or at least let Jeff leave. 
But then you started, you started. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, oh, Jeff was going to go. You're like, oh, oh, you're going to go now, huh? He stayed. (laughs) And then I stayed also. Yeah. Yeah. No. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not going to let Jeff stay longer than me. (laughs) No way. Well, right. thanks for ordering the the fucking psycho burger with us. That was that was fun. It it looked uh, it, it looked like it was edible at least. I don't know. It, you got it halfway a, through. Yeah, it was edible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's there's this is left. You can you can see yeah. this much. Probably better you don't finish that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that. I'll probably have that tomorrow. There you more. go. You gonna and leave now. it out and let it sit like a like a cobra burrito yeah. would sit. I'll let it congeal in the fridge. Ah! It might be the secret. I hate yeah. the yeah. word congeal now because I always think of his drink combos with like looks like there's like swamp water or like vomit in a cup. And I'm just like, it's not a great word. No, yeah. it, the word sounds yeah. gross. Yeah. yeah, the only the only word I hate more than congeal is uh, consent. <sighs> What They're about, both terribly what gross. About, <laughs> what about non-related, alive? Alive, yeah. Oh, when when alive. he added the alive, I was I laughed so hard about that. Because that's yeah. like, some of those things you would just assume, yeah, you, you wouldn't want to have sex with a dead person. Like, there's very yeah. few people that want to do that. Like, it's, it's not like this huge epidemic. You know, it's a very uh, rare occurrence. So it's funny that he thinks... He needs to clarify that when you would probably just assume that with most people, unless they. It's 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 his reaction to the way the trolls treat him. Yeah, he's he's got to be hyper uh, direct because of the way people troll him. Which is weird because that first documentary, he makes a lot of necrophilia jokes Mm -hmm. in that. And that's probably where a lot of him having to reiterate that he's not Maybe. that way came from. Maybe. Because people are like, oh, you want to fuck dead bodies, King Cobra. You said you joked about it. Maybe. And then he's like, no, no, it was a joke. And then now now that's a reason why he would have to say that now. Because everybody's throwing shit at him all the time. Everybody's a hypercritical little fuck trying to get at him. So many people that come after King Cobra couldn't couldn't like walk in his shoes. Yeah. 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 Josh. I mean, everything he says is a reaction to, you know, something that somebody has said in the troll sphere. Yeah. Yep. I'm. Did Did he ever have another commandment? Another rule? I have no idea. Is it, He's been adding to it for a while, slowly for a while. So. Yeah. I don't think uh, another one's been added. I think it's of age, alive, goth. <laughs> no, no, goth isn't one no, of them. No, it's goth of age, of non-related, goth, alive, goth. consenting, and human, right? Yeah, human. Of you got to be human. Alive. Yeah, yeah, human. Of age, alive, consenting, non-related. human, non-related. That, the, that's the Fab Five. I believe, yeah. 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 Human. <laughs> that's another, that's another <laughs> one. Like, oh, cisgendered. Yeah, cisgendered got added yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and, cisgendered of yeah, of age, cisgendered, so non-related, alive, and human. But it's like, yeah, unless you said or did something that would lead me to believe you want to fuck non-human species, I would just assume that that's the case because it's not that common that I would just but assume. When but when you're, like, on the spectrum and you have to be – you have like a, a very hyper literal uh, response to things when people say that you you know fuck animals or dead things. You gotta correct them. You feel obligated to correct them. It's part of the 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 the, the tism, the spectrum. I see. All right. Well, yeah. I think it's time to wrap this one up because now I I I don't know. I gotta eat a bunch of food off stream right. though. I no, also no. have to eat a bunch of food off stream. I have to go find some sort of flavor to pour on these unsalted chips. <laughs> oh, miserable. <yeah. laughs> uh, th- thank you again, your favorite son. I'm sh- assume link is in description. Uh, you yes. guys can check him out on his channel. Check him out. And uh, thanks for hanging with us the long haul. Uh, if you if you want to come back, 
in the future. Uh, hit up Ben, let us know, and we'll we'll, we'll bring you back any anytime you want to come on. Uh, within reason, you know. I don't want you here every episode. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be here every episode. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, th- thank thank you for hanging with us all night today. It was a fun one. Yeah. And uh, everybody watching with us tonight, have a good night too. Good night, everybody. Peace.